To an urban dome Wrapped up in my lover's arms I feel it in my weary bones I'm home But nothing's ever what it seems There's darkness in the best of dreams Scratch the surface and I'll find the scars
evening guys how's it going good evening here from Hackett's Quarry thank you for joining me on your Saturday evening I hope we're all doing well um, it's awesome to have you all in for our restream of the quarry absolute legendary game it really is it's its one year anniversary tonight so I'm so happy to be bringing this to you guys again we did stream this on launch exactly pretty much exactly one year ago so it's really awesome to be back I can't believe it's literally been out for a year already uh, but I absolutely enjoyed it that much I just thought like I would really love to stream for its anniversary I'm sure I actually even um, mentioned that um, when we did stream it the first time I think I, I did say on the stream oh man like when we completed it I said like oh, I really want to play for that again we'll have to stream for its anniversary so yeah here we are here we are guys so um, yeah do let me know whether you're new to this or not um, you know if you was in the OG stream or um, obviously if tonight will be new to you uh, but yeah thank you so much for being in we've got Ken Kenny first chat of the night what's going on man um, how did um, I was gonna say how did last night go was it last night um, I know you stopped him on the streams and you said you was um, did you say you was getting a you was on babysitting duties and you was playing through was it Resident Evil 2 was it the remake you was doing yeah, let us know how that went, Ken. I hope you're doing all good, my friend. Uh, what's your beverage of choice tonight, by the way? Um, you you got um, you got cheeky Guinness on the go. I'll tell you what I've got, actually. I've, I've gone away from the G Fuel just for tonight. I've treated myself. Um, I have them occasionally. I do have Monster occasionally. I've got um, a Monster Assault flavour. It's real nice. It's like a bit like a cola flavour. Uh, proper good. So, yeah, I'm happy to, um, you know, be chilling with one of those tonight. Because it's kind of one of them games where, like, you know, I can kind of just chill and kind of just just leisurely sit from the can and just do bits and bobs of the controller but um you know it doesn't require you know like absolute um max concentration in terms of you know me like you know gameplay sort of thing you know there's a we have our little periods of like respite our chill where we can see how our decisions and things play out um you know so i mean don't get me wrong when we are with the controller when we're doing a little free exploration and the um the decisions we have to make throughout the game it is freaking tense man so uh yeah don't underestimate that it's freaking tense but yeah i'm here tonight guys uh, in the fred perry i wanted to uh, get me the cheeky fred perry shirt on uh, around the campfire I, I, I do like wearing a shirt when it's kind of these kind of games like you know um getting down with the kids and all that you know uh, I, I like it you know um whenever we're in a group of friends or something you like teenagers young adults whatever and um you know, the, the chilling around campfires and whatever, um, at camps and stuff. So yeah, I do like wearing a, a nice shirt and stuff. So um, I'll give you guys um, the lowdown on this game. Uh, let me just, uh... oh, it's just here. Okay, so for anyone who doesn't um, yet know what this game is, so it is like a decision-based sort of game uh, with a real awesome horror story. The backstory is so good, even when you delve more into it. Um, it is incredible. Obviously, I'm not going to say anything because I don't want to spoil the game for people who've not played it. Um, you definitely don't want this spoiled. It really is um, such a decent game um, and story. So um, basically, this says, When the sun goes down on the last night of summer camp, nine teenage counsellors are plunged into an unpredictable night of horror. The only thing worse than the blood-drenched locals and creatures hunting them are the unimaginable choices you must make to help them survive. So basically, we've got nine um, camp counsellors uh, who are remaining uh, post-summer camp, because it's literally just finished. Like, the, the kids have gone home, and um, so the, the camp counsellors remain, um, and obviously they're, they're getting ready to, to kind of leave and go home and stuff, but something keeps them there, basically. I'm not really going to uh, delve into it anymore, but that's basically what's... Uh, What's going down on this? Uh, what's up, Stevie? Thank you for stopping in, man. Uh, we was up pretty late last night. I think we was um, on stream until just after midnight. We were streaming the Grey Hill incident last night. It was a real grind, though. It was a little, um, it, it was a little tedious, man. A, a bit frustrating. Um, so I, I can't really say. Unfortunately, I don't really recommend the Grey Hill incident. It's um, the the stealth's broken. The combat isn't fair. It just makes it difficult to progress and. Um, do like the main tasks and stuff that's what we were struggling in in the throughout the game um and uh what was it there's like like no clear objective markers ivory it's real difficult to kind of establish like what you're meant to do and stuff um yeah it's uh not great um so yeah it's got a lot of problems and i i mean to be fair to them, they are on it and they've released like updates already like day you know one updates based on all the fans feedback but to me i don't think it's really going to be very recoverable 
recoverable in all honesty so um yeah and that's where we're at with the Grey Hill incident but at least we gave it a go um we have got another um survival horror that we're going to play fresh uh, pretty soon um it's going to be uh, amnesia the bunker it's set in a world war one bunker so that will be awesome so i've got that lined up uh, but yeah hope you're well stevie and uh, i'll see you tomorrow at the car boot right um yeah th like I say that's why i wanted to get on at an earlier time of 6 p.m to start the stream uh, so we can have a decent night on stream and then yeah i do need to get a few hours before the car boot ah man thank you for being here as well really appreciate you guys so i'll get us um live across all three platforms i'll get us over to our our uh, our pc screen there we go so i've actually got it on uh, an 80s filter and um, so yes yeah, it's, it's gonna look a bit 80s um because there's numerous filters you can get for this game it's like a few pounds extra um for that so i already had these so i put it on 80s filter we've also got like an alternate uh, audio setting most of the main songs are there but there's a few that have been substituted out um in order to stream it and not get kind of the copyright strikes so we've got that as well um well yeah i think we uh i think we're looking all good i think we're looking all good in the hood um so yeah we will go live on everything i'm, I'm real warm tonight you know it's really warm tonight i think i'm gonna have to uh i'll just open the window so slightly yeah it's freaking warm guys it's glorious it's kind of like uh nice sunset that they'll have like within the game because it's kind of sunset time when we jump into the game all righty now live on tiktok as well as youtube and twitch let's go thanking you guys for being here i really appreciate because like i say it's glorious weather outside here in the uk i don't know where um, the rest of you guys are from you know obviously um we, we do have people from all around the world in here um or even you know throughout the uk i don't know if um any of you guys have got some bad weather or anything um but yeah, it's real nice outside, but honestly, thank you uh, for joining me on your Saturday evening. I really appreciate you all. So we'll get this started up. I absolutely love the intro song as well. So on the kind of normal game, it's Ariana Grande's song, Moonlight, I think it's called. Uh, but on this one, it's called Thorn in My Side. It's really good. Absolutely love it. Um, so yeah, any issues with the audio, guys, just please shout up. Um, we should be, um, should be absolutely fine, I think. Hell yeah. Thank you for being in, everyone. Okay, so we've got a new game. Hey, Elixir, thank you for stopping in. Appreciating you all being here. Thank you. I freaking love this song. It's so good. Sick intro to chill, too. Cheers, guys. Don't mind me, I'm just having my jam. was enjoying that. Why'd you kill the music? I think you know why. Um, <laughs> I don't think I do. It begins with an L? Like the L word? Lesbians? 
lost, Max. We're lost. We're just, we're in geographic flux. Right, so, lost. That's debatable. Thank you guys for stopping. I really appreciate you all. Whoa, I forgot already. Whoa. Yeah. Right, right off the bat. Catch. That is catch. Thank you. Man, the roads are definitely getting worse out here. I guess it's all part of the rustic summer camp experience. Oh, right. That's where we're going. I lost track like 200 miles ago. 200 miles ago, huh? Yeah. You know what, Max? It's okay. It doesn't make you any less of a man. You know, if Columbus hadn't gone lost and landed on these golden shores, there would be no United States of America. Goodbye hot dogs. See you later, apple pie. Columbus never actually landed in North America. What are you talking about? Didn't even know he wasn't in Asia. Are you serious? Just another guy who didn't want to admit he was lost. Well, just another guy who's got a whole day named after him, so put that in your pipe and smoke it. Oh my god, okay, just get us to camp already before I roll my eyes out of my head, please. <laughs> I'm working on it, I'm working on it. <sighs> oh, we're gonna pick the map because we are lost. Ah, voila. What is that? Yeah, yeah. No, but seriously, how do happen to the, the normal map? This is the normal map. The one on the phone. No bars. Of course not. Okay, let's see. So we are... Good old physical well, map. They don't put summer camps on maps. Have you seen any signs for it? Of course, Google Maps ain't gonna work out here. But thank you guys, catch up you in just a second. Oh my god, in the back seat! In the back seat! Oh damn! I'm whip whiplash from that. I don't like you guys. <laughs> you okay? Yeah, yeah. I mean, still a lumpy. Jesus Christ, what do you think that was? A bear? What? No, no, Max, it wasn't a bear. What was it? It felt like a person. Lord, are you serious? Do you think we hit a person? I don't know. I mean, it was really cl close, like, really close, but maybe we didn't... What is it? I really have this car up. Well, maybe it looks worse than it is? Uh... I should check out the damage before we try to start it up again, huh? Could you grab my, uh, the, the toolbox from the trunk? Yeah, yeah. God damn it, Max. I'll catch up with you guys now. Sorry, I didn't mean to, um, have to be silent for all the dialogue, you know. I have to shut up sometimes in these games. But yeah, we've got a little bit of free exploration now. Yeah. So thank you. We got Magda, Josh, Dino, Haley, Lauren, Nathan, Swimming in Orbit, Mr. Payne, Pipstar. Thank you so much, guys. Uh, Lolly Dolly as well stopping in. Thank you so much. Good evening to you all. Thank you uh, for turning up tonight for the quarry. Thank you so much for sharing the live, Lolly Dolly. And Sean is here um, as well. Um, and Solar Flex is with the follows. Thanks so much. And Nathan, thanks for sharing. Um, but yeah, uh, who said uh, who's going to buy the game? Ford said, keep me to buy some don't so time to see if it's good. Mate, honestly, it is one of my favourite games of all time. It's so good. And if we can wander off elsewhere. Obviously, we need to get that out of there. I don't know if there's anything else. So you do have like a little bit of like free exploration in these areas. So you can kind of go off course and try find some extra stuff like collectibles. Ooh, Snoop Doggy Dog. I think we'll Snoop. University rejection letter. Why didn't you tell me? Hey, 
time. Yeah. Do you need a hand? Yeah, actually, if you could just shine a light right here. There you go. Perfect, thank you. The sooner we get out of here, the better. Just picture yourself curling up in front of a big old fire pit singing campfire sing-alongs. I don't think people curl up right in front of big old fire pits. Why not? Uh, they don't want to catch on fire. Anywhere's better than here. Creepy as hell. Got that feeling we ain't alone, guys. Uh, good, thank you, Paige. Thank you for stopping in. Really appreciating you. What's up, Birico? Thank you for sharing the live, John. Thank you, guys, for all the likes and shares so far on the live. I really appreciate you all. Um, it helps um, us in the algorithm. It helps a ton. Thank you so much. But yeah, whenever I am obviously silent for the dialogue, I'm not ignoring you guys. If I do miss any of your comments, feel free to just um, share them again. Oh, put it away. We never snooped. Show text. Yeah, this year we're delighted to receive an influx of interesting and excellent applications. Only some of them um, we were able to accept. We reviewed your application very carefully and though we noted several strong features, there is rigorous competition for entry um, into our graduate programs and your application was not among those that we were able to accept. We encourage you to apply to other graduate schools. We wish you every success with your studies and beyond. Yours truly, Helen and Mason. You, you know whenever you receive those, you know a rejection letter? Do you ever just look at it? It's like, you know when they say like, um, oh yeah, we wish you every success. It's like, yeah, oh yeah, fuck you. you you've literally just uh, rejected me. Fuck you. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. You've always got to take with a grain of salt. Better opportunities always lie ahead. What up, Outlaw? You've not missed much at all, man. You, you've, we've literally just started the game. Yeah, we got into a, a little car accident because someone wasn't paying attention on the road. And it wasn't me. Don't look at me either. It wasn't me, man. What's up, uh, Hans and Alice? Thank you, guys, for stopping in. We all good. We all good. Thank you. So happy to be streaming this again. The trees... Where are you going? Just over here. Just stay there for a second, okay? I'm almost done. Are you my boss? Which one do we go with? Um... <laughs> You're my boss. That sounds sassy as hell. I think we'll just turn Tori up because he's been a while, right? God, Max, hurry up. What's going on? I'm worried that there's somebody down there. Are you serious? be hurt i don't know i don't think we actually hit anyone. well i don't know i just i heard something okay like a, a woman do you think we hit her i just want to check it out okay all right just don't go too far okay be careful yeah, yeah. <laughs> if we can don't go too far we get while you play jeremy clarkson next we'll have to do we hit do you think we hit that old woman or something? When she's just parading around the woods like Elton John. I'm still standing. Like with a car. <laughs> really? Really, Max? <laughs> Makes me want to dance to that now. Do you think we hit her? I'm still standing. Hayley, thank you so much. I, I did see those hats and the roses. Thank you so much for dropping those. We'll get a rose jam on in the woods. Let's go. Thanking you, first um, first diamonds and roses of the night. Thank you so much, Haley. Massively appreciated. Uh, Kieran, thank you for stopping him. Have we got the trainer king in the chat? Hope everything's uh, going good for you, man. Oh, uh -oh we got a card. So you'll you'll find out, guys, at the end of the chapter what we're taking. These are tarot cards. Hey, little Alex Ray Ray. Great game, just got the platinum. That's awesome. Well done on that. GG. I've actually not got the platinum yet. Harem Scarum Sideshow Spectacular. You guys need to remember that. So yeah, it's really cool. It's a poster for a travelling sideshow. It looks like it's been here a while, left forgotten in the woods. Are those burn marks around the edges? That, that's right, Aaron. She's a tough old bird. For sure. 
appreciating you guys uh, coming to chill tonight. It really is an incredible game, so please, um, I urge you to, to stick with it. It's got a really awesome um, story to it and backstory. If you do need to dip out at all, um, the streams that are always um, available to watch over on my YouTube, Holster TV. So this is um, another like collectible, uh, a trunk filled with strange devices that of an escapologist, perhaps uh, a relic of a travelling show, and must have passed through the area. So yeah, it's from the uh, the travelling show. Oh my god, I think that's my door. Hang on, sorry, I God, that shit me up. I've expected Amazon Prime actually. Two seconds. I'm coming now, mate. Two seconds. Sorry, guys. It's the Amazon Prime. Jesus Christ. Be two seconds. I thought it was something off the game. It's not the freaking time when it's night time in the woods. Jeez! So Amazon Prime. I'll tell you what it is. It's a couple of um <laughs> Yeah, I heard this like faint like I heard that, but it was really faint, but I was like, the fuck? I was like, what, <laughs> what is that? It's fine. It's Amazon Prime. <sighs> what up, Jay Davis? Thanks for stopping in, Jay. I'll tell you what it is, it's actually um uh, what was I going to say? It's a charger for Nintendo 3DS and an AV cable for a GameCube because I needed them to complete the setups. Right, here we go. We're good. I've literally just got a mail notification saying delivered your Amazon order. Jeez, do I know that? <laughs> <sighs> what up, Outlaw? So do you, have you tried... Is that Amnesia the Bunker? Is it on Game Pass? Oh, bro, I've literally just paid for that as well. <laughs> Damn it. I just bought that the other day. We're going to be streaming that very soon. Amnesia the Bunker. But yeah, um, I'm drinking. I'm actually treating myself to a monster tonight. I've got the assault flavour. It's like a cola flavour. Really nice. Oh! <sighs> that wasn't Amazon Prime that time. Oh dear. <laughs> but yeah, this game is very similar to um, ones like Until Dawn. Um... And the Dark Pictures series. Um, I've also played. I've played Until Dawn. I've played uh, The Devil in Me as well. You know what? The Quarry is my favourite of these type of games, but second favourite is um, The Devil in Me. That was that was awesome. I really would recommend that. I've not yet played the others in the um, in the Dark Pictures series yet, though. Man of Medan, Little Hope, House of Ashes. Not played those yet. I'm going to stream at some point though. But yeah, this is just the prologue of the game, guys. Still got to meet the rest of the counselors a bit later on. Still just as tense to play. Oh. Uh oh. Got a little dodge. See, if that was real life, I wouldn't even have to dodge because I'm only like five foot tall. I'd be fine. But just carry on running. I 
noises all around me. Oh, honey, honey, take a breath. It's okay. It's the woods. There's a lot of stuff out there. There's animals. It's easy to freak yourself out. No. Can we just leave? Please? Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go. There we go. Burn like a candle. Max, come on! Here we go, here we go. We're getting out of here. Are you kidding me? Max! I just... Okay, give me a minute. Give me a minute. We've got to go, Max! Right, you're not helping right now. Come on, step on it, Max. Get, get your foot down! All right, enough! Shit, I'm sorry, honey. I'm sorry. We're safe in the car, really. We're gonna be okay. Jeez! Oh, fuck! Ted oh, Raby and chill! Roll it down. Hi, officer. How are you doing this evening? Are either of you injured? Really, we're fine. We're just a little shaken up. Folks want to tell me what happened here? What a guy, man. I think he looks incredible in this. He really does. Thank you guys for stopping all the likes and follows. Thank you. We'll be honest. We'll be honest. Honestly, officer, something jumped out. We, um, uh, something jumped out right in front of the car and we didn't want to hit it, so we swerved and, you know, here we are. Something jumped out? Say it was dark. We'll keep being honest. I, I'm sorry. It was, it was so dark, and it happened so fast, and they were gone. I... They, ma'am, did you hit someone? No, no, God, no. Of course not. The, you know, I mean, oh, no, sorry. But... Sir, a path has been chosen. Get the car running. Sir? Honestly, officer, I'm telling the truth. Is this guy like the all time scariest cop? I don't know. This is my first cop. What, like ever? Uh, yeah, I'm not a criminal. <laughs> Me too, Jay. Honestly, it's still just as tense replaying this. What's up, Luke? Thomas? Alex? Thank you for stopping in, guys. Appreciate you. want to tell me just what in the hell you are doing all the way out here this late at night we're heading to camp we're heading up to Hackett's Quarry summer camp where I knew counselors you're one night early no no we know um but we figured we'd get in early and scope it out you know they know we're coming if you called ahead and to be honest, sir, one of us kind of oversold their navigation skills and got us completely lost. <sighs> scratch his man, look at the scratch on his neck. You're not gonna make it to Haggett's quarry. Not tonight. Harbinger Motel. It's the nearest place you can bunk up there for the night, okay? Uh I think we're just gonna stick to the plan, sir. I mean, Mr. Hackett knows we're coming and we called ahead. No, ma'am, you're gonna head to the Harbinger Motel. Do you understand? We gotta be at least a little, um, questioning it, right? We'll say, why not Hackett's Quarry? With all due respect, sir, why can't we go to Hackett's Quarry? Because I told you to go to the motel. Okay, I just don't understand what the problem is. Ma'am, please step out of the vehicle. Whoa. What? Why? Officer, she didn't do anything. Ma'am, if you wouldn't mind stepping out of the vehicle, I would just like to show you a route on your map there. I do love him. He's such a creepy officer, though. Remain in the vehicle. Wait, or does Max to stay in there as well? Okay. 
So, we... are right about here. Harbinger Motel... is here. Right, okay, and where was Hackett's quarry again? <laughs> well... I'm sure the fine folks... The Harbinger Motel can guide you there first thing in the morning. Right. Harbinger Motel. Stay on the road. Wait, but, but, but what if there's someone out there? Yeah, I'll have a look. Good night. Night, Ted. We still got to hack his quarry, though. I do agree with you, Magda. It's not nice how um, they didn't listen to the cop, though. I would have done. Some sleep sounds good to me. I'll definitely go to the motel to sleep it off. Why is this guy just sitting there? <laughs> Thanks, Roy. I'll just say that guy was weird. We, we don't be bickering like amongst each other. Becca, thank you for stopping in. What's up, Joseph? <laughs> oh, yeah, big up Grimsley. But well, I should have said Broseph. Let's go. <laughs> Got a big up GY man. Giving me major weirdo the dude needed like at least a dozen shots. Oh my god, I know. What was that thing? Did you see was, that? Was it blood? Nice to meet you. <laughs> oh, man. All right, let's get back on the road. Yes. I think I've had enough woodland encounters for one night. Thank you very much. I agree. So where's this motel? Okay, so we're here, mm -hmm. and the motel is here. Okay. But we're going here. What's there? Hackett's Quarry. How'd you do that? I don't know, kind of tricked me into showing up. <laughs> Very slick. Are you sure we shouldn't just get to the motel and just listen to this guy's advice? Honey, you really want to listen to the advice of some creep-ass cop who told us in the middle of the creep-ass woods to go to some creep-ass hotel? No, that sounds terrible. Yeah. Let's hit the road, shall we? That's what I thought. Ma'am? Oh my god, if he called me ma'am one more time, I was going to that badge up his dick hole. <laughs> Seriously, do I look like a ma'am to you? I got like 20 years before I'm a ma'am. Mm-hmm. What? I... 20's debatable. Easy. I mean, I'm kind of into ma'ams. Okay, we're done. <laughs> yeah, that was a little push for me as well, calling me a ma'am. I mean, I know I'm 30 next week, but come on. Yeah, I'm 30 on Wednesday. Thank you, X. Thank you uh, so much for dropping all the diamonds and the roses. We'll get a quick rose jam in there. Thank you. <laughs> Thanking you. Let's get the height there, guys. Yeah, What's up? There's nobody here. We drive all the way the fuck out Max, here. can we just look around before we jump to conclusions? Did you actually even talk to Mr. Hackett, or did you just leave a message? Well, what's the difference? This. This is the difference. Hello? I guess he doesn't check his voicemail. How was I supposed to know that? I mean... Clearly there's somebody here. Yeah, or it's just an abandoned car and this is a complete waste Why of would there be an abandoned... I'll Ma get the car. Max, come on. Max, don't be a dick. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, don't be a dick, Max. <laughs> so we're in a freaking party pooper. The stream's just started, Max. Let's go. Oh, I'll be in the 30s club soon, Lauren. Indeed. you 31. Well, I will be entering. I'll be moonwalking in there like a smooth criminal. Miss Vanilla Ice is coming in there. That'll be me this week. Let's go. <laughs> Let's freaking go. Indeed, Stevie. That's what the... Um, if you guys uh, just missed it like a, a little while ago. I heard this like... I heard that and I was like, fuck. It was literally balls deep in the forest as well. And, I, and then I realised I was expecting a, a package from Amazon Prime. So yeah, it's an AV cable for a GameCube. And uh, it was indeed, it was a um, 3DS XL charger for um, one that we picked for the car boot for a fiver. It was that one, Stevie. Is anybody home? Oh, 
Well, thank you guys for all of the likes, shares and follows throughout the stream so far tonight. Thank you so much, uh, Finn, as well. Uh, first time in the stream. Well, welcome, man. I hope you have fun in here tonight and uh, enjoy uh, the storyline of the quarry. It really is awesome. I'd recommend it to any of you guys. I know a few of you have mentioned um, over in the chats that you um, might pick up the game. Are you going to reinstall it? You you will love it, honestly. It's my favourite of these type of games. So obviously we, we play as different characters, we make decisions, uh, there's a really awesome backstory to it, it's so good. So yeah, we'll just do a little free exploration right now. What up Neil? Uh, I have played Heavy Rain indeed, I would love to go revisit that, it's been years since I've uh, played Heavy Rain. Yeah, we'll have to revisit that. Damn right. What's up, Robeth? And I know Outlaw, I know, man. I, I actually didn't realise um, Amnesia the Bunker was going to come, come to stream. Uh, to to uh, Game Pass. Damn it, I freaking bought it off Steam. <laughs> I totally could have bought something else instead, damn it. I totally didn't realise. But yeah, we'll, we'll be streaming Amnesia the Bunker pretty soon. Is there anything we can pick up around here? Hey, what up? Mecha Pork Chop Express. What's going on, man? Thank you for stopping in. And Ricky J as well, first time chat over on Twitch. Come over from TikTok. Um, yeah, I have played this once before. We played it literally a, this time like a year ago uh, on, on launch day. And yeah, we're celebrating the one-year anniversary of this game. It really is awesome. Thank you guys for showing the quarry some love. One year on. I don't know, you just say tools. Why didn't you just bring it? Look, there's someone in there. Max with his freaking goat of the goat of DIY. <laughs> I can't look. I'm looking, I am. He's punching with Aerie, isn't he? She's a badass. <laughs> there was there was definitely someone there. Okay. Okay, so. Um, I think it's better to take the wrench. I think they're better to to bust open the the door with. I think they're more silent as well. The hammer it'll sure. make more of a noise. No, I don't hammer time. I'm not MC Hammer. I'm Ice Ice Baby. We're gonna be confident. Yeah, saw it online. No, Aaron, we can't make noise. Shh, everyone. <laughs> You've seen evil dead, right? Hello? You hurt? You exist? Hey, be careful. 
He always just lets it go further. I can't believe he's just chilling on the step right there. That's crazy. What's up, Carla? Thank you for stopping in. Uh-oh. Freaking Ian screwed, man. That's great, Tess. I just downloaded the game. Hell yeah. And thank you, Void. Thank you so much for sending over the heart right back at you, Void. Thank you. I know, I know, Gamer Keller. I'd, I'd attract all the enemies. I would. <laughs> Way too freaking loud. <laughs> I am. The blooded collar looks to be too big for a dog. What kind of dog would be called Ian anyway? <laughs> I don't even think you could get away with calling like a, a bulldog Ian or something like that. That freaking that is a carcass, man. Max. Yeah, when we're exploring, we'll take we'll take a real good look around because there are collectibles to. Pick Maybe up. it was a possum or something. No, there was there was someone here. I swear. Hey, it's been kind of a night, you know. Let's just get to the motel. We can come back here first thing in the morning. We can check everything out. But I mean, you must be exhausted. I know I am. I think our imagination. Ooh. Uh oh, he has been sliced up. This would help. I think I'm bleeding a lot. Of course, we've got to help Max. That got me, man. Still made me jump. Oh, would you ditch him, Magda? <laughs> Everyone out for themselves now. Let's freaking go. Does this look like the damn Harbinger Motel? <laughs> Told you guys you should have just gone for a nice little nap. A nap solves everything. Just look what happens. Whoop, whoop, it's the sound of the police. <laughs> no, Hamza, I did actually play this uh, back on launch. It still makes me jump though, it still has me on edge. I know you guys feeling the vibes, let's go. It is indeed Southwest, I'm actually playing the, the Xbox version of this game. Out on all platforms. I hope you guys enjoyed it so far, those of you uh, who uh, have not seen the quarry before. Hello, my friend. Welcome to the show. We are friends, aren't we? I've waited for you. I've waited, yes. So I do hope our time together proves we might. 
There's no need to worry. I'm here to help you. Think of me as your guide into the unknown. It's exciting, yes, and terrifying. But if you're brave enough, if you let me help you, I can help you. We can help each other. So that tarot card we picked up. This is the card you found. The fool. I wonder who this is. We all know a fool when we see one, don't we? Innocence and freedom. All recklessness and risk taking. Spontaneity. Actions without thought, but the consequences to match. Think. Think. And don't get burnt. I can show you more if you'd like me to. So if we go and see more, she can kind of give us a clue into that can kind of influence our decision on how to kind of escape a bad situation, if that makes sense. It can help you try and save character. So we'll go and see more. This is what might come to pass. A possible future. A path yet unchosen. So if I look into the crystal ball. There are secrets out there, you know. Secrets and lies. Paths to uncover. On which I can shed light. If you let me. Help me help you. And remember, what doesn't kill you will make you stronger. Well, yeah, she, she's an absolute G. I, I love this gal. <laughs> yeah, she, she's wicked. Uh, we meet this lady after every chapter. She helps us out. It's another tune. The soundtrack's really good to this game. Oh, oh. Chapter one, hack and scry forever, yeah! It's me going into camp with my friend Perry shirt, like, how's it going, fellow kids? Get down with the kids! <laughs> Thank you guys for dropping the follows, really appreciate you all, feeling the love tonight. Thank you. Yeah, they got some great uh, actors for this game, they really did, they secured some good ones, they did a wicked job. Bus wankers! <laughs> you know how many hearts are broken in the last day of summer camp? It's like a romance apocalypse. Uh, yeah, we won't, we won't be real harsh with Jacob. This is my favourite character. I really love Jacob. I feel like I, I uh, relate to him like... Um, you know, in, in a few ways. I really like Jacob, so, um, yeah, we'll go on. You'll let, you never know. You never know. I mean, you never know. The universe has a kind of way of uh, working these things out. The universe? Yeah, like the, uh, the cosmic space gods. Space gods. You know what I mean? I'm onto that, Jacob. Nice I'm all about that. Nothing to spell. You know, we're cool. Oh, so cool. We are super cool. So she dumped her ass, huh? Hi, Emma. Hey. <laughs> okay, this is, um, you've heard of spatial awareness before, yeah. right? Spatial awareness is for nerds. Uh, be a lamb and grab the last couple of bags, will you? Yes, boss. Say hi to Emma for me. You're a bad person. Yes, I am. So, yeah, he's really sweet, Jay, but I do, I do agree with you there, Game of Cal. Thank you, H, for the follow. Is that something down there? It is. It is. <laughs> oh! Ah, fuck you, you spider fuck! Oh, Mingin! 
Oh, no, we won't squash it. No, 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 no. If we can help it, we'll let it go. It's got a huge area to run out to. Yeah, you better run. That'd be so me, guys. I'm usually very... Um, I'm usually very... Uh, very cautious when I pick up bananas especially who else is like that in super has anyone else ever seen those viral videos where someone picks up like a bunch of bananas and some massive minging spiders within them that really scares me yeah that creeps me out i hate spiders too lauren i, I hate them i i can't even get over i don't know how to get over a fear of them because like you could look at them as just something crawling along but they're so scary though like what especially like tarantulas like when they're moving because their front legs kind of go up don't they when they're not even Resident, the ones in Resident Evil um, desensitise me. They haven't over the years. Not at all. Oh, hey. This is Emma's. Oh, How cute. Yeah, you know what? I actually, um, I, I totally forgot about that, um, that food wrapper with the spider in. I, I actually thought it was a flower for some reason. I don't know why I... I didn't click on there, but um, yeah, obviously it's it's been a while since I played this game. What's up, Vincenzo? Thank you for stopping in. You need to play this game. You absolutely need to play it. Please, guys, if you've not already. Um, I know someone did ask how much it is nowadays. I think it's literally about twenty twenty five pound. I wonder what's killing the deer. Uh oh. Due to increased deer mortality. A notice that indicates the local deer population has decreased in recent years. Hunting season has been suspended until the numbers start to rise again. But yeah, I bought this game uh, on launch, so I literally paid like £60 for it. Absolutely no regrets. There's so many possibilities as, as well. Um, you know, there's so many ways this game can play out based on your decisions. Uh, thank you for that, Neil. Neil in the chat has also said um, this game is free on uh, PlayStation Plus Premium if you do have that uh, membership. So thank you for that, Neil. Appreciate that. Thank you, Sophie. Appreciate uh, you guys. Let me know about the like, God, Thank you. Thanks for all the likes and all the shares as well. It's helped the stream do Doesn't so well. You thank you. Make you stronger. Not in the mood, Simon. You know, I can't remember, um, Vincenzo. It might be worth checking Game Pass, guys. I'm not sure about Xbox. If it's on Game Pass or not. What's up, uh, I know Ricky J said, how long have you been a streamer? So I've actually been creating content over on YouTube um, since 2016. Now, I've only had the means to stream for about a year and a half since I got my own place. I got a better setup, like PC setup, better internet. And then, yeah, we've been streaming for about a year and a half now. We have made phenomenal progress in that space of time it's all thanks to you guys and your support so thank you <clears throat> hey what do you uh what are you listening to good to know this th so he's ryan he's just chilling with his uh his podcast but um, yeah, we are multi-platform streaming right now. We're currently live on YouTube, TikTok, and Twitch. So YouTube and TikTok, I'm Holster TV, and on Twitch, I'm Holster TV Mate, because uh, it it was um, it was uh, taken my username, so it's it's got Mate on the end. <laughs> what what is he listening to, guys? Uh, Vincenzo said it's definitely Spice Girls, a hundred percent. Yo, I'll tell you what I want, what I really, really want. Hell yeah, you know, you know, on what I really want, you know that song. Mel B's laugh at the beginning, that used to scare the shit out of me. I remember when we used to go to my mum's friend's house and me and her daughter used to like listen to music and whatever. When she put that um, song on, I was literally, uh, I, I wasn't that old. As soon as that laugh came on, I'd run upstairs, I'd just leg it. <laughs> it used to scare me. Hey, hey are you guys going to help with the bags or what? Oh, um, you know, I was actually just working on fixing uh, the door. It's... Dylan, come it's on. Broken. Dylan, please. I can't. It, it's... I gotta get the last bag What's in there. Come on. With this thing? Is this Dylan, please. <laughs> Sorry, bro. <laughs> cool. Thanks, guys. It's so harsh. Poor Jacob. He's so cool as well. I think he's awesome. Um, so, yeah, actually, guys, um, I know a lot of you are saying, um, you know, the game's playing like a movie and stuff, and the graphics are really awesome, but they're actually a bit more enhanced than this. I've actually got the, an 80s film filter on. You can put like different filters on the game. You can have like a black and white, a more indie horror. You can have the original and you can have 80s. So it, this does actually have an 80s filter on it. So yeah, I just thought it, it looked cool for the stream. 
Uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching me across all platforms. I appreciate you. What's up, Ryan? I'm doing good, thank you, man. How are you doing? <laughs> what, what did you say? Uh, Jay said he's listening. Alexa, play stronger by J Kelly Clarkson. Th you know what? He could actually be listening to that. So that's what the sign said. What doesn't kill you will make you stronger. So Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp was established way back in 1953. And it's still going strong today, nearly 70 years on. Hey, what up, Josh? What's up, bro? Well, thank you uh, for, for being here as well. Uh, Jimmy, thank you for stopping in um, over on YouTube. Appreciate you, man. Oh my god, yes, Jay. Freaking get that um, lemon Fanta. So I, I feel the need to tell everyone I'm drinking cold lemon Fanta and it's out of this one. You you scream that out on the chat. Hell yes, Jay. You know, that's, that's got to be on par with the monster I'm on, right? What, what's everyone's beverage of the evening? I've got, a, I've got a monster assault tonight. It's really nice. Tell you what, um, I can't wait. I can't wait to, uh, when I next have uh, Lemon Fanta, most likely be next month when I'm on holiday, um, I'm going to have the, the iconic combo of um, Lemon Fanta and, and Lay's Crisps. Yeah, I'm going to Ibiza with my best friend for like five days. So it's kind of like a, a late 30th um, like holiday. So yeah, I'm mega excited. I absolutely love going for the music and stuff, you know. I absolutely love um, all, all those kinds of music. I went last year and had an absolute blast, so I'm mega happy to be going. Hey, there's nothing wrong with the good old H2O, Vincenza. I'll be on that a little later because uh, I have to have it after my energy drink because uh, it's called balance. <laughs> Makes me feel a little less bad. Oh, hell yeah, Lauren. I hope you, your brother has a blast at Download Festival. I've, I've got a few friends who've gone and um, yeah, it looks incredible there. Uh-oh. Got a tarot card. It's a little awkward. You need to be in a... There we go. You just literally have to click when we see it. There we go. To be balanced, to consume in moderation, or to indulge in excess. Temperance. Take it or leave it. But remember, sometimes with temperance, it comes deferred gratification. So, yeah, this is why you have got to have a little um, explore around. I, I do love Monster. Yeah, me, me too, uh, Gamer Cal. Um, I, I just have them in moderation. I usually have G Fuel when I'm streaming, but because... I can kind of chill a bit more in this, like, because there's a lot of um, kind of movie-based cutscenes, you know? It's kind of a bit more kind of movie-based, interactive movie. Bad place to get stuck. Um, so, yeah, I thought I'll, I'll be able to have, like, a can, you know, just chill and, and sip along. Really? Some of you guys aren't fans of um, the Assault version of Monster. We've got Magda and uh, Josh don't like it either. Guys, it's so nice. It's like a co cola flavour. It's kind of like a posh roller cola. <laughs> oh, honestly, it definitely won't be as stressful as last night, Jay. Definitely not. Uh, we did play the Grey Hill incident last night, and right before we get the bags, we'll just um, just keep having a little little check around. So I do want to try and get as many collectibles as we can. Um, so I missed a, a shit. I should have missed a ton uh, on my first playthrough. This place needs a serious overhaul. Anyone uh, got any flu powder? Like on Harry Piss Pot? Oh. Diagonally. Jesus. <laughs> what up, Kip? The game's awesome, right? It really is. Yeah, I literally love all of the... Um... I literally love all of the flavours of Monster. Oh, you know what, um, Neil? I've got a mind like a sieve. I know yourself and Dano recommended the band uh, Motionless in White. I've not yet heard them. I, I did actually go to search them on Spotify um, not long after like the other stream when you mentioned them, and uh, I, I completed, completely forgot um, like what, what the band uh, name was called. So We'll, we'll talk to um, Nick in just a second. Let me, let me just um, write that down, Motionless in White, because I, I will forget. Um, whenever you guys recommend stuff to me, I will usually just 
type it on my phone straight away. There we go. Thank you um, for all you uh, stopping in. I have indeed, uh, Josh, I've played Red Red Redemption 2. Uh, amazing game. I, I love the Red Dead games. And we've got Damien G Unit. What a respect to you, man. He says, stay strong, my G monster. You stay strong as well, man. I hope you're all good. Uh, pleasure to have you stopping by, Damien. Are you, are you game yourself tonight? And we've got Baz as well. He said, where's your Tim 4 hat? Bro, it was boiling. It was absolutely boiling um, on my head last night. I really didn't take into account that um, it would, in fact, insulate my head. And it did not help against the aliens. Not at all. Got my ass kicked. <laughs> okay, really, dude? Locking me out? Okay, in my defense, A, it was Dylan's idea, and two, it was really funny. Oh, yeah, right. Is that is that right? I don't write the rules, man. Okay, whatever. Look, are you going to help me with the bags or what? Nah, I gotta stay here and wait for Mr. H to return our cell phone, sorry. Jesus Christ. Okay, and why are the stairs blocked? Well, apparently it's to keep raccoons and other pesky varmints from ransacking the place. Uh, Mr. H's words, not mine. Oh! Boring! Nick, you're a fucking douche, mate. <laughs> this, honestly, they're so mean to Jacob. We must protect Jacob at all costs. He's too good. Uh, we did indeed, Lucy. We did finish Bully. Um, if, if you want to watch over the playthrough, if you need to catch up on anything, it's all over at my YouTube. All my past streams are available there to watch. It's Holster TV over on YouTube, so totally feel free. I did indeed, Sophia. We, we've done a stream of the Outlast Trials. Again, you, you'll find that over on my YouTube. Um, it's brutal to go through solo, though. You can definitely um, tell that they've pushed it towards being like a multiplayer game. You definitely need to play it with friends. Yeah, me and a couple of other streams. I think we're going to collab on it uh, pretty soon. Is that you, Dylan? I can only deal with one shit at a time, Jacob. He absolutely is rich. Said quality game. Well, screw you guys. Cat. <laughs> I, I do my little Cartman voice now and again. It's like Tourette's. <laughs> What up, J.A.? He said, love your content. Well, thank you. Thanks so much for being in. I appreciate that you guys take time out of your days and your evenings to come and uh, watch the streams. Thank you. Bags. Great. All by yourself, huh? Yep. Guess you're gonna have to get used to that. Oh my god, you are so mean. <laughs> At least I'm honest. Oh, okay, here we go. Okay, you're not telling me the whole truth about you and Emma, are you, son? Well, say what about you? What about you, girl? Oh, you can't okay, give the so gossip no, without receiving the gossip, you know? Whole story, huh? <laughs> oh, well, this is the bait I just gotta take, Jake. Oh, sorry, I just got so distracted about that rhyme. I forgot what we oh, were... Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, y you were telling me how you totally have a thing for Ryan. Wait, are we talking about Ryan, the sailing instructor with the sexy brooding loner thing that totally doesn't do anything for me at all? Um... Hey, thank you, Nathan. Appreciate you, man. Thank you, man. The, the, the merchant thanks you. Um, what will we say, mischievous? Yeah, we'll say that. We'll be like, sexy? Ah, sexy, huh? How does that count, by far? Okay, sure. Yeah, look, it was all settled by the girl from Bunk 7, like, the second day of camp. It goes Ryan, me, of course, then Dylan, Emma, Abby, Okay. Nick, and then Mr. H, and... Okay, are you almost finished, please? Yep, that's it. That's everyone. So she really just dumped her ass, huh? I don't... Okay. Her whole thing is like, how are we going to make this work? Different schools, blah, blah, blah. My whole thing is like, you know, maybe long distance, blah, 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 blah. And she was just like, Jacob. She gave you the look, huh? Yeah, do not pass go. Man, she just got you wrapped all the way around that dainty little finger of hers. How does she do it? Yeah, she ain't very nice, Emma. Um... 
I think we'll, we'll maybe he is more attached to Emma and then obviously she's wanted to break it off she doesn't see it as more than just a casual thing because uh, the long distance in the schools and stuff but really it, she she's not very nice anyway so yeah she basically broke it off with him but he'll probably say I won't really want to say maybe I like we'll say like it's just a flame we'll just brush it off we we know he's like oh, she'll know he's lying though no, she's right it's just like a b stupid summer fling what else did I think was gonna happen uh let's see uh, love, stability, engagement, marriage, house, kid, affair, kid, divorce, loneliness, child support, visitation lawsuit, mm. surprise reconciliation, empty nest, retirement, grandkid, 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 uh, nursing home, and finally, dying in each other's arms and then being buried in each other's arms like those thousand-year-old skeletons they dug up in Rome or something. Is that kind of the ballpark? Oh, shit, I'm sorry. That was Ryan and me. Uh, let me see. Ah, here it is. Yours just says Roadhead. Oh, actually, that's just a generic all-men list. Oh, well, seems legit. <laughs> She's horrible, so Caitlin. Sure She's so savage. <laughs> we'll take a look. It better be. One more night in the great outdoors might actually kill me. Hey, it doesn't kill you. It can make you stronger. Well, I haven't killed you yet. You're still pretty pathetic. Hey, shut up. <clears throat> uh, okay, so, um, total hypothetical, but if I was, like, a huge asshole and I wanted to break down the van so we'd have to spend another night here, uh, what exactly would I need to do? Well, you'd probably break the fuel line or, I don't know, rip out the rotor arm. And yes, that would make you a total asshole. Okay, and what does a rotor arm look like again? It's like an arm that's all rotary. You know, it's under the little black dome with the leaves poking out. Uh-oh, we're gonna sabotage this you truck. You realize that even if we somehow did get stuck out here, one more night with Emma wouldn't make a difference. Trust me, chick's made up her mind. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> Guess we'll just have to find out. Okay, mischievous Jacob. I know, Caitlin, but we, we need one last shot before um, Emma reinstalls Tinder, okay? So if you break the fuel line, I think we it's kind of irreversible. It, oh, it's going to at least, uh, it's going to need a proper mechanic to fix that. But steal the rope round, we can just kind of replace that part. We can just let you put it back in. So I usually opt for uh, stealing the rope round. And I think with the fuel line, I think that'll cause like the fire that we saw in that vision, you know, from the, the elder woman. So I think the rope ram is less destructive. Come on with me, buddy. I'll put you right back tomorrow. No harm, no foul. Up here, my dudes. Why did they look like they're up to something? Hey, Jacob. What? No, dude, please. D d d d long. Oh, shit. Uh oh, let's go, Jacob. Let's go. I got you. Got you, bro. Oh. There it is. Oh, Ooh. man, good sign. Ooh, freak. <laughs> oh. Oh. Ooh, I wish I had some singles. Oh. Freaks. I'm surrounded by freaks. Oh, thank God. I'm going to get the whole no technology thing, but take me back, world. You would have thought Mr. H could have, like, charged up our phones, like, a little bit. Nothing's ever your fault, is it? You know, you should really just save it for emergencies only. <laughs> Unless, of course, is being dumped <laughs> an emergency? Oh, burn. I don't too right, Vincenzo. Jacob does need two f new friends. He's too sweet for them. Um, we'll be. I think we'll be friendly. We won't get annoyed. We're gonna keep our call. All right. Uh, okay. Well, at least I had a relationship this summer. Oh, damn. Now we burn. Yeah. Well, maybe not everyone is looking for a hookup. Okay, okay. Okay. Let's all put our little dicks away and get the show on the road, huh? <laughs> Where's everybody else? Why why would I know that? I don't know. Sometimes you know stuff I don't. Look, I don't I don't even know how to respond to that. You say Nick, you're way smarter than me, and you're a super hot stud who gets any chick he wants. Okay, yeah. He's German, Jimmy. <laughs> oh yeah, Alexander knows. Pop pop peanut peanut butter butter pops. Yeah, it's it's a brand of snackiness. It's so good. We we um discover them later. I really want some, man. There's, a, there's actually a t-shirt design of that over on uh, Etsy.
So this is Abby. She's quite nice. She's quite a nice character. <laughs> that was on Until Dawn, Chris. So the last time we see you massacred everyone at the end. It was, that was Until Dawn. I was doing really well. I made one decision and wiped all eyes. a freaking massacre. Derek Downs, thank you for being here, man. And sounds good, Damien. Hope you have fun on Mafia 3, man. Hey there, party Great to hear from you, man. Status report? We are officially empty nesters. High five up top. Got it. I can just about reach. Oh boy. You're about to get your phone back, aren't you? Let's go collect our bags and away from this mosquito infested backwards dump. Doors locked, bags inside. <sighs> Fuck me. Yep. Well, it's obvious what we have to do here. Find someone with a key, shape our destiny. And by shape our destiny, I mean shape our way through this crappy lock and grab our bags. We've got a break, and you can't just leave your bags there. Okay. You've got to go retrieve Let's them. Let's do it. We better not get in trouble. I won't tell if you won't tell. Mr. Hackett's going to find out. So what? He'll just think there's a bear or something. <laughs> Have you ever seen a bear in these woods? No, but that doesn't mean they're not out there. Fair point. All right, let's do this. On three. One. Two. Three! Ugh. That was easy enough. All about the power of positive thinking. Why do I ever listen to you? Because I'm always right. Are you sure they're gonna think it was a bear? Oh, my God, relax. It's not like we killed someone. All right, well, I'm just gonna take another look around, make sure we didn't miss anything. Go nuts. I love Abby's hair, it looks so cool. Let's catch up with you guys. Nathan, thank you for sending over the damn, appreciate you there. And uh, Hayley, thank you for sending over the roses, appreciating you, thanking you. Hell yeah. You've got to love some roses jams tonight. I'm feeling the love tonight, guys. But yeah, I know, I know, man. Um, I know a lot of you guys are saying, Jacob d does need new friends, indeed. And it, it's just like, screw, screw you guys. Uh, that was indeed, that was actually my Cartman impression earlier. So I do, I usually do, um... In the exit, how would you like to suck my butt? <laughs> I do, I do Cartman sometimes. I think we'll... Oh, actually. As nice and comforting as it would be to keep it, I feel like uh, it's it could serve as a noise distraction, if I remember correctly. And... Um, but I think we could, we could actually use it, I think. We'll keep it. Take me back, Tizzy. Yeah, we'll look, we'll take it. Can't believe I'm actually gonna miss all those lumpy loose springs. Yeah, thank you guys for all your continued support on the stream tonight. I really appreciate it all. Thanks for turning up on the Quarry's one year anniversary. Thank you so much for all the likes, follows and shares. Massively appreciate you all being here. Um, a scrap from the local newspaper, the North Kill Gazette. It doesn't look recent. Something about a fire. Was it here at Hackett's Quarry? So it says Freak Show goes up in flames. So could that be the Harem Scarum? The Travelling Sideshow? Oh, yeah. I know, I know a couple of the, uh, you guys and girls have asked about uh, the football. Um... You know, I'm I'm rooting on Man City to win tonight. I would love them to win against Inter. See, so yeah, I am aware. So uh, yeah, Champions League foul tonight. I can't remember if there's uh, something to collect like around here. I'm not too sure. We'll just take a little walk and stuff. We can chill and have a little um, walk and talk amongst ourselves. It is indeed Angus. It is such a decent game. That's why 
I just really wanted to restream it on its one year anniversary. I think it. I just feel like it, it really de deserves some more love. I think it deserves even more love than than it already has. That doesn't sound like come by, yeah. A recording of the Hackett's Quarry Camp song from years gone by. Technology may have moved on, but the song remains unchanged. Tell Chris about it when we see him. Yeah, I do usually root for the English teams, Hayley, uh, in the big competitions, apart from United, of course. <laughs> um, yeah, I was really rooting on West Ham to win as well, so I was really happy for them. Uh, Caramel, thank you for the follow. Yeah, hope you guys are all good. What are you up to tonight? Are you you're literally just going to be chilling with the stream, or are some of you guys got the stream on in the background? Are you doing some gaming yourself? Because I know that's what some of you guys uh, enjoy doing. You know, I would have a dip in the pool, if that was me. I don't think, um... No, we don't have a run button, actually. I've just tried. I don't think we do have, um... No. Yeah, there's hella collectibles to collect. Because um, if you notice in that list, there was, there was one gap between our last one and the one we just found. So it's, um... Yeah, it's difficult to, um... Try to spot them all. There's a lot there. Yeah, I'm really hoping, guys, that we make uh, some good decisions tonight. Um, my first playthrough, um, when we streamed this on Lodge back on YouTube, we um, we did real well, to be honest. Um, I think I probably, maybe about a handful of them died, I think. We did really well, considering, because there, there are a lot of people to try to keep alive. I don't think anyone knocked Caitlyn out of first place all summer. Yeah, there are some other impressions I can do, Vincenzo. I know I used to do Peter Griffin, didn't I? I've not attempted that in ages. And uh, I can sometimes do Shaggy, but it wasn't me. I can sometimes do that, but it, it's pressure, man, to do it live. <laughs> I can sometimes do it, but I sometimes can't really pull it off. Right, I'm just going to check over. There's another cabin over here, so we'll just take a little... Uh, Take a little look. But yeah, such a fun game. Yeah, it's freaking glorious outside. It's just like the weather in here. <laughs> oh, nice, Baz. Playing a classic. Uh, Baz is playing Moonwalker on the Sega Mega Drive. Hell yeah. I love that. Um, I've actually completed, uh, managed to complete the um, the arcade version of that as well. Because uh, throughout the UK, there's some uh, venues called uh, Arcade Club. And uh, so it's basically a free-to-play arcade. So it's literally like uh, about £15 for your entry. And all the machines are on free play. So you have unlimited continue. So you can play to your heart's content and you can actually complete the games, which is incredible. Uh, Moonwalk is one of those. So it, it does differ from the Mega Drive version, but both are, are great, though. I do like the, the arcade one a little more, but they're, they're both awesome, though. I'm happy to own the Mega Drive version. It's going to be weird not waking up to Dylan's morning announcements. I'd actually love to go camping, guys. Have any, have any of you guys been camping before? And, like, w would you like to go camping sort of thing? Like, have you got plans in the future? Yeah, I really want to... Um, have a camping trip. I think it'd be awesome. Hey, you stop that. <laughs> well, thank you for all your support, guys. If you're enjoying, if you don't mind dropping some cheeky likes on the live, and if you want to share it, that that would be awesome. Um, it help really helps us within the algorithm. Thank you, guys. Let's get the quarry up there tonight for its one year anniversary. I really want um the quarry to be up there and get the love it deserves. Thank you. Oh, really, Lauren? We went camping in abandoned places. You know what? I really had a missed opportunity. There was a theme park um, local to me. Not like absolute massive, not like kind of say Alton Towers massive, but it was a decent size like local theme park. And uh, that shut down like um, some years ago. And it remained abandoned up until like a few years ago. And like, that man, that would have been so good. I should have been like more, um, I know I should have been more on it. Could have like done some vlogs there or something for, um, for my... Uh, my channel that would have been so good but yeah it's all been cleared now but it like all the stuff was still there the rides and 
equipment and stuff. That would have been wicked. Thank you, Kate, for the follow. Uh oh. Ouch. So Jacob hasn't seen this. So harsh. Freaking poor Jacob. Yeah, it said Jacob and Emma forever, and it was like crossed out. An empty vial with an unpleasant odour. Thank you, Joseph, for the follow. Really appreciating you guys. We've got like less than 200 um, to go. Um, is it like less, just less than 200, I think? Or 100? We're getting close to our um, follower goal. Oh yeah, under 100 now. Thank you, guys. You're probably coming in thick and fast. And thank you. We've got just under 35k likes to um, right now, guys. Thank you so much for smashing uh, the like goals. Um, but yeah, we're just under 100 and then we'll be um, hitting 2,000 over on TikTok. So thank you. We've done amazing in such a short space of time. We've uh, just surpassed 250 um, followers over on Twitch as well, which is uh, real good. And we've just gone over 5K over on YouTube. So um, massive thank you for all your continued support. It's so kind of you. Teetzel, thank you for stopping in. So glad you're live tonight. Well, I'm glad to be here. I know Joan in. Uh, what's up, man? Thank you for stopping back in. Uh, yeah, the the Grey Hill incident, IGN the IGN rating has been released for that. They give it a three out of ten. <laughs> yeah. Ready to roll? It was not good. It was brutal last night. Uh yeah, let's do it. We're done round here. Finally. Oh Joseph, please do get the quarry. Anyone else wondering on whether you should pick up this game? Um Time to let loose in the moose, this caboose. Like if if you like horror, like horror story dramatic. backstory, Unknown. it's incredible. Acting. It's what people want. So you're faking it? I mean, in a way, faking it is just being yourself, but louder. You should try it sometime. You never know who you might impress. No. <laughs> it's too late now anyway. For what? You and Nick? You never know unless you put yourself out there. I'm a sick driver, right? Wow! Oh. Me and Holly the Honda. Thank you. Freaking iconic duo, myself and my uh, my Holly the Honda. If I were to put myself out there, what if he ends up being a dud, kind of like you and Jacob? It's actually. I need to move over a little bit. There we go. Then why'd you put it? Summer fling. We're going to school like four states away. I think he gets it. Yeah, sure. But that's us. You and Nick could be different. Why don't you get his handle? Hit him up. Oh, I already have his email. It was in the package they gave to us on the first day. Email? Are you 93? What's wrong with email? I'm really gonna miss you, Abby. Oh, hold up! Oh, uh, but the lodge is that way. Go right here. Why? Come on, scenic route? One last victory lap around the camp. We'll do scenic route. We'll do that. I absolutely love like nature, the environment, victory. scenery. I love all that. No technology. So I totally did the same. I didn't. Pass myself some more. Say I believe you. You know what? I actually believe you. Abby, was that a compliment? Your charm is infectious, what can I say? <laughs> I'd subscribe. You better. As soon as you get home, sub, share, smash that like button. The holy trinity. Okay, well now I'm really regretting it. Oh no, you love me. <laughs> My favorite spot? The fire pit? The island. Not secluded, right? Is... Is that smoke? Should we tell someone? Hmm, it looks pretty contained. It's probably just Mr. H burning some stuff before, you know, he closes camp for the summer. Yeah. Speaking of which, we should... We should probably... Yeah, you know, do that. Oh yeah, worried Nick's, you know, gonna leave it all. 
want to. Well, no, they're probably like all waiting for us. Mm -hmm. Everyone's waiting for us. Everyone, yeah. Nick, Lancey, all, everyone, same. So yeah, there's a bit of romance between Abby, the redhead one, and Nick. You know, good eye, mate. The Aussie. Aussie Nick. Yeah, a couple of you guys have said um, Abby, the one with the red hair, looks like um, Alex from Modern Family. I've not actually seen Modern Family before. I'm not sure. What up, Rock Chick? Thank you for the follow. It is uh, indeed no available on PlayStation. I got a full tank of gas, so... Oh, fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, idiot. <laughs> Does nobody own phone chargers anymore? Hey, there's no signal out here anyways, dude, okay? This place is like patchy as balls. <laughs> Your balls are patchy? What? No. It's okay, I'll just go get some juice from Mr. H before we go. And... Uh, ew. <laughs> hey, Nick. Hey, where were you guys? Wouldn't you like to know? Ignore her, please. Let's go. Just gotta get these bags up onto the... Oh, hey, hey, here, let me, um... Let me get it for you. I can Such a freaking sweet gentleman. Are you sure? Oh. I mean, it's really not that big she of a deal. She can take care of her own bag. Thank you. We can both take care of our own bag. Thank you. Jacob's hot right now. <sighs> not everyone accepts kindness. Mm. Why would you nudge? We'll do it. We'll see what happens. Uh, uh, Abby, do you need... Yeah. Can I... Thank you. <laughs> hey, has anyone seen Ryan? Oh yeah, he's probably off being all brooding and mysterious and alluring somewhere. <laughs> I'm here. What were you doing under there? Having a little me party? Uh, I was listening to a podcast, actually. Oh, podcast. Nice, that's cool. We all know it's Spice Girls, though. What's it about? We all established that. Uh, we'll say, is it about me? Because that's, uh, that's what Dylan would say. Yeah, what's it about? Is it about me? You think I was listening to a podcast about you? Okay, if anyone here had a podcast about them, it'd be me. Yeah, if there was a podcast called How to Look and Smell Like a Butt. Oh my god, you are so childish. <laughs> Lisa, look and smell like a butt. <laughs> no, it's a, it's a paranormal podcast. Th this episode was actually about this place, weirdly enough. The Hag of Hackett's Quarry. The who of the what's it where now? What's the Hag of Hackett's Quarry? You don't know about the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. Uh, if I did, would I be asking, dumbass? Tell her about the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. I don't think she wants to know about the Hag of Hackett's uh, Quarry. Oh, can we just please stop saying the Hag of Hackett's Quarry? <laughs> <laughs> it's just this campfire story for the kids. It's, um, there's supposedly an old woman who died in a fire a few years back. She haunts the woods looking for her lost baby boy. There are like reports of whispers or whatever and then this figure that floats around, you know, technically ghost stuff. Some people say that if she catches you alone, she'll try to turn you into her son or kill you or something. I don't know. It's never really been clear. Anyways, Haggard Haggard's Quarry. You made that up. It's right here in the podcast, man. <laughs> cool story, bro. <laughs> uh, yo, so you should have seen the kids' face. You should have seen the faces. You should have seen the first time you told the story to the kids at the campfire. They were scarred for life. I mean, not for <laughs> life. You gotta be careful with this stuff, man. This shit's true. <laughs> Dude, bullshit. What's the holdup, Hacketeers? Yeah, hey, uh, uh, nearly done, Mr. H. Oh, there he is, David Arquette. Butts and gear. Do it from screen. Let's go. Bye, Mr. H. Yeah, deliberate some luggage. 
Let's freaking go, man. He didn't spend so much time trying to impress the ladies with all his ghost stories. You asked. Ghost stories? The Hag of Hackett's Quarry. Oh. <sighs> hey, you still have the van key, Mr. H? Well, yes, I do. But no. I'd lose my head if it wasn't stuck on. Back to the office I go. Give me a hand, would you, Ryan? Oh, okay. Yo, Mr. H. What's up, DJ Dylan? Any chance I could get a little charge? I want to have some uh, tunes for the road. No can do. What's that? Oh, no fair. He's got a bit of attitude as Dylan. It's like super unchill. Hey, dude, I'm like the chillest flipping bro in the whole world, man. <laughs> I just need some tunes for the ride, man. <laughs> All right, that's enough. Five minutes? Like, like, five minutes, that's all I need, man. You said no, Dylan. Okay, yeah, I know, but I was just... Come on, iPhones about... need yeah. charge every, like, two seconds, man. <laughs> well, thank you to you all for stopping. Really appreciate you all. So, uh, Chris, I I'm actually glad we got a moment to talk. Uh, uh-oh. I'm not fired, am I? No, no, it's, um, it's just, you know, about the whole thing w with the... Hold that thought, partner. I'm going to have to take this. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, sorry. <laughs> Bless him. Hello. I know there's a few of you guys in the comments, I see ya. I know there's a few of you fancy Ryan, so don't all fight over him at once. I, I do think he's a cool character. He is decent. Um, Super uh, S SK Pikes, thank you so much for the follow. Appreciate that. Uh, Steven, you are in for a treat, mate. Honestly, um, he raised an incredible horror. So looking forward to playing this. Got it in my backlog. Ready is good. Um, I think we'll, we'll do the right thing and we'll listen to the podcast because Ryan is like um, a proper um, by the book kind of guy. He wouldn't disrespect uh, him like that. Sorry about that, bud. Sorry about that, bud. Didn't mean to push you out like that. You need a hand? Looking for the keys? Uh, no, end of summer, busy, busy. <laughs> anyway, you were asking me? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, it was just the whole animation school thing that we thought I should do. Right. Y you know, it's a, whether or not I should, like, leave my sister with my grandparents, since I'd have to live on campus, you know, and my mom's not exactly around, so I wouldn't want to leave Sarah on her own. My, fam my family's small enough as it is. Well, family is important, Ryan. Dang it. I'll say is everything okay? We'll, we'll be, um, yeah, concerned uh, with him. Uh, it's right near the start, Sassy, so anyone else stopping in, uh, we are quite near the, the start of the game. We're literally on chapter one, so we're literally just getting to know all of the um counselors uh, so Haley, um I, I call him dewey obviously it is david arquette from the screen movies um but he's called chris hackett in this is everything okay you got a hot day tonight oh boy <laughs> if you only knew <laughs> so uh what, what did you need me for you're one of my favorite counselors, Ryan. You know that. One of the good ones. But do you know how many calls I get from parents? Letter after letter of these terrified kids that they send home. Huh. I, I, I didn't realize that. Believe it or not, scaring kids away from sleepaway camp is kind of bad for business. So maybe just ease up on the ghost stories. Uh, 
Um, I think, apologize. I think that's been a bit too, you know, kind of sucking up to him. It's kind of like saying I didn't realize, but we'll just say it's just a little fun. Uh, yeah, definitely. I, I do think Colin uh, Dewey, anything but Dewey, feels wrong. And it, yeah, me too. It makes me want to watch the screen movies for sure. Love the screen movies. Yeah, this is a fun story that weirdo kid told me last month. Hey, there's no weirdo here. At Hackett's Quarry, everyone's their own brand of cool. You counselors got to be the responsible ones. Keep the kids happy. Keep the kids safe. So knock it off. Yeah, of course. I mean, we are. Seriously, Chris, what's going on? I just want to get you guys safely out of Dodge before the sun goes down. What do you guys think? Should we be inquisitive and ask why? Kenny, thank you for the follow, man. Appreciate you. Drew, thank you for being in. And ads as well. So Capcom Showcase Monday, can't wait. Yeah, me too, man. Um, we'll actually be streaming um, on Monday evening. We'll be streaming the Capcom Showcase. So stay tuned for the Resident Evil um, news. Hopefully Resident Evil news coming on. Uh, so yeah, I think we should be inquisitive. I know you guys, Ashton and Pipstar, say we should say why. It's getting dark, Ryan, and it's not safe to drive in the dark and safety is the first step towards fun just give me a minute where in the good goddamn are they will you say goodbye to Caleb and Kaylee for me they sort of just snuck off well, you'll see him again next year Caleb works at the scrapyard during the off-season, and Kaylee, well, she's still figuring out what she wants to do. She's got her whole life ahead of her. They both just come and go as they please, really. Teenagers, am I right? Actually, could have used the help packing up since we were short-staffed. Hey, you guys seem to manage all right. But I'll tell them both you were sad you missed them. Unlocked the van. Put the keys in my pocket, came in the office. Right where I left him. Uh -huh. <laughs> Let's skedaddle. So Caleb and Kaylee, they're um, his son and daughter. I have indeed super, I have played Sons of the Forest. We did a stream of that a while back. Yeah, I really enjoyed what I played, but I just need to get good at it a little bit. But it is really good though, man. Yeah, do you enjoy it? And sure absolutely teat, so I'm going to try to keep all live tonight. Stuff. So yeah, Chris just wants to wrap things up, wants everyone Wait, just to go home. You get your phone back before the rest of us. I never turned it in. You should have turned it off before you handed it in, Dylan. Them's the rules, you noob. I try not to dwell on the past, man. Good. Because it's time to dwell on the minivan. Get on with our respective lives. Move it. Let's go. What's the problem? Uh-oh. Oh, dude, I don't know. I, I think there's something wrong with the engine, Mr. H. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, dude, it's just like kaput. All right, let me try. What? Dude, I'm telling you. All right, it's busted. Well, maybe you're doing well, it wrong. Well, maybe you're doing it wrong. What the fuck, dude? Enough. Enough, both of you. Shit. Come All on. Right, Come dude, on. Chill. Chill, Let's go. dude. Let's go. Damn it. I thought I told you kids to check everything. No, we did. It, it should be working. Yeah, well, coulda and shoulda doesn't mean it is, does it? Damn it. He's pissed. He's pissed. Yeah, because obviously, Jacob, we didn't have a choice. We had to sabotage okay, this. Uh, look, it's not that big of a deal, okay? We'll just sabotage. spend one more night here. No! No! Just stop. Let me think. Okay. 
damn it. You're right, you're right, yeah. What? Yeah, you're right. Got it. Hey, Brian. Come here for a sec. Make sure that everybody is inside the lodge for tonight. Lock the doors. No one in, no one out. No one. Got it? Okay. Yeah. I'll be back first thing in the morning. And we'll get you all on the road. You just have to keep everyone inside. Can you promise me you'll do that? Of course, we've got to be compliant because, like, Ryan is his favorite counselor. Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. We'll, we'll stay inside. And a boy. Lock the doors. No one's That's doing. It. Keep the noise down. We won't be partying at all. Fuck yeah, I, I didn't get my Fred Perry on for no reason. I got the Fred Perry shirt out tonight. Let's go. Let's freaking go, guys. <laughs> so, what was that about? He, uh, said to stay inside. That we're not leaving until the morning. Are you kidding me? Um. Are you kidding me? What are we supposed to do? Well, we should go inside, like he said. We could go inside until morning. Yeah. Or. Or we could do something else. We'll go curious. I think. Kids still be like, "What are you? What are you talking about?" What are you talking about? No, Mr. Hackett. No screaming kids. Just a bunch of grown-ass adults ready to cut loose and get down with their animal side. Oh. P A R T. Why the fuck not? All right, it seems like the stars have aligned for us, no? Okay, okay, okay. One last epic bonfire blowout for all time. Oh, dude. Fuck yes, I'm in. Nick, you're in. Yeah, I'm in. Dylan's in, obviously. My man, Caitlin. I go where my people need me. Yeah, okay. M, what do you say? <laughs> yeah, I'm in. What do you guys say? Are you in? It seems pretty insistent we stay in the lodge. He's just trying to freak us out, you know? Like, um, like one of Ryan's stupid ghost stories. Why would he want to scare us? Uh, we'll, we'll be supportive of um, Mr. Hackett indeed. Uh, but thank you guys. Thanks so much for dropping the follows. Um, we got Kenny, Gavin, Howard. Thank you uh, to you all. Appreciate you. And uh, yeah, I think so, Alice. Uh, she did say the character design based off real actors. That girl looks like Brenda Song. I'll have to. Which uh, character are you talking about? It's not Caitlin, is it? I'll have to take a look um, at Brenda Song. But yeah, I think they are. So he's just concerned for us. I'm sure he's just looking out for us no big deal all right yeah no I, I, I didn't mean high five touch my hand ryan well ryan is massively outnumbered by everyone so he's gonna have to give in right he's gonna have to give in so just before we agree to the party we'll have a cheeky rose jam let's go <laughs> Of course. Thank you so much, Birico and Haley, for dropping the roses. Really appreciate you. And thank you, Mr. Frog, for being in. And we have BB as well. You you guys have not missed too much. We're literally finishing up chapter one. So we'll go reluctant. We've got fine. Fine. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I just want to go on record and say that this is a bad oh my idea. God, hang on. Uh. Uh. It's going to be fine, man. Trust me. It's gonna be chill. All right, all right, all right. Hacketeers, party planning committee. Let's do this. Um, okay. First things first. Nick and Abby, 
You go get some firewood. Uh, Emma and I will go to the stores for some supplies. And uh, Dylan, you just, I don't know, figure out how to charge the phones for something. All right, let's do this. Let's do this, guys. You guys down to party around the campfire tonight. Somebody be scoping us out. It's officially hunting season. Let's go. What up, Cold Brain? Said, late to the party. How's it going? It's going good, thank you. You're not actually too late. I believe we're just about going into chapter two shortly. So we've met all the camp counsellors. We're going to be partying I tonight. You'd come back to me. Let's see what you found. Temperance. To be balanced, to consume in moderation, or to indulge in excess. Temperance. Take it or leave it. But remember, sometimes, with temperance comes deferred gratification. There's more I can show you, if you like. Of course we'll see more. And yeah, Tietzel, um, I know you've asked, um, are we going to be, um, I know you said we're going to be playing through all the chats tonight. So we'll probably get maybe about two thirds of the way through tonight. I think probably take me around like nine or ten hours to complete, I think. So yeah, we'll, we'll finish it up probably tomorrow. Okay, let's see what she's going to show us. Look into the crystal ball, everybody. You'd better be going. It's still early and the moon is bright, but time won't wait. Not for those with a story to tell. Be careful. Look out for yourselves. And look out for my cards. Nice. So yeah, it can look like firecrackers or something that we'll, uh, we'll come across. So cool. Chat two, truth or dare? Of course, in true campfire fashion. Let's go. So here we are, stranded in the great American wild with nothing but our wits to guide us. Will humanity prevail or will we grow ravenous and resort to eating the flesh of the deceased like I saw in that one place? Jacob. Rich and full-bodied, this rare beefcake may leave an irritating taste lingering on the palate. An acquired taste. Wow. Well. What? Looks like you're trying to thread a needle with a packet of loose sausages. Oh my god, I'm almost done, okay? Jesus Christ. And for the record, your analogies are very hurtful. Okay, I'm almost there. One second. I don't think we should kick it. We'll we'll, we'll leave it. Hi, there we go. And Viola, uh, your hair clip, madam. Yeah, you can keep it. It's not too shabby, huh? Yeah. 
We'll be playful. I like a man who's good with his hands. Yeah, well, they call me Mr. Magic Fingers. <laughs> Not at all. Okay. So, if I were a beer, where would I be hiding? What are you doing? Oh, <laughs> uh, it's my beer dar. Helps me dar for beers. Huh. How am I just noticing how super lame you are? What? But it's it's my beer dar, dude. I'm just gonna I'm gonna go over here. Wow, kids really wipe this place out. Mr. H loved his accessories. Hmm. I think it's locked. Don't know what I was expecting. Oh. Oh, hell yeah! <laughs> oh! Jackpot! Hey, uh, check out my giant melon. Oh. See, you just cut a hole in it. Mm hmm. You pour in your vodka. Party time. You just you pour the vodka right in it. Yeah, it's the most fun you could have with a hole in a watermelon. Or, well, second most. Okay, I'm gonna leave you two alone and go look for some more party supplies. Sorry, I was just looking uh, down my phone for a minute, guys. I was just sorting the chats out and stuff, make sure that like, things are in order and stuff. Uh, yeah, me too, Sophie. Um, that's the problem with these games. Sometimes, you you know, you, you can, unfortunately, even though you're being cautious and careful and think you're doing the right thing, you can sometimes make the, the wrong decisions and kill off some of your favourites. And it is gutting. So, yeah, I'm, I'm really trying uh, my hardest tonight to keep everyone alive. We'll try and get a decent ending for sure. Okay, so I don't think we're going to gonna open it ourselves but yeah it, it is great the walking segments just to have a nice explore there's uh, lots of collectibles that you can get and th there's still loads that I've, I've missed on previous playthroughs harem scam so yet another one Another flyer. These flyers are promoting a traveling show called harem scarum the date listed indicates that it took place over six years ago But yeah, I think Jacob is he's gotta be as you know, as mischievous as it and playful as he is, like I think he's probably the nicest in this game. The girls aren't actually that nice. Caitlin's like an absolute savage. I think Emma's real sassy and a bit bitchy, to be honest. And um to be fair though, I think the nicest is probably Abby, uh, the redhead. She she's real nice. She's my favourite female character on this. But my favourite character is definitely Jacob. Whoa. Uh oh. But we are actually playing this game with an 80s filter on as well, guys. So that's why it looks quite grainy, because otherwise the graphics are usually a bit more polished up. But yeah, it is, uh, it is an 80s filter. Is there something in here? We'll unlock that. see anything in there we'll take another walk we'll just keep uh, exploring yeah hope you got you guys are enjoying it so far it really is an incredible game and i'd recommend it to any of you if you've not yet played it <laughs> hello old friends oh yeah oh that that spider's harsh I think we should scare Jacob. Can't pass up an opportunity like this. Okay. Have y'all ever seen a grown man crap his pants? Because you're about to. She loves her vlogging. Oh my. 
Alright, now where should I hide? Jacob! Emma? Hello? Look, if you're trying to scare me, it's not gonna work. Get a coat? No, they're they're funny. You think this is supposed to be funny? <laughs> he already knew. I mean, yeah. Well, you think it's funny now, little boy? I oh, he's kidding. You want to join plenty of my sexy clown friends in a tiny car that somehow fits us all like it's no big deal? What? Moment's gone. Moment's are gone. Are any of you guys scared of clowns, by the way? I'm not. I I've always just found them funny. Again, I'm so like Jacob. I just found them funny. I've I don't ever find them scary. I should use the spider. That's way scarier. You chose the wrong prop, girl. Hey, what's up, Jen? Said, yes, love this game. And a V-King runner said, uh, this game is awesome. It really is. You guys know. You guys freaking know. It's its one-year anniversary tonight, so that's why I was streaming. It was showing it, once again, showing it some love. So thank you to all for being here. I wonder where this goes. Uh, I don't know if, um, do you reckon she'd kick it herself or she'd ask Jacob? I think she'd maybe rely on him. And to be honest, I think it'd give him, like, a sense of self-importance, I think. We'll call Jacob. Jacob! He won't trust us this time, actually. I don't think he'll trust us. Oh, he really does. Uh, oh, righty then. Door, buckle up because you are about to meet your maker. <laughs> I like the little alrighty then that he did. Done. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Back in Neverland. Oh, good golly, Miss Molly. No wonder I kept this place locked up. I think he'll be pissed when you made a stash. What? No. I mean, he left us stranded here. It's like, um... <clears throat> Human rights, or whatever. Sure. Yeah. All right. Now let's see what we are working with. Hold that. The door will latch otherwise. It's an absolute goodies in here. Let's go, guys. Oh. Hell yeah. <clears throat> in and out. Job done. Boom. I want to look around. Go for it. Thank you, uh, Phantom Death and Jen for the follows. Really appreciate all you guys. And thank you so much for all the continued um, likes on, on the stream as well. We're just under 50k likes over on TikTok. Let's uh, let's keep that momentum going. Thank you so much. And thank you for all the likes over on YouTube as well. So, Tito, my favourite character it is Jacob. Definitely my favourite one to play. Jacob, check this out. I can't move or else the door will latch. It looks like camping supplies. Oh, okay. Um, there's tents back at the fire pit, so just let's let's go. It's like it's been scratched. Torn hiking bags dashed with flecks of dried blood. This ain't suspect at all. Is it a bear to this? Unfortunately, Haley Dewey is not playable. It's just our counsellors. Our camp counsellors. Our responsible camp counsellors. Oh, cool. <laughs> Hell what? yeah. What is it? A gun. Oh, cool. 
and uh, code. Awesome. Oh, man, why would you leave all these snacks behind? I would be all up in uh, those snacks. Look at those on the top shelf. It says Vampire Bites. They look cool. So you're, uh, you're really going to keep the gun, huh? Yeah. For Bear. Okay. Uh, well, I am going to find something to call this lot back to camp. To right, Haley. I hope that wasn't Chris's blood. <laughs> I mean, Chris Hackett or Chris Redfield? That is the question. Lodge renovation plans. Blueprints for structural repairs on the lodge's chimney column. Judging by the scrolled annotations, it is not something Chris Hackett has the money to action right now. So is, is that like, um, yeah, that chimney we went earlier when I said we needed some flu powder like on Harry Pisspot? I think we could do like we're so used to streaming horrors and real tense games like I think we, we should do some chill streams you know like um like a Lego Harry Piss Pot or something like that what do you guys reckon I reckon we should do that I won't mind streaming that sometime <laughs> thank you Haley. It's, it's great to have you in I, I love having all you guys in uh chilling uh, with me on streams i think one, one the safe i think it was through here wasn't it i don't think we're missing anything uh through here oh yeah that was the um that was the flyer i don't think there's anything else yeah it was just the um the safe was like through there <sighs> Hey, very nice. <laughs> what else is in there? Uh, just some fireworks. Ooh, oh, fireworks? Yeah, but I don't think we should. No, 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 Emma. Fireworks. So I think it it could result in us getting hurt i think because i think what we should do we should definitely as as much as it would be um fun and all it, was, it would make a noise if there's things out there but i think if we took them um obviously something bad could happen because it came up on that tarot card kind of vision so obviously we really want to try and get the best um ending so I, I think um we should we should leave them i think so we'll go with like the the tarot card. I think if you guys are in agreement, I think that's the the overall vibe I'm getting. I think it will help to leave them. I think. I feel like fireworks are crossing the line. What? You got a gun. Why can't I have firecrackers? Because the gun is for bear protection, and the fireworks could start a forest fire. <sighs> Stupid forest fires. Hey, I found these like torn up bags back there they were pretty messed up and i think they might have had blood on them oh oh stop stop stay right there uh, oh dude this is what i'm talking about peanut butter butter pops peanut butter butter pops dude, peanut butter fucking butter pops i bet they're so nice we'll be judgmental i think because he is a big kid so i think he'll probably say uh aren't those for should, she'd probably say aren't those for kids no frog not peppa pig on the switch that is too far man that is too far yeah i think i've actually got when it's time well i'll probably have them a bit late because i'm a bit full actually um yeah i i do actually have they're still in date some reese's white trees so we'll have some peanut butter i do have some downstairs actually from um from easter I think we'll um we'll definitely have some peanut butter a little later. We'll get in the um in the peanut butter um butter pop vibe. We'll be judgmental. Aren't those for kids? What? Yeah, yeah. And I used to be a kid. You used to be. <sighs> okay. Um. Look, just try one of these puppies. I promise you, you will change your tone. Not a chance. 
pop, pop, peanut butter, butter pops. Pop, <laughs> pop, pop them in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, they're like the greatest snack of all time. All right, whatever. You know what? More for me. Well, <clears throat> I saw a wheelbarrow out front, so we can load up all our booty in there. Uh, I'm sorry, what? Booty? Oh, it means like, um, like treasure or buds. <laughs> no, before that. Wheelbarrow? Uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> okay. Uh, it's like, um, it's like a barrel with wheels. You can put stuff in it and just wheel it around. Oh. I see. <sighs> Ladies first. Mm -hmm. I told you guys, I told you Jake was cool. He's so damn cool. Yeah, do you like Reese's as well, Birka? Any other peanut butter fans in here? I'm so glad I don't have a, a nut allergy or anything. So glad I can have Reese's. <laughs> They are real nice. The inner sanctum. It's just an office. This is where the magic happens. Do his office. We're trespassing. Let's just make this quick. Sure. Just give me a sec to get this going. And engage. Podcasts. Yeah. All right. So what you listen to now? Uh, what's it called? The one that you're listening to right now? Uh, bizarre yet bona fide. So like ghosts and stuff. It's like um, yeah, like the the weird and the wonderful, digging up weird mysteries and discussing if they're well, bona fide. Boner fide. Get it? You just you just had to go there, Dylan. Your wit knows no bounds. So, should we check out what Mr. H keeps in his private den of sin? Uh, I don't know, man. I feel a little weird going through his stuff. Okay, well, I don't. I mean, come on, what kind of dirty secrets is the owner of a summer camp full of impressionable young children gonna have anyway? <laughs> Not Mr. H, I know. He's cool. Always been cool to me. Come on, let's snoop. I was going to say we're going to snoop around. Snoop doggy dog. Let's go. Let's go around like the uh, ice ice baby. Smooth as ice that we are. Moonwalking into uh, Chris Hackett's office like. Let's go. <laughs> Hell yeah. Um, but yeah, when he was saying all like, the, the boner fight, get it, boner. I was like, Dylan, do you mind? I've literally not long had. I had, I had um, some of last night's takeaway like tonight because whenever i order a calzone it's like literally bigger than me it's like that sketch in little britain where it's like the little person the, the massive objects i'm kind of like that so i still had some calzone left literally not long had my uh donna meat calzone uh dylan i don't really don't want to throw up right now so cool it on all that stuff but yeah uh some of you guys are also fans of uh reese that's awesome to hear um we've got so hayley um magda as well I'm glad you guys like Reese's as well. What's up, Katie Doll? Thank you for stopping him. Whoa, look at this old thing. Hey, give me your number. I want to try it out. Why? Oh, I think we'll flirt so I can ask you on a date. Because I think there's kind of something between um, subtle between uh, Dylan and Ryan. But yeah, I'm glad you're on board with that as well, Alice. Said it would be pretty fun doing some chill streams. I think that would be good. I think we should mix things up and do some some chill ones uh so that i can ask you out on a date uh mm, smooth i think if i try to cell phone number on this thing it'll just explode the... be interesting well, what what who is it uh hello it's weird i thought i heard someone mm. maybe you should have asked them out on a date damn it i missed my shot Oh, Johnny, you've been grafting, mate. He said, I'm in my own quarry digging stones from my garden. Oh, bro, I hope it's going well. Um, 
I mean, it's been it's been glorious weather outside. I hope uh, you've been making decent progress, man. Thanks for still being here, uh, Derek Daniels. Thank you, man. Damn, Daniel. And we've got Daniel Bull as well. Um, thank you, said. Followed on TikTok and just subscribed on YouTube. Thank you very much for being here. Another Daniel. Thank you. That's a real nice family photo, that. And it looks very realistic, you know, of how David Arquette is in real life. A younger-looking camp leader, Chris Hackett, with his two kids, Caleb and Kaylee. They look happy. Kaylee and Caleb Hackett. Weird kids, huh? I like them. Yeah, me, uh, me too. Um, they are pretty reclusive, you have to admit. Yeah, it looks great, that picture. Damien, thanks for being in. Said, love this game so much. Me too. Honestly, I think this is genuinely like my top five of all time. Genuinely, I love it. We'll just check that out and then... I've got that uh, little bit of a trapdoor thing to um. Hey, what's the gun out. for? Uh, Chris, Mr. H told me it was for um, bears. Bears? Here? Yeah, yeah, he said they don't really come around because he's got the gun. Yeah. Just leave it alone. Leave it alone. I thought it would be playful. What if bears crash the party? Dude, we're going to be out partying in the woods tonight, all right? What if the bears try to crash? Okay, it's it's like my mom always said. If you want to party, you got to bring protection. <laughs> well, I think that she was talking about condoms. I'm not going to fuck a bear. The most dangerous thing I've seen in these woods is a pissed off squirrel. That sounds pretty scary. <laughs> a pissed off squirrel. <laughs> no offense to any Americans. He just sounded funny. Where the gun is, if we need it. Your call, man. He just speaks funny, man. The most intimidating thing I've seen in this woods is a pissed off squirrel. <laughs> oh, man. Um, yeah, I, I know you just uh, requested that, Hayley. Uh, it said, I was going to ask for Crash Bandicoot, then realized it's not exactly chill. Very true, but still very true. It's not exactly chill, but we will definitely stream that very soon. We will have a retro night and play some original Crash Bandicoots. Uh, no, Becker, I've actually treated myself tonight. We're not actually on the G Fuel, but uh, I've just treated myself to a cheeky monster. I'm on the uh, assault one. It's um, it's like a, a cola kind of flavour. It's really nice. Um, that's a, that's another game, Katie. I really need to play. I've not played Detroit Become Human yet, but I've been recommended by a lot of people. And Vincenzo, I know you did mention. Sorry, I know you mentioned earlier. Did have I played uh, Life is Strange? Played it a little bit, but I got sidetracked with other games. So it's definitely another series I do need to revisit. Grim Reaper, thank you for stopping in, man. Appreciate you. And it's it's awesome to have you in, uh, Derek. Damn, Daniel. <laughs> Hello, what is this? You hear that? Is that a trap door? <laughs> you gotta be playful. It is a pretty funny line to say. We'll say this. <laughs> I knew that there was a secret sex dungeon around here somewhere. Uh, yeah, yeah. I bet you Mr. H is into some real kinky shit. <laughs> uh, I doubt it. Ricky oh, Dirty Dewey. Counselors who never showed up? Uh-huh. Why? Secret. Sex. Dungeon. Yeah, it's not funny. It probably just goes to the basement <laughs> or something. Open it up. Alright, well, it looks like a pit of eternal darkness, so... You're being dramatic. Climb down. Take a look. Look, you can squeeze through there. <laughs> you opened it. You climbed down. Well, of course we got her. Path chosen. What's down there? Oh my god, Ryan, you will what? not believe this. What, what, what? It's nothing. Oh, great. I had you go in there for a second, didn't I? No. Maybe. Just, just shut up. It is uh, pretty spooky down here, though, and it smells very unnatural, so... Yeah, okay, I'm coming back up. Wait, 
Ooh, that's a nice chair. I could get used to that. You better hope Mr. H doesn't catch you taking his baby out for a joyride. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we'll be playful. Um, Jeremiah, thank you for the follow and said, no spoilers, but this is one of the best games I've played. Enjoy. It really is awesome. I did play this back on launch. We're playing it tonight to celebrate the one year anniversary of the game. Uh, it's definitely, I'd say, in my top five games of all time. I, I love it that much. I think the story is incredible. And Zvenny Boy uh, said, great game. I know you spoke in German just there, didn't you? You said, ich liebe es. It means I love it, right? I did do German GCSE. I remember like one thing which is that <laughs> ring -a -ding -a -ding. oh sorry bud gotta take this one second hello hackett's quarry summer camp what doesn't kill you will make you stronger what can i do for you on this darn tootin doozy of a day is that your impression of mr h uh yeah uh-huh yeah yeah i you're absolutely right he does need to be nicer to dylan and uh what's that you want him to give Dylan his phone number? That's a little forward, but I can see what I can do. Smooth. <laughs> they have been a proper snoop in here, guys. Oh. Laura Kearney and Max Friendly. Oh yeah, those are the ones that never showed up. From the pro prologue, the beginning. Yeah, it's because of these goobers that we had to work extra shifts this summer. So Laura and Max did not turn up. So they, those are those two from the beginning. So Max, um, he, he got attacked, obviously, and then Laura got, um, got injected. She got knocked out. So a list of the counselors' names, personal details, and their tasks at camp. Two names are crossed out, Laura Kearney and Max Brindley. Why didn't they show up? Well, we know, we know why. It, th there is actually, isn't there? there is quite a few of those, Kate. So I love the awkward silences in between each bit of dialogue. Yeah, it's so atmospheric. It really is good. And um, Lobster, thank you for being in. Um, so I've got to get the platinum for this game. Me too. I do need to get all the achievements on this. I'm playing it on Xbox uh, this evening. Uh, said prefer Until Dawn a bit more. I know some people do. I'm more of the quarry, but um, I do still appreciate Until Dawn. It's a fantastic game still. Uh, Jessica, what's up? Thanks for being here. said, I, I love this game. Keep playing just to get different outcomes. That's what I, I really love um, about this game. You know, it's so much replayability, these types of games. I'm a lot cooler tonight, Tito, without the Tim 4 hat. Thank you for asking. <laughs> a lot cooler tonight. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, he was playing um, the Grey Hill incident last night. It, it's bad, I wouldn't recommend. Um, but yeah, we, we was wearing a tin foil hat when we played that. My head was very insulated, just freaking boiling yeah, last yeah. night. Yeah. Uh, so you can poke around in Chris's private area? Uh, yeah. I'm sorry, is that something that only you're allowed to do? Hardy har har. Come on, what's the harm in looking? It's You're not a little bit curious i'm not gonna touch anything fine don't let me regret it can't promise that but freaking gg to ryan for not being a party pooper let's go <laughs> you're using that wrong oh. huh Fashion icon. Absolute fashion icon. He knows what he likes. I'm sure he does. Wow, that makes him look tiny. Yo. Hey, hey, maybe we shouldn't. That is crazy. That is some crazy shit behind uh, those Ryan? clothes. Even Ryan didn't know about monitors. this. This is the camp. Huh. Is Mr. H spying on us? No, no. I mean, no, no, he can't be. These are just, they're all different trails in the woods around camp. <laughs> sure. Most of the cameras are pointed away from camp, so it's not like he's spying on the kids, unless they wandered out into the woods. You know, these are just, probably just trail cameras. What are trail cameras? People set them up to catch weird random shit okay yeah like what 
like Bigfoot sightings, you know, that kind of thing. We'll say so, he was looking for Bigfoot. Yeah, of course he was. But thank you so much. Cheers, Craig, for the following. Thank you, Rebecca uh, Valentine, for sharing the live. I really appreciate um, all the love tonight. Really feeling the love tonight, guys. Thank you for that. Uh, Becca, we didn't actually complete uh, GTA Vice City. I would like to go back to it, but just have some issues right now with copyright because the first string got blocked. Um, so it's no longer like able to you know play it back. Um, so yeah, I just need to work out, see if I can safely stream it in future. We'll say he was looking for so, big fun. Okay. I'm going to upgrade Mr. H from super creepy pervert with a spy cam to, you know, super crazy conspiracy hunter. To be fair, Bigfoot's not a conspiracy. Okay, fine. How about an aspiring cryptozoologist? Hey, maybe he likes the podcast that you listen to. Sure, yeah, let's go with that. Okay, but why go through all the trouble of hiding this room through a secret door in the closet? Uh, I mean, it's not exactly secret, right? Like, it's just hidden, like, stuff. Of course it's secret, yeah, Ryan. Secret is, Ryan. It, it, it's weird. It's major league yeah, weird. I don't disagree with you, but... It, it's it's got to be something juicy in here. Dylan, it's, okay. it's none of our business. And if you really want to know, you can ask him tomorrow. I'm sure that won't be an awkward conversation, like, at all. Okay, yeah, maybe I will. All right. I, I'm leaving this secret layer. Have fun. Hey, you just admitted that it's a secret layer. You did just admit that. I don't know, I can't believe he was actually denying it was actually a secret. Um, but yeah, d d don't be offended or anything if, if I don't get back straight away in the chat. I am keeping an eye on all the chats right now. Um, obviously, there's a lot of dialogue, so I just don't want to ruin the game and be talking over the characters, because obviously we want to follow the story, see what they're saying, get to know them and stuff. So I do talk in between the dialogue. That's one of those hunters. It's probably nothing. Bro, we literally just bash that and give it like the, the white noise screen, just like Mr. X does in um in OGRE2, you know in scenario B when he goes up to that TV screen, raises his arms and just like bashes them down on that screen. <laughs> literally. Um yeah, thank you, um thank you to you guys. Um yeah, Katie, I, I love revisiting uh, Until Dawn. Um, that, that was real good. We streamed that a little while ago. Um, Jeremiah said, have you heard about Star Wars Eclipse? It's the same narrative made by Quantic Dream. Not heard of Star Wars Eclipse, man. I'm not actually right big into Star Wars. I can appreciate it's a great franchise, but it's a little too complicated for me. <laughs> I get quite lost in, in big worlds and stuff, you know. I like that little sketch of Dewey on there in the bottom right. It's a cute little sketch there. What up, Galfrey Gamer? Thank you for being in tonight. And thank you for still being here, Becca. Uh, Hayley said, do you go to any conventions? I do when I can. I did used to go to some retro gaming ones. I do want to try and make it maybe a bit more for the social side of it. Um, it it's very expensive, as you can imagine. Retro gaming's got shot right up. I won't be able to buy as much as I used to. But I want to get some more of those. And I do go to the odd gaming events. Yeah, um, next one will be Insomnia in Birmingham. Uh, we went a few months ago, um, and there was actually five Resident Evil voice actors. It was an absolutely incredible experience. I met lots of people who I'd only uh, knew online, like other streamers and content creators, like Resident Evil and horror ones. Absolute um, awesome people I met. So, yeah, there's another Insomnia well, coming up. Some pretty heavy duty stuff in here. Yeah, maybe Late this year. Yeah, there's nothing fun. There's hella stuff in there, man. That ain't just like your average cabinet. There's a lot of things in there. Magda said, wish I was convention in Burton upon Trent. Oh, is that where you are? Um, yeah, to be honest, I have to travel usually a, a couple, few hours to some events. I usually have to travel to them. And Rebecca, thanks so much for um, repeat sharing of the life. I really appreciate you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. 
thank you guys for all of the uh, likes, follows and shares uh, so far tonight. We're literally just under 60k likes over on TikTok. I think we're going to get over 100k likes tonight, you know. So we've been streaming for just under uh, like two and a half hours. Um, so yeah, I'm aiming to be on for like maybe five or six, maybe. We'll be on for like another few. But yeah, if you guys can't stay for too long, um, this will be available to watch over on my YouTube Holster TV. Anyone else, you know, on the TikTok or Twitch, um, it will be available to watch over on there. I'm doing good, thanks, uh, Galfrey. I uh, hope, hope you're doing well as well, man. Oh, you actually, Hayley, you're going to Insomnia? Yeah, it's in Birmingham. It's... Um, I get confused. Is it end of September or something? I will be going there. Um, totally feel free to join my Discord. You can drop us a message in there. Um, my Discord is um, down below in the description over on YouTube. But yeah, of course. And if I bumped into you, you could ask for a photo. Yeah, not a problem at all. Of course, it'd be great to um, well, meet you, Haley. Got anything going on when you get back home? School or? Uh, jury's out. Understood. Girlfriend? Uh, not exactly. Boyfriend? Free agent. Cool, yeah. Me too. Are the, uh, phones? Uh, yeah, probably. You want to check? Oh, let's just give him another minute or two, just to be sure. Guys, I know you'll be um, excited. I mean, a few of you in the chat anyway. Ryan's a free agent. Did you did you hear that? I know a few of you uh, fancy Ryan, don't you? A few of you have commented that. Um, definitely, uh, definitely, Teets. I'm, I'm really excited for my birthday on Wednesday. Uh, what I'm going to do, I think, guys, uh, I think next Saturday we'll do a 12-hour stream. I was going to do that on Tuesday, the day before my birthday, but I just feel like it's not that convenient uh, for, for everyone sort of thing. So I think... If we do it on next Saturday, um, we'll do a 12-hour stream from probably like 12 p.m. till midnight uh, to celebrate, um, you know, just slightly late birthday stream. I think we'll do that, and then more people can tune in and hang out. So, yeah, we'll do that for sure. 12 till 12 on Saturday. Be there. Nice. Full up. I think we've pretty much... We've been an ab absolute Snoop Doggy Dogs tonight, so we will... We will exit out of here like the smooth criminals we are. Freaking Ice Ice Baby out of here. Let's go. Everyone, everyone, follow follow Miss Vanilla Ice out of here. Let's go. Let's head to the party. Let's go. Alright, cool. Let's go. Thank you. That's cool, Katie. It makes sense as well. Said so I fancy Nick, which is funny because Abby is the character I relate to the most. Hell yeah, they're, they're a nice little couple. I love this song as well. I love this song in the background. This would be a lot easier with Mr. H's chainsaw. It's really very pretty out here when there's no kids around. And they're kind of obnoxious, huh? Yeah. <laughs> they always seem to listen to you during painting class. You've seen my class? Just walking by. <laughs> the art cabin's all the way out of the way. Yeah, well, there's this shortcut that I take every day. Which way should we go? Why don't you choose? What do you guys think? What are you saying? Shady Glade or Rocky Road? Because I'm a little torn. I'm quite... Actually, I'm quite lean towards... Um, We've got Shady Glade, it's kind of like Slim Shady, but I think Rocky Road's good because I quite like Rocky Road, the food. Birico's in there with Rocky Road. Kate says Shady Glade. I'm very I'm very swayed towards Rocky Road now. We'll have a quick uh, quick rose jam. Thank you, uh, thanks to Brookie VR. I will be in the with the body screaming Appreciating you. I am going towards Rocky Road because I, I like the food, okay? Meat and food. We'll go Rocky Road. 
I love this song. It's called Follow the Sun. It's a really nice song. Let's go Rocky Road. Good choice. Better six this way. Better six? Yeah. You like burning or whatever? Think we've got enough? Not yet. Such a beautiful song. I love it. I really like this scene with um, Nick and Abby. I think it's really um, sweet. Hey, Abby, when we getting together, mate? <laughs> Thank you, Lou, for the follow. Appreciate you, man. And um, me too. Um, I really do apologize. I've known someone with the same name as you. Uh, Fifion? I don't know how to say it. Is it Fion? Fifion. Sorry, I'm, I'm really bad. I, I've literally known someone with the same name, like, online, so I've not had to meet them in real life and say it, but I, I do not know how to say it now. I do apologise. Fifion, I think. But yeah, I, I do love these two. They, they are nice. And it Buggles McGee as well, thank you uh, for the follow. And Chez Teetle said, love the way you smile all the time. Your energy is amazing. You make it real fun to watch. Honestly, I'm so happy to be here. Genuinely. So this place was an actual quarry? Uh, yeah. Apparently some of the caves run pretty deep. It's like a honeycomb under there. Cool. Fifiana. Nice. I, I nailed it. Nailed it. <laughs> Thank you. Soft-hearted, thank you for being here as well. The game is indeed. It's this his first anniversary tonight. That's why we're streaming it. Oh, I can't do that, Frog. 12-hour Peppa Pig stream. I can't do that to celebrate my 30th. Come on, man. <laughs> you know what? I used to live in um, the States. Sure this is safe? And we had those signs. Are you scared? No. Are you? It used no. to freak me out seeing those. Yeah, we used to be driving along some trails and they'd have like the danger falling rock signs and it'd really, um, yeah, it'd freak me out. Because all it takes is just some random rock to fall down, right? It freaks me out, man. Reaper Viper, what's up? Uh, I love this game as well. So glad um, to see the love for this game uh, tonight. Uh, so Magda, I have got this on alternate audio. So um, most of the main songs are still in the game, but um, I think it does make it more friendlier for streaming this. Yeah, helps us from that uh, copyright. Oh, Frog, come on. <laughs> I cannot stream Peppa Pig for 12 hours straight to celebrate my 30th birthday. Now, what I'm thinking for my birthday stream is streaming uh, the original Resident Evils 1, 2, and 3. OG Resident Evils, but kind of not, not all back to back. We'll do some retro in between. It's all right. Calm down. <laughs> what about Abby's more chill? Which way was we going? Can't remember which way we was going now. Nick's like, whoa, 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 what are these falling rocks, mate? Abby, mate, what's going on? <laughs> mm, I can't remember which way we're going now, because it, it altered all the cameras. We're going this way, I think. What up, Zachary? Thanks for being in. Yes, yeah, so that's what I was going to do. Um... Original Resident Evil 1, 2, and 3, but between each one, we'll play some classic games. And thank you again, Rebecca, uh, for sharing the live. Really appreciate you. Thank you guys for all the likes, shares, and follows across all three platforms. It's great to hang out with you all, honestly. Oh, Alvin, you need to get this game. If any of you guys have not yet played it or purchased this game, like, you need to get it. It's probably around £20, £25 pounds nowadays, I think. Um, and Neil did say earlier that it is on the PlayStation Plus Premium, like, pass. Um, I'm not sure about Xbox Game Pass, but, yeah, do take a look at those. Where on earth is this led us? My fault. What if taken as Rocky Road? Let's just have a look over there, see if there's any collectibles. 
So yeah, I was going to do the 12 hour stream on um, Saturday, Magda. This song's so good, man. Oh, hell yeah. A tarot card, a hanged man. The hanged man, to, to be the hanged man is to surrender and by doing so gain a new perspective. So look carefully and consider that sometimes one needs to be strung up in order to let go. Jeez, this is freaking deep. Yeah, so Alvin, I know a lot of people said um, the graphics are amazing. This is actually with an 80s filter on as well. The graphics are usually like more clear. Um, they are more re refined than this, but um, but yeah, this is with an 80s filter on. I put the filter on uh, for this tonight. Right, so we went that way. It's, it's kind of led us back here. Do we have to go over this way? We'll have a look. No way. Is it actually Magda on the king's birthday? Well, I'm gonna be uh, gonna be gate crashing um, the king because <laughs> Queen Queen Vanilla Ice is over here. Let's go. <laughs> oh, really, Katie? Do you get tarot cards in uh, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure? I've not actually played that. It's, it's definitely a game I've heard of, though. I don't mind getting that over in the uh, collection. Um, yeah, Hayley, I'm so hyped for um, Resident Evil Death Island. I love the um, the Resident Evil CGI movies. I really do. Uh, I said, would you do a reaction video? Um, potentially, uh, I may uh, collab with some other streamers and content creators, maybe, for that. Yeah, I need to see what's happening with those... Um, those guys and girls see if we're doing anything um you know see if we're doing anything like collab wise just check if there's any uh collectibles around except we've not seen any yet so far have indeed fifion yeah we played dead island too um probably about maybe uh, i don't know if we're about halfway through yet but we've done a couple of streams on that they are available to watch over my youtube holster tv uh, but we're still yet to complete it, though. So I would like to go back to it. Yeah, we'll do some um, Dead Island 2 streams when we can. It's, it's just been um, a little difficult to fit in the schedule because there's been... Um, yeah, it just leads us back there, doesn't it, I think? Yeah, honestly, there's been that many releases and that many things to fit in, you know, to stream. Um, but yeah, I do need to get back to it. I do usually like to um, to complete the games. Right, so I think we are just going this way now. Hayley, thank you so much um, for dropping the roses yet again. Thank you. Appreciate you. Always show the appreciation to you guys and girls when you drop those roses over on TikTok. Thank you. That is our rose jam. It's dedicated to, to you all dropping the roses. Cheers, Tommy. God, appreciate that. It says, love your stream. Keep it up. Thank you. And Los LD, great to have you in. Um, said, off to any car boots tomorrow. I am indeed. Yeah, I'm off to my local. It's it's absolutely brutal. It starts at like 5am. So uh, I'm going to be up at 4am. So you ever think about what's next? Like, after we die? It's heavy, man. No, I mean like, the future. Yeah. Sometimes. All the time overwhelming i know what you mean sometimes i just try to like let it happen you know huh like whatever happens is what was meant to happen like it's all predetermined fate um we won't be pedantic. I don't really like that word, um, pedantic. I don't really like, uh, yeah. We'll say uncertain. I'm not sure we're supposed to know. I don't know. I'm not sure we're supposed to know. I don't know, mate. Yeah. Fate just seems so convenient. How so? Because if it's all predetermined and you do something terrible, then you have the excuse of saying, well... It wasn't really me, because everything's been pre-planned, and then I'm not really in control of my actions, am I? I never really thought about it like that before. I mean, well, it's, it's totally okay if you believe that. Yeah, no, totally. Yeah. Hmm. 
Oh, cheers, Loz. Yeah, I'm hoping to get a car boot video out. Um, potentially tomorrow, or if not, it'll be most likely Monday. Yeah, hopefully we can accumulate some footage tomorrow to um to make a, an episode. So yeah, it'll be coming real soon. Next car boot um episode over on YouTube. Let's check up here before we progress. Loz, have an awesome time, by the way, man, at Soccer Aid. That'll be awesome. Yeah, looks to be some decent people in that. So, yeah, I hope you have a, an absolute ball, man. Yeah, I do enjoy it, um, Teet. So I think it's like a, a nice balance between, you know, chilling and watching, like, the cinematic kind of scenes and making the choices. Um, it's cool to have, like, these exploration areas. I really like it, and it, there are incentives, obviously, to, obviously to explore. Like, there's collectives to uh, collectibles to you know look out for. It is cool. But yeah, thanks so much to you guys turned up tonight. Really appreciate the the support for this game's one year anniversary. It absolutely deserves it. It's going good, thank you, Pipstar. So far, so good. Try to keep it that way. Know where we are? Yeah. Up here. Here, hold these. Sure. This view is just wow. Oh, we'll be sincere, I think. We'll give her a proper compliment. Damn, Abby, you're really good. No, no, this is nothing. <laughs> no, really, I'm not just saying that. This is rough, but if I can get a little bit of it down, then I'll remember it better later. It's really cool you know that about yourself. Um, yeah. I guess so. I mean, not everyone knows what they're capable of, you know? I'm sure you're capable of a lot, Nick. I mean, of course. I just don't know what. We'll figure it out. Yeah, I think they would be a cute couple, actually. You hear that? Hmm? It's probably nothing. No, listen, there's something there. <laughs> Look! It's so tiny. <laughs> Save Abby. Yeah, I'll save her. <laughs> oh! Oh, man. Release A when it's safe. Try to keep you safe, Nick. Got you, bro. Jesus. Oh, I know, right? That came out of nowhere. He almost just mowed me to death. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, little piggy hog. <laughs> Oh man, uh, well you'll be cheerful. Imagine the story. At least we gave her a good story to tell her pig husband. How do you know it was the mommy pig? 
Well, I got a pretty good look. Ew! Ew! <laughs> Got yourself a little girlfriend. She wasn't that little. <laughs> How do I know it was the mommy? I got a proper look, mate. <laughs> I will follow some. Guess we should head back. I see you again. That's a great little um, segment with those two. They, they are a real cute couple. Really cool. Finally get my phone back and it's just a big dumb brick. Let's take a look. Uh, thank you as well, uh, Haley and Tommy Gone. Thanks so much uh, for sending over the diamonds. Haley sent over a raccoon. Freaking, we may not be in Raccoon City, but you always send over the Raccoon City vibes, hey, so thank you. And thank you, Tommy, for dropping uh, the rose there as well. I'm really appreciating you. Love it, man. Love uh, all the support tonight. Thanking you. Uh, Galfrey Gamer said, um, I played this on my stream. Uh, best stream ever. It really is, honestly. It's such a, an awesome game to stream. It's good um, experience it with you guys. And obviously, I can... When, when some tough decisions do come up, like I can literally ask you guys what you think. Um, it's cool to be in it together, you know? So, yeah, it's, it's really cool. Hey, Caitlin. Guess what? Mr. H is a voyeuristic creep. He has hidden cameras everywhere and a secret room. No, that's not... Uh, whoa, now, back up. What? His eyes are everywhere. He's always watching us. Look it off, man. He, he's just got trail cameras set up, you know, forest surveillance, that kind of thing. Oh, you don't think that's weird? Well, he's got a perimeter to check, kids to protect. You know, probably just to keep track of wildlife. You guys have no imagination. So, uh, what's going on here? Everything ready? I think we should say there's a weird light in the tree. I say we, we've got to we've got to uh, vocalize these kind of things, you know. Uh, Katie actually likes Caitlin. Um, did you say she's awesome? So Caitlin is awesome. We also share the name, same name with different spellings. Yours with a C, hers with a K. Yeah, of course. Um, I think she's a savage. I think if if I met her in real life, she'd intimidate me. What's up, Ethan? Thanks for being here. Uh, thank you, Brian, for the follow and cheers, Ashley, for sharing the live. Really appreciate that. Um. And thank you again, Hayley. So got to send the resi vibes to our resi queen. I try. I really try. Thank you. <laughs> I try and be the resi queen. You you are also my resi queens and kings over in the charts. Definitely. Say about this weird light. I did see a weird light in the treehouse across the lake. Yeah, that was pretty spooky. Maybe it's your girlfriend, Ryan. Go hack of hack, it's Corey. I told you never to say hack of hack, it's Corey again. What's wrong with saying hack of hack, it's Corey? Are you done? You know, I just realized we may never see each other again after tonight. You can't have just realized that. Just trying to set the mood. What mood? The mood, the vibe, you know. Speaking of setting the mood, I have work to do. Okay, because playlists don't make themselves. I mean, I guess they do, but... All right, right guy. Time to get wood. Yikes. Wording. Oh. I know what I said. Abby, Nick, just in time. You got wood. <laughs> You've already done that joke. It's mostly just came home. Oh, that's all we need. There's already a big pile of logs here. We could have gotten more, but there was a hog or a boar. But Nick was very, very brave and took one for the team. 
the hogger packet score, I will say that. Uh, I am indeed Tommy Gun. Yeah, I am over on Twitch as well. So uh, YouTube and TikTok, I'm Holster TV. Twitch, I'm Holster TV Mate. Just add it Mate to the end because the um that username was taken. So Holster TV Mate over on uh, Twitch. Thank you um again um for the the rose as well, man. Thank you. <laughs> That hat ain't for you, Katie. It's for the rose drop. <laughs> oh my gosh, it can't be. The hog of Hackett's quarry? What? I thought you hated that phrase. Big jokes take big sacrifices. You're so brave. Oh, I just want to shrink you down to little pocket people and put you in my pocket and peep at you when I need a little pick-me-up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Special delivery! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Where the hell did that gun come uh, from? Dude, relax, okay? It's not even real. Uh... Well, I mean, it's a real gun, but it's just for shooting bears. You got it in the storage room. Thank you, Axe. Subscribe okay, it. Okay, fine. Fine. We'll put it down. Thank you. Guns are no joke, dipshit. And, and... We bring you a hand-picked selection of only the finest that Hackett's Quarry has to offer. No freaking way. Yes, freaking way. Pop, pop, peanut butter, butter, pops. Pop, 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 pop them in your mouth. mouth. <laughs> you never know, you can still find these in there. Hey, hey, cool your jets there, cowboy. All right, these are spoken for. Dude, you can't just shove those in my face and not expect me to want to pop, pop, pop them in my mouth. Come on. Emma, please hand me the shotgun. What, you're gonna shoot me over them? Uh, no, dumbass. Okay, we are going to shoot for them. Nah, dude. Absolutely not. No. Um. I think we'll say not leaving you with a gun. There is no way I'm leaving you dillweeds alone with a gun. Come on, look, the shooting range is like right over there, okay? It'll be fun. Okay, look, you and me. Old-fashioned shootout. First prize, peanut butter butter pops, all to yourself. Dude, I guess you don't really want them then, huh? Fine, you're on. Yeah, boy! Jacob, hand me that gun now. Ain't nobody's handling any firearms that's gonna act like a dick about okay, it. Okay, then you can be the ref. We need an objective third party. Okay, we're trying to get a party started here, Jacob. Okay, well, the main party's not gonna die just because you're off on a little side quest. Come on. All right. Guess we're gonna have ourselves an old-fashioned shootout. Yeah. Look, there's a clearing we can use as a shooting range back there, but if I see either of you dicking around, I am turning this car around. Oh, uh. we'll be good. <laughs> Let's go. Pop, pop, peanut butter, butter pops. Pop, 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 a mini mouth. That's it. Come on, guys. We're going to nail this by the end of the stream. Third class, three years in a row, ranked highest in camp each year. I'm just letting you know that your goose is cooked, Nick. But if you back down now, I might let you just have one little peanut butter, butter pop if you're lucky. No way. You've never even seen me shoot. Yeah, that's because you've never shot before. Yeah, not that you know of. <laughs> okay, I think I would know if okay, you're next. Okay, boys, I'm going to have to stop you right there. As much as I'm enjoying your charming machismo, the moment we step foot on the shooting range, we're playing by my rules, okay? And what I say goes. Got it? Okay, good. Now I'm going to go set up some targets and get more shells. Do not move a muscle or touch this gun until I'm back. All right, so is it just me or is it kind of hot? Why don't you kiss my boss yet? Yeah. I'm always hot, pencil. <laughs> yeah, okay, thank you. <laughs> bye, bye. <laughs> He's so damn savage. Um, how's your little one on one with Abby in the woods? I'll say hopeful. It was okay. It was. It was okay. Hey! That a boy! Hey! What happened? Well, we flirted a little. She's really smart. Yeah? Mm, yeah. I mean, you see the deal? Don't be gross. No, 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 no. Hey, look, no sweat, okay? We all get performance anxiety sometimes. You just better make your move before a real man shoots you. Honestly, I am Jacob. I am that friend. Let me show you how a real man shoots his gun. Are you guys seriously still thumping your chest at each other? No, I think he's got brain damage. 
Okay, please, just give me the gun. Uh-uh. You'll have it when I say you'll have it. All right, huddle up, boys. This is how we're going to do this. You're shooting the one on the left. Nick first, then Jacob's turn. Keep your fingers off the trigger till you're ready to shoot. You got it? Aye, aye. All right. Two things. Remember the spread. Remember the recoil. This is a shotgun. We're not sharpshooting here. The flashlight shows you where you're aiming. Odd. All right. One point. <laughs> Jacob ain't happy. Back to do any real damage. Let's scooch forward a little and uh, fuck these guys up. <laughs> oh, it's a shame, Katie. Can't ever try peanut butter, right, butter Nick. pops. I'm allergic to nuts. Oh, that's a shame. Yeah, I, I do feel people who have nut allergies. I, I, I do like feel real fortunate that I don't have any like, allergies. You know. Uh, Sabina said this game freaks me out. Oh, Sabina, there's nothing to be freaked out about, honestly. It, it does get a little scary later on, but it's kind of fun for now, though. But it, it's so good. Um, incredible story. Nice shot. Lucky. Yeah, it's funny that when... Um, when Jacob's asking Nick, uh, you know, how it's going with him and Abby, how is it in the woods and over there? Did you, uh, how's it going and all that? Like, I am that friend. Like, I'm so like Jacob. I, I love it when um, my friends are, like, seeing someone or whatever. I'll probably be asking. Love the gossip. I'm a Gemini, so I'm, I'm big on communication. I love all the gossip. <laughs> in a good way. Let's see what you got. All right. You might want to uh, avert your eyes, Nick. I don't want to give you any more performance anxiety. Uh, all right, all right. Just shut up and shoot, Jacob. Huh. I thought you were an ultra elite pro marksman. Yeah, with like a rifle. Whoa, okay, dude, now with this fucking hand blaster. That is how you get someone shot. Nah, it's okay. You probably would have missed me anyway. Hey. Okay, disqualified for being a dumbass. What? No. Yeah, I definitely wouldn't do that, Magda. When, when he said, you know, you better, better get in there for a real man swoop, said... No, I, I could tell Jacob wouldn't actually do that anyway. I think he's trying to do that to to make Nick better, you know, to say, come on, you need to step up, you know, and, and get there with that with Abby while you can, you know. Well, definitely, we've got to do the glow, we've got to do the butter pops thing. But yeah, I'm I'm so like Jacob, like always want to know the gossip in in a good way, you know. Uh, cheers, Ryan, um, for the follow, man. Ooh, what's that, Jakey? Huh? Huh? Pop, pop, peanut butter, 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 butter pops. pops. I get it. I get it. Blam. You thought this was over? She's scary as hell, man. Especially with the damn shotgun. Pop, pop, peanut butter, butter pops. Pop, pop, peanut butter, butter pops. <laughs> Cheers, Karen, for the follow. I know it's awful. Emma's awful to Jacob, right, Magda? I know, Kate. I mean, come on, Team Caitlin over there. Let's go. She she did show what you you've got to you've got to give her that. But thank you guys for turning up. It is campfire time, truth or dare time. So let's go. Grab your beverage, guys, and let's chill by the campfire together. It's an absolute vibe in here tonight. All thanks to you guys. Okay. New idea. Party game. Come on, people. We might never see each other after tonight. Let's make some memories. Well, what do you have in mind? How about the ultimate game of secrets and lies, truth or dare, but Dylan style? Okay. House rules are someone asks you truth or dare, then you choose, and then you do. And there's no ifs, ands, or buts. So, like, normal truth or dare? Yes. So we can, like, make people kiss? If they choose dare, yeah. As long as everyone consents, of course. Cool beans. 
I mean, keep it in your pants until it's returned, but... <laughs> well, who does get to go first? Well, it's house deals, so... Abigail. Truth or dare? Um... True. You really dodged a bullet, huh? Alright, here goes. Have you ever slept with anyone? Oh, uh... uh... What a freaking opening I... question. I think we should interrupt because it, it is really putting her on the spot there. Hey, take it easy, man. That's too far. Come on. I, I'm not finished. Um, have you ever slept with anyone at this camp? <laughs> no. Nope. Sorry. All right, Abby, it's your turn. <laughs> All right, okay. Um, uh, Abby, oh my God, just pick someone. Okay, okay. Um, I don't know. I'd absolutely be like Abby as well. <laughs> so indecisive. Ding, ding, too late. My turn. Here comes Emma. Truth or dare? I think we should do dare, because Ryan's had a drink. He's letting himself go a bit. I think he's going to say, uh, give me what you got. Okay, thank you uh, so much for the follow and for dropping the diamond there, man. appreciate you. Um, a lot of you guys are liking... Uh, yeah, there's a lot of people who like Dylan uh, as well in the chat. Um, I love Jacob and Abby. A uh, push, I'd say I like Ryan as well. But yeah, Jacob's my absolute favourite. I think Abby's the nicest female character. Ryan's okay. I could kind of stick him in as a close third. Um, yeah, we'll go, give me what you got. Give me what you got. Okay, Ryan. Your dare comes with a choice. Can't you do that? I can do whatever I want. <laughs> and I dare you to kiss either Caitlin or Dylan. Wow. I mean, I guess both is off the table. Sorry. I don't make the rules. I mean, you literally <laughs> just did, but okay. Let's do this. I think it would be Dylan because I, I just don't think, I think, oh, actually, um, I think Caitlin kind of liked him a bit, didn't he? But the thing is, um, oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Appreciate that, Anthony. <laughs> Anthony done with the five pound super chat over on YouTube. Thank you. Said, hope you're having fun. Love the Resident Evil, but like the other horror stuff. Pale Ale in the hand and join the stream. Thank you so much, man. You are a lot braver than me because I can't handle Pale Ale in all honesty. I had it once. Um, it was actually a Resident Evil 2 remake uh, event that came. It was like a whole kind of escape kind of event. Um, but yeah, I couldn't really handle Pale Ale very well. So I'll leave that to you, Anthony. Uh, really glad you enjoyed the stream, man. He said, looking forward to more RE soon. We will be back in business with more RE for sure. It'll most likely be next week. And I think we'll do some OG, uh, the OG RE uh, trilogy of my birthday stream but thank you so much for that real generous five pound super chat man appreciate you okay so this is quite a, a bit of a uh dilemma but i would probably say kiss dylan um i think caitlin kind of liked him but i do think there was chemistry a lot of chemistry between ryan and dylan over in the office um and as much as i don't think it's an ideal situation to have a first kiss with someone who you like i still think it makes more sense to go dylan so we'll go for that What's up, Adam? It, it's actually my uh, third fault playthrough. Second stream of this. I streamed this on Lodge, but we're, we're celebrating tonight. It's first anniversary. We'll go kiss Dylan. Dylan, let's go. I just don't think <laughs> her and, him and Caitlin is uh, wise. We don't want Caitlyn's cooters. <laughs> She's a savage. Alrighty, who shall I pick? Well, uh, me and Jacob haven't gotten a turn yet. Good point. Um, do you guys think Caitlyn should try and keep Jacob out of this? What are you guys thinking? I'm a little bit torn. Caitlin or Jacob? I'm going to have to go Caitlin because she's a bit more... Um, she's quite controversial, isn't she, right? Because shit's going to go down. 
Yeah, I think the overall vibe it is Caitlyn. Thank you, Tommy. Good as well. Thank you for the, the diamonds. We'll go Caitlyn because she is the drama queen. Caitlyn, what do you say? Truth or dare? True. Yeah, true. Let's see. Ever hook up with Jacob, or what did you want to be when you grew up? Ever hook up with Jacob? What do you guys think? We could ask her about Jacob to get, like, a reaction from her, I think. I think, what did you want to be when you grew up? I don't know if that's kind of a bit, um... I, I think it's kind of a bit off-topic. I just don't... I just think it's a bit too, like... You know, I know you guys are saying, yeah, inquire about Jacob. I think so, because it is true for day. I think that the interest, I think that, that option is way too tame. So I think we'll go mischievous. So you and Jacob go way back, right? Like since you were kids? Sadly, yes. Lame question, bro. Waste of a turn. You guys ever uh, get down to business together? When we were freshmen, I made Jacob let me practice French kissing on him. But oh! I never went any further because he's a terrible kisser. And it was like kissing my brother. There you go. Still love you, bud. <laughs> okay, my turn. Uh oh. <sighs> Emma, dare. Emma, so you have to kiss. Jacob? Or oh. Nick. Uh. <laughs> well then. Um Gimme give, give me the option. Uh, sorry, Nick. It's gonna be Jacob. Honor, obviously. I don't know if that's a good this. idea. I choose Nick. It didn't even ask us. I want it to be Jacob all the way. Oh, I don't think it's a good idea, mate. Hey. Fuck off, Emma. Seriously? <laughs> no. <laughs> Oh, this is so bad. This is where it all goes wrong. No. Does Nick? I don't think it's a good idea. It's like holding her and everything. Okay, fuck you, Nick. Guys. Poor Jacob and Abby. Thank you, Nick. so it's damn wrong me. it's a shame on caitlin as well for doing this she's so savage man you're like kissing my girlfriend asshole it was just a game hey, i'm nobody's girlfriend <laughs> the fuck it was it was just a game yeah the fuck it was man i'm with you on that alvin it was oh. completely below the belt i didn't like that well i guess i should probably go after him you should probably go find Abby. So, anybody want to play Parcheesi? What? Yeah, I'm with you on that, Magda. Like, Nick didn't even kind of just kiss her just normally, and then that's that's the day done. Like, they, he held her and everything. They full on smooched. Completely unfair on Jacob and Abby. They had every right to storm off, both of them. But yeah, we, we were being watched at the campfire. We're back with our, um, Welcome the goat. I am, as always, delighted that you're here. So, then, what more has been found? The hanged man. <laughs> to be the hanged man is to surrender. And by doing so, gain a new perspective. So look carefully and consider that sometimes one needs to be strung up in order to let go. But these are just words. There's more to show you, if you'll let me. Of course, we ain't taking these tarot cards for nothing. Cheers, Zach, for the follow. Appreciate ya. Let's look in the crystal ball, guys.
That's all I have to say for now. Secrets remain buried and the night grows darker. I'll see you again, you can count on that. Be careful. Where the wolves go, the ravens follow. All right. Yes, yeah, so that was Jacob in, in the forest there. So I think um, I think it showed him like upside down for a split second. So I've got to be careful not to fall into any traps, I think. What absolute tune this is. Chapter three, Trouble in Paradise. Let's go, guys. Thank you for being in tonight. Stupid kid. What are we in middle school? Why should I even care? Who doesn't kiss anybody? Stupid. Stupid. Uh-oh, poor Abby alone in the woods. But yeah, I, I think it was bad on Caitlin for coming up with that dare to choose, um, you know, to kiss Nick or Jake out of all people. It was awful of Nick to go along with that or even just the, the way they both smooched and everything. They could literally just could have got it over with, like, just real quickly and just a quick peck on the lips or something. It's still not on, but it's better than what they did. Um, and then Emma was happy to do that, and her Abby as well. Freaking, where's, where's the guy code and where's the girl code there? It all went out the window. Uh, Jess, thank you so much for sharing the live. Appreciate you. Hey, and Playboy X, what's up? Said, just finished this game two weeks ago. I hope you had a blast. It's awesome. So many possibilities in this game. Is that a trail cam? Oh, is that on the cams? It is. It is indeed. A trail camera hidden in the trees. A security measure, perhaps, or maybe they're tracking something. I love how it's camouflaged, yet we still saw it. <laughs> no one will ever know it's here if we put a cheeky camo skin on it. <laughs> yeah, so glad you guys are enjoying the stream. Thank you so much for your support. That was me in the woods. I'd just literally sing the peanut butter butter pop song. Pop, pop, peanut butter butter pops. Pop, pop, pop them in your mouth. <laughs> I've got some Reese's Pieces here. Still got a load um, from... Um... <gasps> Stop killing my vibe. I'm literally daydream about Reese's Pieces and you'll be killing me vibe making me jump like that Jordan thank you for being in so would you rate this game I'm thinking of getting it honestly like it's in my top five games of all time I absolutely love it especially if you're a horror fan it's got a really awesome um horror like vibe to it and backstory the story is incredible it really is good as you unravel the story and then learn more backstory um would absolutely recommend definitely Hayley, thank you so much. Coming in, dropping the roses when we needed it the most. A rose is jamming the woods. Thank you. Let's go. Thank you for dropping the roses and bringing those positive vibes after that little scare. <laughs> thank you. I don't know if there's anything else to, to really see. What's up, Aiden? I love this game as well, man. Oh, hell yeah. Uh, thank you for the follow and thank you, Raven, for the follow. Another tarot card. Jump free of your troubles, fight or flight. That's the question we all ask ourselves, but often when leaping out of danger, we're still faced with certain peril. Watch your step, it could be your last. And you guys kind of fight or flight. I've always, um, I've always spoke about this on the stream. Whenever something stresses me, I'm always flight, I'm always out of there. I mean, I suppose it kind of depends on the situation, whether you need to kind of stay where you are and address the situation or something. But whenever I can, I I'll always kind of... Um, accept liability responsibility some things like that i don't shy away from that but wherever i can i'm all about flight any drama i'm gone you will not see me at all i hate drama absolutely hate it yeah i'm a total uh, my flight massively kicks in the graphics are real nice even with um this this has got like an 80s filter on as well so that's why it's all like grainy and stuff it's real cool I do love it, Tate. So yeah, I, I do love the um, the horror vibes in this game. So yes, yeah, it's, it's soon turn to night time.
yeah, I get you, um, Magda and Ashley. It all, all depends on the, the situation, right? Yeah, fight, flight or freeze. I'm all about flight. Getting out of there. Keep it moving. Get out of there. I've no idea where we're going. I'm literally as lost as, um, as Abby. So we went that way. Um, we went round there, didn't we? Um, I don't even know where the hell we're going. I always get us lost anyway. <laughs> Freaking Abby, why did you have to <laughs> just snow off balls deep into the woods and now we've got to sort this shit out? <laughs> Come on. I couldn't even tell you, Karen. I don't know when the jump scare's going to be. <laughs> it's probably going to be inevitably soon. So that was when we saw... The... Was that when we saw the tarot card? I think so. Let's keep it moving. Let's follow that light. It's weird how that's got um, like snow on it or something. He definitely wanted us to go over here, I think, because it's like illuminated a bit. Is that an axe in there or something? It is, is it? Oh no, is it just a branch? <laughs> That's how anxious I am. I think it was just a freaking a, a branch off the tree. <laughs> Oh, she just, she just said the same thing. I've said the same thing, Abby. Well, I mean, we've got to call back. Like, he's already made a, a noise, so Nick! we can't get any worse. Shout again. Nick, that was such a dick move, mate. Cheers, James, to follow. Um, yeah, I'll say it got a little intense. It's way too much. No need for it, Nick. I think that game just got a little too intense for me. Right. Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, we'll go direct. We've got to call him out on this. I'm all about that. Guess Emma's had a thing for you all along, huh? What? No, 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 no way. She was just trying to make Jacob jealous. I was just playing along. You seem to enjoy playing along. Uh, I enjoyed helping Emma make Jacob jealous. That's about it. There's no way you're having a smooch. You've literally got, um, a cooties. I'm not having second-hand cooties. I think Emma was the mastermind here. Then who? Well, Caitlin. All of them, I guess, but mostly Caitlin. She's sneaky. Huh. Truth or there's a stupid game, right? Maybe show how we really feel. We ain't being apologetic at all. We'll be, uh, we'll be, we'll say it's totally stupid. Yeah, there's no way. Uh, thank you, Harry, for the follow. Thank you. Yeah, we'll say it's totally stupid. 
it's, it's so so annoying. Like cause we had a really nice segment of of Nick and Abby. That's just completely ruined. It's so annoying. Totally stupid. Totally. Well, who cares what anyone does? Or did. Right. Right. Besides, you never really get to give the person you want in these dumb games anyway. You know? Do you remember the second or third day of camp when we were assigned to take our cabins down to the island ropes course together? Yeah, that was when we met. Mm hmm. I do you remember that camper that had a little accident on the course? <laughs> it was just so embarrassing. Thought his life was over. I had to take him to get cleaned up before anyone noticed. Well, except you, I guess. Thanks for not telling anyone. That wasn't actually the first time we met. We met at orientation on the first day. We did? Yeah, there was like a million people. <laughs> Um, but honestly, you kind of seem like a dick. I said hi, and you barely acknowledged me. Shit, I'm sorry. I've seen most counselors make fun of their helpers. He's the malevolent. Jacob does it. Emma kind of does it, too. But you don't. I've had my moments. I'm not proud of some of the stuff I've done. Um, I might say everyone has the merits, but stop following Jacob's lead. Mm, I'd probably say understanding, I think. We'll do that. Oh, thank you so much, Anthony. Oh, thank you so much, man. He said, just seen the stream title, one year anniversary. Um, it is actually um the quarry's one year anniversary. I've been on the tubes for some years. Um, But um, yeah, it is the game's one year anniversary, mate. But thank you so much, man. Uh, we have actually recently hit a milestone. Uh, so the, your £5 super chat is very um fitting, actually, because we've just surpassed 5k subs over on YouTube. So thank you for that, Anthony. Uh, we, we have been, uh, we have had our own milestone very recently. So she, he said, have a beer of your choice on me. Here's to many more years. Thank you, man. I'm actually very much into Corona at the minute. So thank you for that, man. I'll get, um, I'll get some bottles of Corona in. Thank you very much for that, Anthony. Really appreciate your generous super chat. Thank you. We'll go understand. We'll do it. The everyone has, everyone their, moments. has their moments. But a moment like that day at the ropes course. That's how I knew. You know what? You know I wanted to kiss you. Really? I didn't realize that. Oh. At the time. I'm not the best at expressing my inner emotions or whatever, but. But you are at smooching during truth or dare. So... So I'm saying that I like you too, or whatever. <laughs> we need to get back. We need to get out of here. Thank you so much, guys, for stopping in. Davis and Hannah um, for the follows. Thank you. Uh-oh, oh, this ain't a ball this time. Freaky. Oh shit. Uh we'll do the help, Nick. We'll try help him. We'll try. <laughs> oh.
freaking tense now, guys. The pressure's absolutely on. Um, I think we just need to keep running, to be honest. I don't really want to hide. I'd rather just keep it moving. You don't want to climb the tree. We ain't got time for that. Nah. Yeah, it's a bit of an impulse decision that climb a tree. Come on. It's proper down to business now, guys. We've got to try and keep these characters alive. Oh man. Hold your freaking breath, guys. We good. We good. It's freaking intense, isn't it, right? Oh, damn. I've played this game multiple times, Raza. Yeah, we streamed this on launch, and um, yeah, so it's my second time streaming this game. Chase Hunter for the follow. Oh, Jacob. I've, I've been there. I've been there, man, over the years. Like, I sympathise with him so bad. I, I genuinely do. Really relate to Jacob. I love him to bits. Freaking throw rocks at Emma, let's go. Technique needs work. Thanks. Uh, yeah, of course you don't know. Of course. <sighs> Sneaking down here is not only killing me in these alleys, but quiet me. Yeah, I uh, hate this. Jacob, I thought we agreed that this. Us? It's just supposed to be some summer fun. Yeah, no, no. I know, I just... You just love having an audience, huh? <laughs> Jacob. I mean, you just, I can't believe you, the, you fucking Frenched him. <laughs> you know, in front of everyone. Jesus wept. Frenched, are we 12? No, but Nick is. Kind of. You know, I love the guy, but I don't think he's actually ever seen a girl naked before. Well, I hate to break it to you, but he just had his tongue down my throat, and he definitely knew what to do with it. Oh, so gross. You have to go there, Emma. She's horrible. You, you, you really love fucking with me, huh? Lighten up, Sam. She's so horrible. This is not how the wind is supposed to go. No? You know what? Nothing. No. Nothing. Never mind. Yeah, he freaking sabotaged the truck. Hey, that's mine. Let's have another night yeah, with her. Help. Finders keepers. I'm getting it back tomorrow. Fine. You can stand here, sulking. Driving yourself crazy imagining Nick's tongue in my mouth. Ah, oh, come on. Or you can go grab us some towels. What do you need towels for? Well, we agreed. Summer fun, right? Apparently, summer is not quite over. Okay. 
Oh, she's such a head fuck. Don't do it. I'd just leave her. So horrible after what she's just done. So bad. You don't mess with people's feelings, man. Uh-oh. I ain't going skinny dipping in there, I'll tell you that. If you guys are braver than me, but I, I ain't feeling that tonight. I'll just literally just chill on the edge, just dip my feet in the water and just sip away my kind of monster. And thank you so much for all you for stopping for all the follows. Uh, we have Noah, Lyle, Livy. Thank you, um, dropping those follows, guys. Ricardo said shipping Dylan and Ryan. Uh, you know what? I'm all for Dylan and Ryan. I think they're, they're really cool. I like um, the option to, to get those two to kiss. It's real cool. So we've got the star. Oh, it's the star. Stars in the night sky. Beacons of light. Dreams of hope, purpose, or a reminder of our insignificance. Fear of despair. Trust in the light of the star. With it comes clarity and sometimes proof. I don't want to go in. I know, I know, I know all you guys are saying hell no to that. I mean, I mean, come on, don't hate the player, hate the game, baby. I love saying that. <laughs> I always say that to my best friend at, at work. Um, so I'm, I'm lucky enough to work with my best friend. Um, yeah, we work out alongside each other as a crew. Whenever anything happens, it's not my fault. I'm like, hey, don't hate the player, hate the game, baby. <laughs> Four months on, hikers oh still missing. A recent newspaper article about two hikers who went missing in these woods. As of the date of publication, they haven't been found. I wonder if it was near here. That is a point, actually, Alvin. As, as much as I do like to sit on the edge of the pool, dip my feet in, yeah, that's probably still not a good idea. <laughs> so damn eerie. It and thack it, huh? Oh, well, track it must mean Mr. H. Chris Hackett. Yeah. A faded camp photograph from the 1970s. According to the names added below, two of the boys in the picture appear to be Hackett's. Yeah, so, um, that's Travis. So, obviously, there's Chris on there, um, otherwise known as Dewey from Scream, you know, David Arquette. He's Chris Hackett. From the beginning, the like the camp like chief sort of thing, and then Travis Hackett, he is the the cop from the beginning. Sean, thank you so much for dropping the roses in tonight, man. Appreciating you. <laughs> Gotta love it. You guys have been dropping the roses at the most, like literally the the most convenient of times when we've needed that lift when things have got real uh, intense throughout. That was an item or something there. Not in that, it's just a, a wrapper or something. Yeah, it's a wrapper. What happened last time we picked up a wrapper? There's a freaking spider in it. And it gave us all a massive jump scare. <laughs> I'm glad you guys still forgive me after all the massive jump scares I put you guys through. <laughs> Thanks so much for all stopping in tonight. No towels. It looks like skinny dipping tonight, boys. <laughs> None? This is exactly zero. Who's dead? The hell. Thank you for the follow, Alice. Uh, Teets, I'll probably play this game about a handful of times, I think. Second time streaming it, though. Thank you, Nora. I do appreciate that. Honestly, it's always awesome vibes in the streams. Thanks to you guys. It's so cool chilling with you. If I want to look through this. <gasps> Whoa. Someone up there. Do you guys see that in the creepy boathouse? Oh, hell no. Probably everything's fine. 
See, again, that is exactly um, what I'd do. I'd be the exact same as Jacob, like, um, you know what? Nothing to see here is fine. <laughs> Razzle, my favourite character is Jacob. I relate to him in so many ways. I'm probably, literally, I, I would say I'm a female version of Jacob, for sure. Thank you, Alice. I do appreciate that. So do you have such a good vibe? I love it. I'm, I'm really glad that you guys, you know, feel the positive vibes. Because I, I genuinely, I just love being here. I love being able to stream. Absolutely love streaming and chilling with you guys. I don't think there's anything else to, um, anything else to get. Just have a quick look around before we, we join Emma, because there's still lots of collectibles and stuff. <laughs> I can't promise uh, it's going to be too safe, Noah said. I'm in bed, it's pitch dark. I swear, if there's a jump scare, we'll scream. Me too. We'll, we'll share the screams so together, man. Oars away. Silhouette. Been used recently. Manny boy, cheers for the follow. Well, thank you so much to you all. We've literally, we've got over 85k likes over on TikTok. Um, I'd love to hit um, 100k likes tonight. Can we hit 100k? Yeah, we've got like goals like every like 5,000. I think we will. I'm going to be on live for like another couple of hours. So yeah, thank you so much for the 85k likes so far. Thank you as well over on YouTube for the likes you guys have been dropping as well. So we're currently live across three platforms. Um, I'm Holster TV over on TikTok and YouTube and Holster TV Mate over on Twitch. So totally feel free to watch whatever's convenient, uh, whatever platform's convenient for you. Cheers, Hasha, for the follow. I'm sorry, I'm just going to be skinny dipping tonight. Uh, no towels. Okay, well, I guess we can just, like, <laughs> drip dry or maybe shake it up doggy style. Wow, you really know how to talk to a girl, don't you? Ew! <laughs> Jesus, Jacob! Look, you can't just pretend that it didn't happen. Oh, but I can, because, you see, oh, help, help, I'm, I'm drowning, and I, I need a big, strong, not at all insecure man to come save me. <laughs> oh, if we say ask Nick, like, we're kind of killing the vibe, it's kind of like, what's the point? We'll do cannonball, we'll do that. Hey, Varus, what's up? What's up, cat? And Patrick says, Caitlyn, best gal. Oh, Caitlyn's a savage, Patrick. She's too savage for me. I'm too much of a softie. What's this? A female in need? Fear not, fragile thing, for Hurricane Jake is here. Cannonball! Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, she did deserve that cannonball, Magda. Definitely not. Hurricane Jake. <laughs> Hurricane Jake. <laughs> Now you're gonna get it. See? Glitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, stop being a uh, Yeah, we'll splash. It can't get any worse. Like, they've already splashed anyway. We'll keep going. Attack. When you don't pull someone underwater, sentimental, I don't want this to end. Flirt, take a photo with me. I don't think it's right to do the sentimental because she's made it clear it's literally just fun. Um, I think it would kill the vibe. What do you guys think? Sentimental or flirt? I think maybe the flirt because obviously he did the cannonball. I think maybe keep up the whole flirty vibes going on. Uh, Raza, yeah. Um, I think uh, Kate with a shotgun. Yeah, she she owned the guys with that shotgun. She killed it. Yeah, you're all saying flirt. We'll do that. Thank you, guys. Thank you, y'all. Uh, okay. Take a picture of me. Uh, uh, yeah, for your, like, um, 
little subscribers or whatever, top ten guys who will keep you satisfied at summer camp. Oh, so I get nine more? What? Jamil just ditching us. Uh oh. Oh shit, Roy. Oh, gotta be fucking kidding me. Help, Abby. Emma! Jacob! Over here! Did you hear that? What? Uh, it was like a, like a scream. And it sounded like Abby, but like not the good kind of scream. I can't hear you. Okay, look, just, just hold on. I'm gonna go check it out. What? Seriously? We've got to go after. We have to. Cheers, glad you're for the follow. Appreciating all you guys, and thank you so much. Literally over 90k likes. Thank you, and more than on track to 100k likes. Let's go. Freaking hype tonight. Massive love to you guys. Thank you, Out of Bricks, for the follow. Yeah, I know how to keep Emma alive, Alvin. I think she might be done for. That was some mighty fine social disruption there, Caitlin, I have to say. Ah, was it just the nudge that Abby needed? You're an evil genius. Who do you think is going to make the first move? Nick or Abby? Ooh, good cue. My bet's on you, Vic. I don't know. Nick's got the beast in him. Uh, if by beast you mean some sort of mild-mannered baby deer. Hey, don't let that cute, preppy aesthetic fool you. It's like a steel barbecue grill under that shirt. <laughs> so, you noticed that too, huh? So, what do you guys want to do now? We can keep playing. Yeah? Just the three of us? Alright, Dylan. Truth or... Oh, I was about to say they're still keeping it going, but it's gone now. We gotta help them. <laughs> Wait, where did they come from? This way. Come on. Guys, thank you. Andy Levo, uh, Follega Chen, Eliza, thank you for the follows. Help him. We'll just say where is he? We've gotta to get to the point. We've gotta go. Business now, guys. You've got to keep them alive. Um, I think we'll we'll do the assertive. We, you know, we won't kind of put it onto someone else. Okay, I got this. Yeah, I don't like to kind of throw the responsibility. Alright, fully focused now, guys. Let's go. Mm, it's not going to be a shortcut, though, is it? It ain't going to be. <laughs> I'm just going to follow the path. Beautiful. Let's go, Ryan. Freaking king of parkour. Let's go. Still gonna follow the path, I insist. Because I feel like any shortcut, we will attempt it, but something will go wrong, I think. It's mega intense, Alvin. Thank you, Tito. We got this for sure. He's all bloodied up. Uh, 
I think we'll shout. Get the fuck off of him! Stop! Stop! I'll shoot. You've got to instinctively shout out. Of course he's going to. I'm not going to, so I don't, I don't want him to harm him. So I'm not going to shoot. Shit, dude. Gotta get it. Gotta get it. We're gonna go. Come on. Get it. Come on. Gotta go. Come on. Get back to the fire. That was intense. Oh, so many of you in. Thank you so much. Guys, thank you for all the likes, follows, and shares tonight. We are killing it. Thank you for coming by and celebrating the Quarry's one year anniversary. So grateful for you all being here. Thank you. Oh, no pressure, man. We've got to protect Jacob now. At all costs. Oh, Jesus. I love Jacob. The pressure's absolutely on now. I love Jacob. Go waiting for you back there, Jacob. What are you doing? <laughs> okay. This is what we saw, actually, the vision, yeah. We saw like a hanging trap, so we're gonna have to watch our step. I don't think we'll call out, I think we'll leave it. Won't make any more uh, noise. Jeez. Uh oh. I'm mashing A for dear life for you, Jacob. I really am, bro. Oh shit, it's the hunter guy. I don't think we should threaten, I think we should do the pleading probably. Thank you guys for, for stopping in. Thank you, Heidi. Drew too fast colour. Thank you all. Um I feel like we'll do the pleading. I don't really think shouting and threatening is gonna get us anywhere. Oh, please. Please, man, just, just let me down, okay? Just don't hurt me, please. Oh, Jesus Christ, what the fuck are you doing? Nice. You an absolute G. Thank you for that. Oh no, I'm not gonna throw dirt. Hell no. Helps if you close your eyes. Oh, oh. What are you doing? Stop. Help. Help. Tastes bad, huh? It's for your own good. Where are you off to now, girly? Good decision, trust me, guys. Alrighty, we're here. Guys, thank you so much. Thanks for letting me know, Lauren. Thank you so much for over 100k likes over on TikTok. Absolute hype. So many of you in tonight. Thank you, um, Drake and uh, 
that we Scottish ass. Thank you guys for the follows. Seems like just a blink and you're back to see me again. Back with the OG. So, then, what have we got? It's the stars. Stars. Stars in the night. Stars. Beacons of light. Dreams of hope, purpose, or a reminder of our insignificance. Fear of despair. Trust in the light of the star. With it comes clarity. And sometimes truth. The tower. Jump free of your troubles. Fight or flight? That's the question we all ask ourselves. But often, when leaping out of danger, we're still faced with certain peril. Watch your step. It could be your last. Remember. There's always more than meets the eye. Guys, what do you think? I think. Would you like me to show you? I think we can only choose one of the tarot cards. Are you thinking star or tower? Yes, good. But I can only delve deeper into one possible future. I was quite drawn towards so which is it? star. Choose. But I think maybe tower because it, it's the whole fight for, or flight kind of scenario. So I think that would be interesting. I think we've got the majority saying tower. Thank you guys for dropping the follows. We've got Thomas Edmonds, uh, Mill, Millie and uh, Jonathan. Thank you guys. We'll go with Tower because I, I really like that. It's obviously fight or flight. We need to see this. Let's look into the crystal ball, guys. Oh, so I think that's saying no to a zipline. Back to it then. Back to Hackett's Quarry. Back to Hackett's Quarry you go. Oh, the fun you'll have. Oh, the fun we having tonight. All thanks to you guys. Thank you for bringing the positive vibes and, um, yeah, celebrating the one-year anniversary of the game. It's awesome uh, chilling with you all. That's cool. it was, it, it was, Chapter I, I, 4. I don't don't panic. It was. it was so fast, and, and there, was a, uh, there was a hunter, and he was just... Oh, Abby... Oh, try drawing. Drawing what? Uh, can you draw what attacked you? Nick. Hey, buddy. Can you tell me what those guys did to you? Gosh, dude. He's super out of it. Yeah. The, the, the hunter. Uh, yeah. There was a guy. There was something else. Some kind of animal. What kind of animal? No, no, I only saw a dude try to take him away. He probably was disoriented, that's all. The dude was massive and angry. Abby? Yeah, hey, she, hey, she's okay, dude. She's right over there. Oh, oh, because teeth were on the top of me. It was a bear. Looks like we're over the question. There's no way. I, I thought we don't get bears around here. Oh, fuck. Okay. Oh, shit. That black stuff? That's that's infection. That's And it's, it, it's spreading. This is bad. This is really bad, dude. Apply pressure. Mm, he's not actively bleeding. Oh, we'll do it anyway. Uh, so, sorry. It's a bit of an impulse decision. He's, he's not absolutely bleeding out. But... You're okay. It's okay. Fuck that hurt. We should amputate. We should cut it off before the infection spreads. What? Um, we'll probably say why, because it, 
obviously it makes sense if something something's black like turning necrotic obviously it's like it's dead tissue it does need to amputate otherwise it will spread so we'll just we won't do the frustrating we'll just say like the to say why why would we do that i don't know man look at that black stuff what what do you think it is i look like the doctor Definitely not calling out. Definitely not. Brian, what if it's Jacob or Emma? What if it's not? Be careful. It was probably nothing. Yeah, but is it gone? Yeah, you better run. Shh, Jesus, Ryan. Shush. <laughs> All right. So, uh, Maud is sounding pretty good right about now. Yeah. Why did you have to shout out just then, bro? You're stressing me. Oh, don't. I don't even want to look. Don't shoot, don't shoot! Oh. I'm here to save you. It's Jacob. Holy shit. Oh. Meg. Is he okay? Nick and Abby were attacked. In the woods. Hey, does anybody have any dry clothes? I'm, I'm fucking freezing. All our bags are still in the minivan. <sighs> Fuck, of course they are. Um, we'll ask where Emma is. I know, I know he's, he's kind of saying what happened to you because he's obviously he's got like blood on his face, but we'll say where's Emma. Thank you guys so much for stopping in and dropping the follows. We've got Geo um, uh, Shalky as well. Thank you so much, uh, guys. Appreciate you. Jacob, where's Emma? Oh, fuck. Oh, Jesus Christ. Um, I, I left Emma on the island and I told her I'd be right back. Ouch. Wait, the island? Yeah, why? Oh, no, I just... I just thought I saw someone up there before. Someone? No, I, you know, I, I don't know. It's, it's probably nothing. Christ, I left you out there alone. Well, I think we're gonna head to the lodge. Also, why are you covered in... what I hope is strawberry jelly? <laughs> oh, yeah, no, um... It's for the peanut, sure peanut butter like, pops. It was this guy and jelly. Like, um, he had like a bottle. It's like, I don't know, dude. It's like a really long story. Ew. Yeah. Yeah. Super fucked up. I gotta go get Emma. Uh, excuse me. Hey, I need this, okay? It's not safe out there. Dude, we gotta protect Nick and Abby. Yeah, and I need to save Emma, all right? She's out there alone. You don't even know if she's in trouble. You don't even know if you're in trouble. Are you trying to piss me off? No, I'm trying to save my girlfriend's life, asshole. Yeah, I don't think she's your girlfriend, dude. What? Right in the feels. Get. Get. Mm, I don't think he'd let go. I think he'd be quite insistent. We'll keep that. What? Yeah. Caitlyn always wins. Fucking stop. We're in a real mess here, guys. You're acting like pricks, both of you. Jacob, we're keeping this. Nick and Abby are injured. We need protection. There's someone around here. <laughs> Ryan! Sorry. This is bullshit. Make sure she's safe. If she's on the island, she's definitely fine. And what? Risk another run in with Captain Deliverance? No thanks, okay? There's probably another boat by the zip line. Either way, I can make it to the island from there. Why would you not let him take the shotgun? Back to the lodge. Try to get help. Ow, Nick can't walk properly. But yeah, I have an idea. Thanks so much, Lauren, for sharing the live. I really appreciate you. And uh, Tommy Gun, thanks for stopping in over on Twitch. So keep up the good work. I will try, man. 
thanking you. Thank thank you all for dropping in uh, with the follows as well. Okay, here's a riddle for you. What's got two thumbs and is suddenly riding solo on a freaky island in the dark? This fool. <laughs> well, one thumb. One available thumb. In it appeared on a strange, uninhabited island that this brave young soul found herself. Okay, full disclosure, I suddenly found myself on a, a strange, tiny little island all alone with nothing to do but tell you guys around. So, there's a tree house over there. I'm gonna go and see if I can't dish out some of that sweet, sweet panoramic goodness. Because here's the thing, not that I want to go back because I don't, but even if I did, I can't because then I'd look like the super needy one when he was the one who, who stormed off in the first place. God, you know what? Sorry, I'm bending. Oh, explorer bending. You know what? Fuck it. Let's do it. To the treehouse, fellow explorers. <laughs> Told you, Emma loves her vlogging. She loves it. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Birico, for dropping the roses. And uh, Lee and Zachary, thanks so much for the hearts, guys. Right back at you. Thank you so much. Let's have a cheeky rose jam before we progress with Emma and her vlogging. Let's go. Corner, thank you, Jess, for the follow. Massively appreciated, you guys. You guys are always showing the love. And Geo, thanks for stopping it over on Twitch. Okay. Double check everywhere. The good thing is we at least got a strong light so we can see things. I'm just going back here just to see if there's anything to collect or, or anything. Uh-oh. Is that you, Jacob? It's one of those hunters out there. I definitely didn't like Jacob. The guns weren't as big. He didn't have uh, biceps like Jacob. I hope you guys are all having an awesome evening. Uh, like I say, thank, thanks so much for uh, spending your Saturday evening, um, you know, with myself and the quarry on its one-year anniversary. Any of you guys uh, doing any gaming yourself tonight? So I know some of you will p purely be watching the, the stream and so will be gaming with the stream in the background, right? No prizes for guessing what these are. Can't say that I've used them. A little too all natural for me, TBH. You know, I've never thought about where the waste goes. Oh, the key's gone now. Okay, we're gonna just go ahead and ignore that. Yeah. She freaking loves it. She loves, um,. Just loves herself on the screen, man. She loves, uh, well, <laughs> there's me saying that. There's me multi-platform streaming across three platforms. She just loves herself on screen. <laughs> no, I mean, uh, Emma, she's real vain. She loves her vlogging and stuff, you know. <laughs> Hell yeah, that sounds awesome, guys. Um, what we got? So Hunter's playing uh, Miles Morales. That's awesome. Uh, I really enjoyed that, man. It, it is just a, a bit of a short game, isn't it, right? But do love the Spider-Man games. I'm really hyped for Spider-Man 2. Uh, we Scottish Lass, thank you for stopping in and thank you for dropping that follow. Uh, Lee said, uh, you having a good night, man. Uh, Hayley's playing COD. What what um, mode are you playing on COD, Hayley? And Chrissy Legs, what's up, said, is the quarry worth it? Wanted to get it last year, but it was so expensive. Um, remind me of Until Dawn. Um, in my opinion, I think it's better than Until Dawn, to be honest. I think it's miles better. Um, absolutely love the story to this one. It really is uh, fantastic. Um, would absolutely recommend it, uh, Chrissy. Probably get for like 20, 25 quid at the minute, I'd say. And this is the meeting shelter. It's a shelter where you meet at. Okay, I'm trying really hard to make this interesting, but sometimes a thing just is what it is. I think I made my point. Jeez, I'd be freezing. How is she not freaking freezing? They didn't think that through. Yeah, there was no towels. They're still an unexcavated part of the story that water. rewilded itself after it flooded into the lake. Pretty cool, huh? You know, when I was little, I used to think that islands just kind of would float in the middle of the water, kind of like an airbed. But 
I'm older and wiser now, and realize that not everything's always as it seems. Kind of like how you thought you were just having a hot summer fling, and then it turns into babysitting a big hairy man-child. He's all sad because you don't want to go steady with him and write him love letters every freaking day. A savage. You don't mind that we're talking about it, right? Why? Why is it up to me to justify my feelings when he's the one who got all bluff about it, you know? <sighs> oh, look. The metaphor in the narrative, but I mean a fork in the road. How fitting. Here's the big question. Do I take the high road, literally, and forget about it? Or do I continue on the path I'm on and keep ranting about my stupid dumb life? I guess since this isn't live, the choice is up to me. Uh, Emma, I hate to break to you, but we are live across three platforms. <laughs> this is kind of live. Well, we did see a vision. Who it was, I don't know, but I think we kind of saw him dropping off a zip line, so I don't fancy taking the high road. I think we'll, st we'll stay on the ground, I think, guys. Um, nice one, Lee said Resident Evil Night tonight. Which Resident Evil are you playing, Lee? And Haley throwing it back to COD World War II. And uh, who was it who's playing uh, Black Ops 3? Yeah, we Scottish last playing COD Black Ops 3. That's really cool. I, I played a lot on the, yeah, Black Ops 3 for sure. Um, I never played Dead by Daylight, Chrissy. No, I've still not played it yet, but um, I definitely, I definitely should do because it, I don't know if you guys saw, but at the Summer Game Fest, oh, uh, Nicholas Cage is uh, going to be well, in it soon. Truly in the thick of it. Yeah, do you know what else? I was so excited for the next part of my life. You know, I mean, the summer was great, but what's next? I mean, come on. I know by the time I post this, Hackett's Quarter will be but a distant memory, and. I know it's just one night, and you have to make the most of all your opportunities, and yada, yada, yada. I guess... I just don't want to have to settle for what's around me, you know? Abby sees me as this... confident person, but... really? I'm just desperate to stay afloat in a world where everyone wants to be different. Yeah, that's deep. Like you say, some people could put on a bit of a, you know, a toughened exterior, but deep down they can be like a little insecure and everything, just like uh, Emma is, you know. Uh, Tommy Gunn said, what's your most favourite game? My favourite game of all time is the original Resident Evil 2. The Quarry, honestly, this this would be my top five games of all time. This top five. So fun. I feel like this is the first time I've been alone all summer. I kind of like it. I guess that kind of reinforces the whole Jacob thing. I know the plan was for him to come get me, but now that I'm by myself, I kind of like it. Sorry, Jacob, if you're watching. It's nothing personal. It's a me thing. We're cool, right? Yeah, we're cool. Thank you so much, Gemma, for uh, dropping the heart as well. I saw that. Thank you so much. And thanks, guys, for dropping in with the follows. Uh, Katie, my favourite character is Jacob. I'm definitely a female version of Jacob. So like him. Um, ooh, actually, no, we're not cool. Oh, it's better as a memory. Ooh. I don't think we'll go for aggression. I think we'll go for reflective, maybe. We'll go, I mean, go that knows? route. Maybe in 50 years we'll bump into each other and be flooded with fond memories of that one amazing summer at Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp. And that spark that changed our lives forever. Then we'll be like 70 year old lovers or whatever and have crazy walker sex. <laughs> hey, it could happen. Only time will tell, Jakey boy. And as they say, time makes fools of us all. But we will be the oldest, sexiest fools there ever were. <laughs> Until then, I gotta do my thing. Sorry, buddy. She's so savage, man. Oh, what's up, Stephanie? Uh, this game is awesome indeed. Um, I do enjoy Until Dawn. Um, the Quarry, for me, I think it's the best game I've played, like, you know, for these types of games. Until Dawn is just under there, though. I'll tell you what is just under for me as a close second. Um, it is, uh, what is it, the, 
the devil in me that was so good that's the latest uh, dark pictures game that that was incredible uh, i've still got the original trilogy to play yet though of the dark pictures so we can definitely play those at some point uh, still got to play uh, man of medan uh, little hope and house of ashes so we'll definitely revisit those at some point thank you guys as well for the continued followers we're so nearing our follower goal over on tiktok of 2k thank you so much almost there with it thank you guys have been Mr. H when he was back at the lodge. Do you remember that? Do you remember that smoke they saw from that, like, fire? When Hare and Abby was, um... The rage. It was when Hare and Abby was, um... You know, we was in the little car, the, the little car thing, and we was, um, took the scenic route. We saw that smoke. This was that fire. Okay, we'll find out later on in the game who lit that fire. A box of matches from the Harbinger Motel. A few matchsticks have been snapped off and there are marks on the striking surface. That's where we should have gone as Laura and Max, the, the OG, um, you know, who should have been counsellors. That's where it should have gone, the Harbinger Motel. Uh oh. I really don't want to go up there, but I don't know if that's kind of our only choice. So on my first playthrough, I'm, I'm getting a real bad uh, vibe here. Well, on, on our stream, when we streamed this on release, um, I got Emma killed. I think she was the first one I got killed. So we, we've got to be tread really carefully. Let's see if we can go anywhere else, but I think we might have to take that ladder. I'm not sure. I do indeed, we Scottish lass. Yeah, I love Eminem. One of my favourite artists. Yeah, I've loved him since I was probably like eight years old or something. I absolutely love Eminem. And no, regrettedly, I've not tried Dead by Daylight yet, but um, I think there's all the motivation more than ever, seeing as at the Summer Games Fest it was revealed um, Nicolas Cage is coming into Dead by Daylight. I've always been a bit put off because I think it's online only, right? Um, but yeah... Um, I might watch a bit more gameplay of it and maybe not be so dismissive of it, you know? And, uh, and yeah, see if we can maybe get into that potentially. Right, I think we're going to have to head up here, you know? I do Nintendo game. I do, I do love the um, the uh, elder lady with the tarot cards. I love love uh, seeing her at the end of each chapter. And I think Teetzel asked if uh, she um, if she scares me. She doesn't scare me. Um, I, I, I do like meeting her at, at each chapter. I guess I gotta do this one-handed, huh? Yeah, she's a decent lass. <laughs> that didn't sound great. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, just about. I just clutched that. You no, know, I am nailing this ladder climbing. is the luxurious Skyway Treehouse, obviously. Constructed in the year 1805 by a blindfolded man who used only the finest rotting wood, rusty nails, and donkey spit that money could buy. A real Hackett vintage classic. Honey, I'm home. What's that now? I forgot the children's bedtime. Well now, that's a fine how do you do. Take it all in, folks. That's the summer camp experience right there, and... Oh, look. It seems somebody forgot to clear the place out. I guess one of the kids left their stuff, or maybe one of the guys back there? But... I don't recognize this. Oh, don't. I'm really nervous, yeah. man. Looks like we have a choice on our hands. Do we snoop through someone else's belongings? Or do we open the spooky trap door and die? Horrible, painful death. Oh, Emma, just turn back, please. I, I beg you. Oh, I feel like if we can hear noises from up there, so I, I think, I'm sure the first time I streamed this game, I think I opened the trap door and I think I got us killed, in all honesty. I'm going to search a bag because we could potentially find a weapon. Thank you for that Suki Bill saying there, search a bag. I think we uh, should do. Bag it is. And you know what? I'm putting some clothes on. 
This is all you're getting. Please just get out of there, Emma. It's killing me. I don't want to die. I'm, I'm trying to keep everyone alive. As much as some of these that like Emma are bad people, I'd, I'd rather keep them alive. Get out of there. Please. Yes! We've got clothes and a cheeky taser. Okay, so... I think there's something up there. And it is not gonna make me jump, I can promise you that much. Emma, don't do it. I know you want the likes and the views, but don't do it. Goodbye, cruel world. Oh, don't! The is calling and there's no time for an encore. No! No! Oh no, Emma, I told you not to! Taser it! Taser it! Oh, shit. Uh, Taser? Run! Come on! Take a photo! No, we, we can't, we can't, we can't. To be fair... If the photo was with a flash, it could have disorientated it a little bit. That could have actually worked in our favour thinking about it. I don't know, though. Oh, don't know! Oh, no! Oh, don't. Don't use the zip line. Oh, I think we've used it safely. No more zip lining. No more, Emma. Uh-oh. Oh, shit. Just run. Just run. I don't know if that bear spray is going to work. Oh, God. Come on. Come on, Ems. Let's get you back. So tense, guys. It's so tense. There's like an open window there. It could come through the window. Oh, no. Oh, guys, what are you thinking? What are you thinking? I don't know if that was the right thing to do. Oh, no, I don't know if this is the right thing to do. done it oh yes i think i've kept her alive last time I, I got her killed yes come on guys gg let's go oh my god my palms are sweaty bro it's like slim shady let's go thank you guys no no sorry i'm just i'm really hungry i'll get you some food inside okay Ooh. Horse. Well, oh, guys, LFG. Horse, Let's freaking go. Maybe some granola? Oh, yuck, I hate granola. <laughs> Thank you guys for the GG. I really appreciate you. Picked up the strength card. Hell yeah. Let's take a quick look at that. Um, strength can be surprising. Knowing one's own raw power. Tapping into a previously unknown energy. I suppose there are forces at work within us all. And with one hand it gives and with the other it could rip away. Um, guys, thank you so much. We've got so many people in. Loads of people dropping the downs and the GGs. I will drop a Rose's Jam for you guys, so thank you. you. Really appreciate you. Um, what's that? Uh, a few people have asked if I tried the Walking Dead game. I did try the Telltale game. Um, it was some years ago, and I, I didn't really stick with it very much. It didn't really... I want too gripped uh, to it. But that was years ago, though. It may, um, you know... I may it may grow on me a little bit if I um, went back for that. But thank you so much for all the likes and shares, guys. Appreciate you. Um, and we've got uh, Tommy Gunn as well. He said, uh, Legend uh, Mine 2, about the OGRE 2 being my absolute favourite game of all time. Remember playing when I was a lot younger when it came out? It scared the hell out of me. Yeah, me too. You know, it, it didn't take me too long to uh, be fearless on it, though. I was so totally fearless as a kid. I soon got used to it. They're still scared to this day, man. This will open the nurse's station. Should be plenty of stuff in there. Well, hopefully we can get getting cleaned up for now. I'll get you something to eat. It's 
so far, so oh, good. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. Um, isn't there one in Mr. H's office? Yup. We'll come meet you. Copy that. I think it has their set. I think we'll say, uh, hope they're going to be okay. We'll be optimistic. I really hope they're going to be okay. Do you think that whatever's left in the nurse's office is going to cut it? Caitlin knows what she's doing. Does she? I, I mean, she wasn't even supposed to be working at the nurse's office this summer. She only filled in because some other girl didn't show up. It's better than nothing. <sighs> Come on, let's go call for backup. It's pretty weird to see this place so dead. You never came down here at night while camp was in session? What? No. Did you? A couple times. Yeah. Yeah. Where are you going? I... I, I, I thought I just heard my name. I didn't hear anything. I think Nick's injuries are as bad as we thought. Oh, I think we'll keep optimistic, like, and we don't want to count any bad vibes between Dylan and Ryan because they're a real nice, like, potential couple. So we'll say hopeful. That's good news. We'll say that. Well, that's good news. Yeah. So what now? We gotta call for help. Who should I call? Uh, Mr. H? The only number I got is for this phone. Okay, then 911. You mean 911? Who says 911? I don't know. 911. Anyway, yeah, but like, what should I ask for? Is it like police? Ambulance? Huh. Everything. Everything you got. Let's just say determined i think guys thank you for dropping in with the followers and thanks mill martin for sharing the live uh josh this is my second time streaming the game we we did stream it on launch um but obviously yeah we're celebrating the one year anniversary of this today so second time streaming i'll play it probably like a handful of times throughout the year uh we'll call the cops for sure like they're kind of the priority i think out the emergency services cops yeah with guns we need a lot of backup out here so they'll say 911 what's your emergency and then I say, uh, help, my friends may have been attacked by a bear, or maybe not a bear, but definitely an animal with teeth. And we're not sure how many there are out there or how smart they are. So it's very possible they might be mounting an attack on us right now and we really need backup. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's good. Okay. What's wrong? Dead. We've literally just been pied by 911. Um, uh, we won't be dismissed. We'll say suspicious. We'll say that's weird. Well, that's weird. Bones go dead sometimes out here. Right when you're about to call the cops, though? It's a coincidence. Can you try the hang up thingy? What? It's like one for one here in the UK, and it. What they do in movies when the phone goes dead? It's tap on the little thingy. Star sixty nine in it. See you previously okay. called. Well, you know, how do you know that? Maybe that's just what they want you to think, ma'am. Okay, so this phone's a no go. No one has signal. Is there anywhere else in the camp that has a landline? Well, not a landline. What? The radio hut has some old broadcast gear. Where, where you do your announcements? Where I curate my sweet summer jams, yeah, and where I do the PA announcements. It has some old equipment there. I think we could probably break something up and get a message out. All right, yeah. Let's l let's head over there and see if we can contact somebody. Put that back, Dylan. <laughs> no, you're gonna take it. Don't put it back. Yeah, well, we'll be aggressive, we'll be calm. 
Guys, thank you so much, by the way. We've literally got around 300 people watching right now across the three platforms. You guys are killing it. Thank you so much. We'll be calm. I will put it back when we're good and safe and help is on the way. Uh, okay, just careful with it. I'll be fine. Oh shit. It's probably the weather. What weather, Ryan? Maybe, maybe it was the bears. Bear. And why does everyone blame everything on bears? Okay. So, for the sake of argument, what if that bear that uh, cut our phone line and just cut out all the power, what if that bear is waiting for us out in the hallway? Fair point. Thank you. You called it, Ben. You said Yogi Bear. <laughs> Probably tell Kaylin that we're going to the radio house if only freaks. Yeah, okay, yeah, let's go. We've got to protect these two at all costs. They're so, they're so uh, cute together. We should probably leave that to Kaylin. I don't want to be using any aggression, so I think I'd rather go defensive with this. Just say, like, does she need it, you know? Luke's a Blade, you do need to play this game. I would absolutely recommend it if you enjoy. This is my favourite type, um, my favourite game of these types of games, for sure. Speed, what's up, man? Thank you for stopping in. I'm doing great, thank you. I hope you're well. And thank you so much, guys, for stopping in uh, with all the followers. I really appreciate it. I think we're very near in our follower goal of 2k over on TikTok. I'll check that in just a second. Thank you. We'll say, just, does she, I think she need it? Needs it though. Uh, she needs it just as much as we do. She's staying in the lodge. We're going out there. You literally just said there might be something dangerous in the lodge. When? Like 20 seconds ago. Okay, sure. But that's because I really wanted the gun. Just give her the gun, man. Well, he said to give the gun, so we'll, we'll cooperate. Uh, all right. You're right. Hey, well, still have mine. If you're extra nice to me, I'll, I might let you hold it. Don't write a check that you're asking cash. My ass has got quite the bank account. Am I interrupted something? She ain't even gonna be grateful for this gun. Chin up, big guy. It, I wouldn't really know what to do with it, okay? I trust you. Oh, thank you so much, Dylan. You're so generous and handsome. Yeah, no problem. Don't mention it. Thank you so much, guys. We've just surpassed over 130k likes over on TikTok. Can we make it to 150k likes tonight, guys? Let's go. Next big milestone. Just a few away from our follower goal of 2k. Let's freaking go. Oh, no more zip lines. Don't be eyeing that up. We did such a good job keeping Ever alive. We can't slip up now. You guys have got to have my back with this. I need you guys. Oh, please no. No. Oh. If we reel quickly, will it mess it up? Do you think reel slowly? But then again, the creature's about. It's, it wants you to do it quickly, doesn't it? So should we do it slowly to make less noise? And then cause if we do it quickly, it might wreck it, do you think? I think reel slowly, we'll do that. Oh. That's even worse, it needs some WD-40, it's creaky as hell. Yeah, it wants you to reel it quickly. I can't, I don't even look, man. No, 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 we ain't speeding up. Oh, we've got to protect, we've got to try and keep her alive. We've had no deaths so far. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Shit. Oh, fuck. 
I think we've got it. Yes! Let's go, we've done it! G freaking G, guys, let's go. Yes! Oh, guys, great decisions there. Thank you so much. I know you was um, you was on board with uh, reeling that slowly. Yes, end of chapter. We're back with our old lass. Good to see you. Good to see you. Oh. That time again, is it? Strength. <laughs> Strength can be surprising. Knowing one's own raw power, tapping into it, tapping into a previously unknown energy. I suppose there are forces that work within us all, and with one hand it gives, and with the other it could rip away. As always, there's more to see, and as always, the choice is yours. Would you like to see more? Of course, let's go. See what's behind that tarot card. Let's look into the crystal ball, guys. Right, that's Nick. That's one of the hunters. They're tussling, and then he's just done something to him. Okay. So it's goodbye again. I'll leave you with this. Remember who your friends are. Remember who's looking out for you. Who's looking out for you? Freaking everyone in the chat. Massive love to you guys. I love that woman as well. I think she's ace. She's so sick. Chapter 5, white noise. Let's go, guys. Nick's resting up. Hey, I couldn't find anything to eat. The kitchen's pretty cleaned out. Oh, shoot, that looked like that. I, I brought you this. I want to see you. Fuck, I don't even know what happened. It's all just a blur. How are you feeling? I think we should probably say we'll we'll be compassionate and ask how she is, I think. How are you holding up? I'm uh well I uh, I I'm just happy you're okay. Are you okay? I'm sorry, I I just asked you that. I... It's okay. All right. We'll have to find a radio or something. What's with the um the Oh, uh, we found another in Mr. H's office, so just in case. Oh, what happened to the lights? Not sure. Any better? I'm doing okay. Kinda. Wait, are they going to the radio hut? Phone's dead. They're gonna try to send out an SOS or something. We're holding down the fort. Hell no! Why does it give us these options to vocalize? Hell no! It was like anything. Only Ryan already left. Stay here. I'll check it out. I think we'll be reassuring. I think we've got to be uh, optimistic, right? We'll be fine. Just be careful. We'll be fine.
over to Caitlyn. I don't feel as scared with Caitlyn because she's freaking fearless. She's she's savage. She is savage bish. <laughs> Jeez, this is freaking tense though, actually. <sighs> uh oh. Hunter guy. He always reminds me of John Cena. <laughs> this reminds me of him in like a hunter form. I mean, she's freaking fearless, but um, we've still got to be on it. Still got to focus and nail this. Most dominant. Smoothly done, Caitlin. Let's go. Oh, shit. I, I literally always instinctively do this whenever we have to do the, the holding breath scenes. Makes me not want to exhale. <laughs> She's still got caught. Uh oh. Oh. Oh, fuck. oh shit, he's took the gun. Damn it. I hit the right direction as well. Hey, so this may not be like the best time to say, but like. Yeah, so like I was just, you know, thinking about like the start of summer and like when we first met and I started camp camping. But like now that summer's over and, you know, is that like the last time we're going to see each other, you know? I'm sorry, Nick, what, what are you saying? I'm saying this is more brutal than being in the Australian outback mine. Um... He's insecure. I'm pouring my howie. Or there's confident. Don't worry about Kate. Mm. Yeah, we'll, we'll just be confident. So I don't want any bad vibes or anything, you know. Thank you guys for all the continued likes and followers. I really appreciate you all. Thank you. We have smashed that 2k follower goal. Thank you. Don't I'll update that in a sec. I know. I'm sorry, Nick. I'm just distracted. Let's just go through the night. Oh, don't be bitter. You're hard to read. I hate that word, bitter. Like, I hate the word. I hate the meaning of it, you know? Like, like, there's no need to be bitter. Don't be bitter. Be better. I always say that. If anyone even ever does you wrong, any anyone does you wrong, any heartbreak, anything like that, don't be bitter. Be better. Intrigued. Maybe I was misreading the situation back there, but I kind of felt like a little bit more was going to happen. Well, did you want a little bit more to happen? Duh, are you dumb? Hey. Sorry. I just mean, of course I wanted it to happen. I just didn't know if you did too. That seems like such a long time ago now. You did want it to happen though. Uh, um, you can tell me. Yeah, I, I guess. Just saying that because I'm her. Nick. <laughs> What's going on out there, Caitlin? Wait, there's no time. It's okay, I've got this. Oh 
Oh my, we need to choose wisely. Oh my god. What happened? Jesus, where's the gun? We gotta get out. No, we have to hide. Uh, what do you guys think? There's just three of us. <laughs> oh my god. I, I really didn't know what to choose. It's hard to, if, if we run, there's three of us, we'll make a freaking stampede. So maybe it's best to hide. I think it went on hide. I didn't properly do it. Shit. I think hide makes more sense. Three of us start running, like, it'll make an absolute racket, man. I, I was really indecisive that I really didn't know. Nice. Oh, nicely done, guys. Woo! We clutched it. I think we've clutched that. Oh, yeah, yeah. It used to be more of a actual radio station, actually. Um, uh, you know, I mean, it is still technically, but nobody brings their radio to camp anymore. Yeah. It's weird, actually, that there used to be... Nowadays, everything you need is on the phone, but Mr. Hackett takes it on the first day at camp so that we're not distracted by technology. Um, technology giveth and it taketh. So Alrighty. That's the thing, like, that you want to go into. I'm so glad we've got a nice cute scene with these two. No, They're so cool. Uh, Let's give me a second. Oh, um, yeah, I mean, I like music, but... There we I go. Major in, um, quantum physics. I've amended the follow goal over on um, TikTok to 2,500. Let's go, guys. Thank you so much for smashing our 2K follower goal tonight. I appreciate you so much. Science guy. Oh, guys, yeah. I mean, that. you know, not... not Just check behind us. Um, no, I can't travel back. So grateful for you all in tonight. We have smashed it on this stream. Thank you so much. We've got over 150k likes. Thank you so much. I'm going to be online for like just over another hour. We've been streaming for almost five hours now, so we'll make it up to six hours. Another hour chilling with you guys. Well, I say chilling. It's been more, more tense than ever. That's great to hear, Nintendo Gamer. So I'm going to buy this game tomorrow. I honestly um, would recommend it. Recommend to any of you guys who love horrors. It's an amazing uh, storyline and backstory to it. In my universe, they're a couple. Yeah, they absolutely are. I love Ryan and Dylan. Definitely the best couple in the game, I think. Or best potential couple. Kyra, I think it'll probably be about 20 to 25 pounds, this game. Um, One of the guys said earlier, it is actually on the PlayStation Plus uh, Premium Pass, if any of you guys, girls, have got that. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm so completely fascinated by this. What do you mean by not here? Not here at camp. I do that at home, and then here, I, um... You're a wise, wise, cracking smartass? <laughs> uh, that's a little harsh, but... Um... No? Okay, so maybe I was a little nervous when I arrived in an uncomfortable social situation, and I overcompensated a little bit by making a bunch of jokes. You played into it. Yeah, I mean, people kind of enjoyed the blasé Dylan. Um, and do, do you enjoy the blasé Dylan? <laughs> Not yet, like, you know, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> um, I like Dylan Dylan. Oh, it's nice to Yeah, that like wolf. It's a wolf howl in the background. There's a bit of racket from over here because I, I live uh, right near a, a train track. So I think the last train is probably about quarter past 20, past 11. It's quarter to 11 pm here in the UK. Um, so yeah, some of the last trains are going past. It always reminds me of the train in. Um, in Resident Evil 2. <laughs> like, I always say that whenever we hear it. It's alright, it's just Leon and Claire just making the way out of Raccoon City, it's fine. 
Oh, Caitlin, of course. Always number one. Of course. Thank you, honestly, for all the continued follows. Appreciate you all um, dropping in. What is that? Oh. Oh, is that a bear trap? It is. I think that's good to set that off. Yeah, definitely set that off. This bear trap definitely wasn't there over summer. At least it can't hurt anyone now. Something like that could really take your hand off. What is this doing in a kid's summer camp? I don't know, man. That's... It wasn't here over the summer. I mean, if it was, then... We would have noticed that, right? Well, whatever it was trying to catch, it can't now. So glad you um you triggered that bear trap because knowing me I would run back and I would totally get uh <laughs> get caught in that I totally forget it was there. They're so bad uh, you know in Resident Evil Four. Always forget that they're there. I was the exact same when I played through the remake. We did see this earlier. There's um Jacob and Emma's names engraved. It says Jacob Hart Emma Forever and it, the Forever's um crossed out. Obviously we saw that when we played as Abby, so we'll we'll inspect it as Dylan. And there's a vial here as well. Oh, what in the name of voodoo do 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 is this? Well, thank you so much to everyone who's still here. Like I say, it's coming up to 11pm here in the UK. I don't know if any of you guys are watching from International. We have people from all over the world in, so um, yeah, feel free to drop whereabouts you're from. Whether you're from, you know, across the pond, in the UK. Thanks so much for staying up late and um, and being here. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, we saw that earlier, didn't we? Oh, please don't play it. <laughs> Literally just realised. look after this. Three times older than they are. No! No! Oh no! I should have never have inspected that. Dylan, why do I have to press play? Why? That's awesome. Uh, so we've got Finland, Denmark, Bulgaria, quite a few from the UK, Switzerland, Australia. That's crazy! Sweden, Belgium. I actually have relatives in Belgium. My, my surname's French. Oh, guys, thank you so much, Jamaica. Wow. The, honestly, you guys from all different countries, I would love to visit your countries, man. Like, um, I'm not that well-traveled, to, uh, to be honest, but it's, it's literally my main goal to, to go traveling place. I want to um, go to Ibiza next month. There's a bit of a late 30th birthday uh, holiday. Um, so I go there for the music because I absolutely love that sort of music. Um, if you guys remember, in an, in one of the earlier chapters, um, Emma and Abby broke into here, so we'll we'll check see what's uh, what's in here. Um, but yeah, I definitely after Ibiza, uh, before the end of the year, I'd love to fit in like a European like city break somewhere. Yeah, I'm going with my best friend. Hey, what up, Ian? Thanks for stopping in over on the tubes. If you played the quarry yourself, man, it's so good. He said another good game you're playing. It's its one year anniversary, man, so it would be rude not to. Oh, it's the newspaper article we saw earlier as well. Wow, still loads from all over the world. It, um, it honestly it blows my mind. Italy, South Africa, Norway. That's crazy. Not turn the bat, thank you for the follow. Cheers, guys, for dropping in the follows. I have indeed, um, I have played um, Until Dawn. I do prefer The Quarry, but Until Dawn, it, it's still a fantastic game for sure. I love the, the creepy vibes in that. Yeah, we have killed it tonight. So good. Uh, so, yeah, it's just about 11pm here in the UK, uh, Brooklyn. Mm, just before we do, let's just see if there's anything around here. So there's a vent. Huh. Yeah, the scratches, of course. Oh, Ashley, sorry, I know you mentioned earlier uh, the Plague's Tale games. Uh, no, they, they are um, 
on my uh, list of uh, games to play for sure. Cause there's a Plague's Tale something in there. There's like Requiem and there's another one. Um, yeah, I would love to play this. I've got the first one um, like installed. I just have not yet played it. But yeah, I would love to uh, go to those. Large jagged claw marks on the wall of the radio hut. See if there's anything else wrong. Oh, nice. There we go, guys. This is why you explore. Another tarot card. you got to get in the right light. There we go. Awesome. The Hermit. Here we have the Hermit. With the Hermit comes isolation, loneliness, but reflection too. Perhaps given some thought, the Hermit who gives chase can guide you to safety. But that all depends on your actions, not his. Yeah, thank you, Kay. I'll definitely um, keep an eye out for the other games from Supermassive. Thank you. I, honestly, I always appreciate your guys' um, game recommendations. I have indeed played the Outlast games. Yeah, yeah, love those. Um, they do really have me on edge, though, because I hate being chased in horror games. I hate it, man. It really scares me. Thank you, Dobby, for sharing the life. All good? Yeah, we'll be confident. Um, no, I won't be able to beat the game tonight, Brookie, but um, I'll probably re revisit it maybe tomorrow evening. I'll let you guys know on my socials. Um, so, yeah, I'm currently streaming across three platforms, uh, YouTube and TikTok. I'm Holster TV. Twitch, I'm Holster TV, mate. Feel free to follow me on any that's uh, convenient for you. Um, and over on YouTube, Holster TV, um, in the description, there's links to my socials, so totally feel free to join my Discord server, follow me on the socials. That's where I update you guys um, when I'm next coming online, so totally feel free, you know, to, to follow on those. We'll go confident, all good. All good. Dump, huh? Okay, when I was a camper here, it was barely working. It hadn't been used for years, and it took me a really long time, actually, to get this place cleaned up and looking the way it is. So, I'm sorry if it's not up to your standards, but I've been putting in a lot of TLC. Okay, okay. okay. Let me get this set up. Alright. Oh, I like that music kicking in. Power tools? No. Um, that's Mr. H wanted more storage, so it's kind of how he lets me keep the station going. <laughs> gotcha. So, uh, how far does it go? Oh, um, well, it was designed just to broadcast to the PAs around camp for announcements and to, you know, portable radios and whatever, so I think the range is about a mile. Definitely don't be dismissive. Again, I, I really ship this couple. They're kind of not a couple, but there's chemistry between. I really like Ryan and Dylan. Um, I don't want have any bad vibes, so we're not going to be dismissive. We'll be all interested, you know. Be all intrigued. How do you even know all this stuff? Uh, I just kind of picked it up. Yeah. The te technical stuff has always been a little uh, hard for me to get a handle on well if you like i could show you the ropes like a class yeah it's easy like climbing sign me up teach anyways this thing's gonna need a bit of a power up um but that's where this comes in that's max it's supposed to be a signal booster it's kind of janky looking but it's worth giving a shot so we can actually talk to people with this thing? Yeah, well, it's not a two-way radio, so, um, you know, we can talk, uh, but then the best we can do is switch it over to the receiver and see if anyone broadcasts anything back, which is unlikely, but... Well, it, I mean, it is what it is, I guess. Yeah. So, what should I say? Uh, just, like, make it sound urgent. Okay. Hello, how's it going?
how's it going out there? This is, uh, uh, we need help. This is, uh, we are counselors at Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp, and there's been a horrible accident, attack, some stuff bad here. We need your help. Uh, there is a swarm of bears, and they are everywhere, and there's these hunters, too, and they seem to be shooting at the bears, but also at us, um, which is not good, and a few of our friends are hurt, and um, we are in desperate need of help, so please, uh, there's vicious bears, and uh, we don't know what to do, so please uh, come help us, SOS, uh, this is a, an emergency, S save our ship, come on down, please help us. Yeah, I did good. Is that swarm of bears? You did great. You did great, Dylan. Herd of bears. A swarm of bears. Yeah, herd <laughs> of bears. But oh my god. All right. I, I guess I should just like switch this over to the receiver and see if we get anything back. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I'm gonna keep an eye out while you do all this techie stuff. Swarm of bears. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Uh-oh. Back there. Wait, did he, did he say watch? I don't know, hold on. Mm, they might not be in our type. Maybe we'll try to be reassuring, I think. We can't be sure they were talking about us. Uh, I don't know. I, it really, really sounded like they were. But that's... That's not possible, right? Oh, shit. They know where we are, man. We can't stay here. Let's, let, let's stay calm, okay? Um, let's let's go find Caitlin and everybody, okay? Okay, yeah. Okay. Oh shit! We've got to be on it now, guys. We've got to be on it. Oh, we're not saying aggressive. We won't do that. We'll say I want shot. I, I, I wasn't sure. It's not the time to be aggressive with each other. No got to be calm, composed. Guys, thank you for dropping the roses. We will have a rose jam uh, once we've survived. Okay, I see you. I see you with the roses. Thank you so much. Uh, Brian? Is it a bear? I don't think bears can jump like that. It's the swarm of bears. Not shoot him, definitely not. What was that? What is that? Fuck. What? Caitlin, Abby, and Nick, they're coming up. Oh, the shit. Path. Oh, shit. Yeah, they're coming toward us. We, we, we gotta warn them. Um, what about the PA? Up top? Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, we can tell um, them to hide or something. Yeah. Uh, oh, fuck no! Oh, shit. Oh, if, what the hell? Uh, the, uh, hold the button. Uh, Caitlin, get into a building now. Do not come up here. There's an animal outside the radio hut. Get, get into the cabin now. Go, go, go! That one's unlocked. Yeah, yeah, that one they kicked in earlier. See, that probably wouldn't have been available if we hadn't broken in earlier. They're gone. At least they're close by. In the cabin close by, that's cool. Yeah, it's a good job we um we broke in that and unlocked it. I don't know what they would have done. It's hidden the bushes probably. What 
hell? Oh, no worries, Alexa. Thank you so much for stopping in, though. Um, honestly, if you want to catch up on the stream anytime, it'll be available on my YouTube, Holster TV. Totally feel free to catch up on it um, afterwards if, if you wish, definitely. Um, I don't really want to go aggressive. I, st I feel like I still want to keep it chill. We'll just go anything we can do. Is there anything we can do? I don't know. I, I don't know. It's just an animal, right? I mean, maybe we can scare it off? Uh... Well, it, yeah, I mean, if it, if it has hearing, like the dog, maybe, it, we, we could play like a, like a really high-pitched feedback loop and just blast it, and, and I mean, it would hurt like hell, but, you know. Mm, yeah, we'll, we'll be supportive. Jeez, so freaking intense, man. Oh my god, let's do this. Um... What? It's almost. Calm. Definitely not. Definitely don't be. Uh... Hey, Dylan, just. Oh, cray cray. Take a breath. I'm sure you can figure it out. I am anything but calm right now. So far, so good. We've had zero deaths. We've got to try keep this going. What's missing? Oh, oh crap. Hold the wire. Fix it. Oh, shit. I'll cover you. Oh, bro. Yeah, yeah, definitely got his. So, okay, hang on. Guys, can we just please hang on, hang on, hang on. Let me just nip in the chat. Please no spoilers, because there's people who have not yet played it. Just avoid the chat a minute. Just give me a second. Just give me a sec. Give me a second. I'm trying to protect you guys in the chat, so I, I really don't want um. I'll be with you guys in a sec, but just please, please don't spoil the stream. I do apologise for for Pete, uh, for anyone spoiling it. It really just um. Right, we should be good. Right, we should be good. We should be good now. Just please be respectful for people that um haven't played it. Um, luckily that um, it happens, man. Unfortunately, um, when I very first streamed this game, I had it. Well, I'd already um uncovered something major in the game, and fortunately for someone who came in and tried to spoil it, they were too late in spoiling that. Um, but anyway, um. Thank you so much, uh, DC23, for being here, man. It, it's um, not actually my one-year anniversary. It's the one-year anniversary of the quarry. That's what we're celebrating, man. I have been around for a while. I have been around for a little while longer. Um, yeah, I, I do apologise for you people in the chat who've had anything uh, spoiled for you. Um, I do apologise about that. Um, it's something I can't really control, but as soon as I see it, I've, obviously I've, I've paused the game. First time we've paused it all night, but I will be straight on it and try and protect you guys from spoilers. But thank you so much, um, Alison, Ricardo, You Shall Not Pass, and Block 40. Thank you so much for dropping the diamonds and the roses over um, on TikTok. So we'll have a cheeky rose jam. Thank you. Thank you.
thanking you. Really appreciating you all. But yeah, anything like that, I will just literally pause it and try and protect from spoilers and stuff. So yeah, let's continue anyway. Okay. Um. Oh, I don't. I think shotgun's a bit bad. I think uh, probably chainsaw. Um. What do you guys think? I think chainsaw. I don't think you should. We should shoot him. I definitely think chainsaw. You've got to cut the limb off, right? I'm glad you guys are in agreement. We have a lot of people saying chainsaw. Hell yeah. Hold your freaking ears, guys. Woo! That should deter it away. Hell yeah! Really blew the speaker. Uh, Sorry, guys, for blowing all your speakers back at home. Uh, nice work, Dylan. For your own good, Dylan. Is it safe? We're okay for now. I think we're okay for now. We ran into one of those hunter guys. Ah, oh, crap. He chased us out of the lodge. I think we lost him on the way up here. You get a message out? I think so. Great. What's going on? At... Oh my god! Dylan, what happened? <laughs> Dylan, you look a little different. <laughs> oh, um, I'm okay. I, I, I mean, I'm not. Um, but it's it doesn't it doesn't hurt. Okay, you're in shock. Holy fucking shit! Uh, Did that thing do this? No. Well, sort of. It... Caitlin, where's your gun? I lost it. One of the friendly locals wanted to say hi. That'll be the hunted using that. What the fuck? Did she shoot at us? Oh, that's um Laura from the beginning. OG Laura, let's go. Freaking oh, badass. Shit. Should we follow her? I oh, know I agree with you guys. A lot of you guys saying Dylan is such a good spot after losing his arm. He really is. He's took it like a champ. GG Dylan. Get the GGs in the chat for our Dylan. <laughs> Dylan, what is that? <gasps> oh my god! GG's guys, we've been doing good. Zero deaths so far. So far, so good. So Laura shot at something in the pool. Yeah, Laura's way back from the uh, beginning. That's it. Zero deaths, just one less hand out. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> oh, you're back. Looks like that's one less vermin in the world. Let's take a look once more. Here we have the hermit. With the hermit comes isolation, loneliness, but 
reflection, too. Perhaps, given some thought, the hermit who gives chase can guide you to safety. But that all depends on your actions, not his. I want to show you more. Would that be all right? Of course, we always see more from the tarot cards. Everyone look into the crystal ball. Let's go. Oh, it's Jacob in a bear trap. We've got to make sure we step carefully as Jacob we spend then. so much time looking toward the future. It's easy to forget that the past holds secrets too. Worth remembering that. So it's goodbye again. I'll be here. I'll wait for you. <laughs> I'll wait for you. <laughs> She's funny, man. She is a character. Guys, thank you so much for your support. I've got over 180k likes. Can we get to 200k likes before the end of the stream? I'm going to be on the stream for about another 40 minutes or so. Over 150 Hello. new people as well. Thank you. Right, this is this is very tense. This is very tense now. My favourite character. I love Jacob. We we've, we've got to keep him alive. We've got to do this, guys. Am I that you? Freaking love Jacob. He's so cool. As I've I've, I've said, like. I always feel like I, I relate to him. I, I'm a proper female Jacob, you know. Very similar in personality and stuff. He's um, just playful, you know, he's mischievous. He's uh, real nice. He wears his heart on his sleeve and stuff. He's just real cool. Yeah, I really like him. So, yeah, we're, we're most likely going to be on stream um, tomorrow, guys. Um, I'm hoping to get on from 6pm UK time and we'll finish off this playthrough. I think we're about halfway through now. Or maybe just over. Yeesh. More far off this. So we'll finish off our playthrough tomorrow. I don't want to like be leaving it a while, you know. Oh, I didn't see the woman in the dress RM. Was she um, roaming around out here? I actually didn't see her. But yeah, I'm going to be streaming till like midnight. Um, another 40 minutes. Um, and I do need to be up at 4am for the car boot. <laughs> it's ridiculously early. My car boot starts at 5am. So I'll be out hunting for gaming goodness. That bodes ill. Fucking hell. memory card from a broken dirty camera lost in the woods huh. maybe there's something on it i am indeed ethan yeah yeah i'm over on um i'm on across three platforms live right now so on youtube and tiktok i'm holster tv uh, i am over on twitch um holster tv mate i'm called on twitch where, whereabouts in the UK am I from? From Lincolnshire area. From, like, Lincolnshire. Uh, Claire said I was just playing, like, half an hour ago. Nice. Yeah, it's got to be done. It's the Quarry's one-year anniversary stream. <laughs> Danny says, why, why is bro topless? Um, him and Emma was in, in the water earlier, and there was no towels. Oh, hang on. My bad, my bad. Lost my bearings up there. So that's, that's the way we came, in it, right? Thank you, back in my play. Thanks for uh, being in the stream again tonight, man. Thanks for sending over the GGs. Appreciating you. Yeah, I think this is the right way. Oh man, I'm real nervous after seeing that um, 
uh, that thing of Jacob in the bear trap. We've really got to tread carefully now, guys. That's all I care about, keeping Jacob alive. That's all I cared about in my um, in my first playthrough of this. Claudia, what's up? Said, is it not jarring how dark this game is? And no, it's good. It's good. Um, I absolutely love the story on this. You know, it's one of my favourite games. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm really confused. This looks the exact same as the beginning. What's up, Gamer Kel? Thanks for stopping back in. No, as, as of yet, no deaths. We're so far so good. We're doing really well. Sorry, guys. I think I've totally lost my bearings. Are we... Is this the right way? No, it's not letting us there, I don't think. After I picked the camera up, I kind of lost which way we were going. And both of these uh, the stairs and stuff look the same. It's fine. But we have killed it tonight. You guys have turned up. Hell yeah. Thank you so much. We're getting closer to 200k likes. Thank you. We can smash that follower goal. Right, so yeah, we've got the camera from there. So we need to be over this way, don't we? I'm not liking this. I'm not liking all the wolf howls. Hell no. Nah. So Lucy, my, my stream schedule, it literally all depends because I do work full time. I don't get to stream full time, unfortunately. Um, so yeah, it literally all depends. But I've just got some annual leave at the moment for like over like the next week. So um, yeah, I, I usually uh, go live from like anywhere from 6, 7, 8 p.m. UK time. Um so what some sometimes at work i have to work weekends some weekends i have off i've got this weekend off so i, I do try to get on at peak times when you know when most people are free There was no need to scream. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh. Jeez. I the proper felt in Jacob's pain there. We both held our chest at the same time. Mm. I would do startle, but we'll say, Delighted. Am I glad to see you? Thank you, Anastasia. Says finally someone playing this underrated game. I do massively agree. I feel like there is love out there for the quarry, but it's still underrated. That's why I totally wanted to um, stream this on its one-year anniversary. It deserves so much more love. Um, Mexican Idioti Idiotia. Thank you so much for dropping the diamonds over on TikTok. Thank you. Oh, my God. No way. Am I glad to see you? <laughs> oh, oh, I forgot. We, le we left this bitch in the water, didn't we? Sorry. Sorry, Emma. What the fuck is going on? Look, I don't know, okay? Some, like, bear attacked Nick and Abby back there. Yeah, me too, but it definitely was not a bear. What? Who? When? Why? Sorry, I'm just... I'm glad you're okay. Yeah, barely. I mean, the thing that attacked me at the treehouse was, like... What? Was Man bear pig from South Park. Like, out of a horror movie? It's man bear pig. Okay, um... Well, it, it was probably just like a, a bear trying to defend itself, you oh, know? Oh, don't be a dick. You, you know it wasn't a fucking bear. Well, you're right. You're right. And now we have these fucking the, the hunters running all over the place. So that's a fun new wrinkle. They did this to me. That's a lot of blood. Yeah, well, it's not mine. Mmm, that's quite the funky bouquet. No offense. Um... Okay. Okay, we've got to get out of these woods. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. <laughs> you know, Jacob, you don't have to be a dick about literally everything. He's not, he's freaking nice. Um, I think we should be defensive. Instead of being so soft, I think we say, hey, I'm trying to keep us alive. Because that, that's ultimately what he's trying to do, right? Um... Oh yeah, I've heard of Daz Black. Um, I'll have to search him up because I, I did have some people recommend him last night, actually. And to write Birico, it is Man Bear Pig. I'm being super ethereal. <laughs> That's how they say it, innit? Be super ethereal. 
Thank you so much, guys. We have smashed over 200k likes. We've got almost 200 uh, new followers tonight as well. Thank you so much. Really appreciate all your support. I'm absolutely feeling the love. Um, so, yeah, they were both in the water. Jacob still has not retrieved any clothes, unfortunately. But Emma did find some clothes within a bag. So that's why she's clothed and he isn't. He's just parading his guns and, and the, the six pack. He's got his, his biceps and his abs out over in the forest. Trying to keep us alive. I'm trying to keep us alive. I've been doing pretty good by myself. What? I don't need you to rescue me. I'm not going to suddenly fall in love with you just because you're my knight in shining armor. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if you set this all up. Oh my god. What? He did. He did as well. He sabotaged the car, so they had to spend one more night in the quarry. He did set it all up. It's literally all Jacob's fault. To be fair, it's all Emma's fault for leading him on. Okay, we've got two people to protect here, guys. Two damn people. Got to be really careful. I'm so nervous. Shit. What are we doing? What are we doing? Sorry! <laughs> Sorry! Watch your freaking step, Jacob. Keep running, keep it moving. Shit. I'm mashing this for dear life, Jacob. Come on. Bear traps. We in one of these, it's game over. Oh, oh no! Shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Gotta pry it open. Come on, Jacob, you've got guns, man. Come on. Oh no. Oh, maybe we should have hid. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, please don't do anything to him, man. I mean, at least we didn't get caught by that wild, um, like, werewolf thing, because then it would have been over. We didn't get captured by man bear pig. We find out who this is a bit later on. Oh no. I know, I thought that, Is Danny. Those dudes? I thought that. So. Why would he step back without looking onto those traps? Like, he knew he was surrounded by the traps he was looking. It's like, yeah, just stand there and look. Don't be stepping around. Why? Caitlin, you've got to dig deep and get some compassion because there is, um, <laughs> there is someone been shot right there. We'll do compassion. You okay? I don't know who that other girl was. I've never seen her before. Me neither. But her? Yeah. That's Haley Hackett. Mr. H's daughter? I thought she went home with her brother. Haley. Yeah. I thought so too. So Dewey, Chris Hackett, the sh like the the camp. Kaylee. Camp guy. It's his daughter. You smell so good. Ew. Intervened. You alright there, bud? Maybe dial it back a bit, huh? Fuck off, Caitlin. No. It's turning a little you, funky. You... I taste you. Hey. Come here, huh? Oh, Nick, what the hell? Come on, someone intervene. you guys think 
Because obviously we do know Nick, Nick did get um, like bit early, did get infected. What do you think? Help him or comfort Abby? There's no way of comforting her, is there? Do you think? We'll comfort Abby because I think he's kind of screwed anyway. Hey, hey, it's okay. I'm okay. I got you. I got you. Thank you, guys. What did I do? Yeah, Abby needs a spot. She's pretty, real soft and vulnerable, I think, I, really. I don't know. He's so cold. Okay, let's get him in the pool house. Dry him off. <laughs> He's getting all trippy. I know, poor Abby. That was so minging. <laughs> Just try to rest. Sorry. Ah, quit moving so much. It's pretty clean from what I could tell. I mean, it's not bleeding, but you need to see a doctor. Look, this is all I've got left in the nurse's station. Ooh, hi. Better hope uh, we find you some real help before they wear off. You need to be keeping a record of everything that happens for the police. Yeah, dead girl in the pool needs some explaining, huh? <sighs> Easy, man. In those photos, whatever we can. I've got a funny feeling that the cops are not going to want to believe any of this crazy shit unless we've got some hard proof. From now on, if you've got your phone and you see something, take a photo or a video or whatever. Yeah. You okay over there, Abby? Look, why don't you look around and see if you can find anything to help make Nick more comfortable? Guys, again, thank you so much for all the people dropping in uh, with the likes and followers. I really appreciate it. There's literally so many to keep up with. There's so many new people in tonight, so thank you. Gemma, thank you for sending over the heart. Appreciate you. Is there anything else to inspect before we go over to him? Let's have a quick look. Take a quick look around. Hell yeah, Derry. We've got to play through it again. Yeah, I was. Th there was definitely something about playing this for the first time when you really don't know what happens and stuff. It is incredible. It really is such a journey. But it, honestly, it's just as enjoyable going back through uh, and playing it. You know, even when you know the story and the backstory. You know, um. The challenge of keeping everyone alive. I'm I'm doing better than what I did last time because I think at this point on my first ever playthrough, I think um, I think I'd just got Emma killed and that was it. Yeah, we've been really I'm playing smart. We're doing good. Campus photo. A recent pic of a piece of camp history. A younger Ryan enjoying his time at camp with Chris Hackett's kids, Caleb and Kaylee. Yeah, they're pretty um pretty close, like him and um. Yeah, Chris Hackett's kids. What's up, uh, Wee Slayer? What's up? First time chat over on Twitch. Um, yeah, like, I, I am pretty new over on Twitch, so it's a, it's a bit of a slow burner over there. <laughs> I always said, uh, first time I ever played, Abby was the only one left. It's crazy, isn't it, right? Like, trying to make split-second decisions, trying to keep them all alive. It is difficult. I'm just checking all these just in case there's any, um, you know, the tarot cards that can offer anything, any objects, collectibles. Oh, that ain't creepy at all. Who's done that spooky drawing? Among the miscellany of these forgotten belongings uh, is a scribbled drawing of a woman in the woods. Those ghost stories seem to have really left a mark. This was so different. Is there actually Claudie? There is a tarot card in here. Whereabouts? Is it in one of these rooms? Uh, well, is it one of these like showers or anything? Oh, there we go. Beautiful. The moon. We got it. 
See, that's why it's worth checking all of them. Thank you, work, for the heads up there, Claudie. Thank you. The moon, how poignant. Tonight of all nights, to harness your fear and anxiety and turn them into intuition. If you can do this and plan ahead, your cunning might just save your life. So we say, I usually play, um, I stream a lot of Resident Evil and horror games. Uh, and we, we do dip into some retro as well. Um, some retro games. You know, that aren't horror. We do some more chill streams as well. So a bit of everything really, man. But yeah, mainly Resident Evil and horror. Something is not right with that boy. Dude is real sick. Did you see how he freaked out in the water? Yeah, he was like, uh, he was like a fish out of water. Right? Uh, sure. You know, something was weird when I tried to clean his wounds, too, at the lodge. What do you mean? Well, all of his clothes were bloody, but I couldn't find where he was bit or scratched or whatever. He just kept moving around like he didn't want me to see how badly he was hurt huh mm, rabies he's not frothing in the mouth <laughs> i think abby would beg to differ point it isn't aquaphobia a symptom of rabies hydrophobia yeah but i think it's more about a fear of drinking not just getting wet this was like like my cat in the bathtub <laughs> yeah Uh-oh. Of course. You like me. We've got to keep calm, I think. I think so. Um, let me just check on the... Just check on the, the chat and stuff. Just leave that a second. Cool. Right, just make sure everything's okay. Uh, we'll go on the calm, I think. Nick. Please, just tell me. I've really enjoyed spending time with you this summer. Such a... Oh, such a... Such... What? Oh, is it going to turn him more angry? Oh, no. He's screwed anyway. He's, he's cray cray anyway, you know. Abby? We need to stay back, don't we? What? That's something I'll ask you. Uh, yeah. Okay. Why don't you like me, Abby? Uh, yeah. I think, like you say, we've got to stop being too nice to him. We need to back up, don't we? Um, yeah, we'll do the apprentice. I know you guys are saying to choose those options. Thank yeah. you. We'll try and Different. keep it back. Am I? Just Nick. Good old big dick Nick. What? Get away oh. from us. <sighs> I'm sick, Abby. Yeah, no I shit. <laughs> I do. I Guys, I'm trying to protect Abby. I'm trying, believe me. You feel very smart, aren't you? Oh, stupid Abby. Stop. Easy pickings. Oh, don't, please. No, 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 please. This isn't you. This, this isn't you. I... No. Oh! Oh, shit. Abby, everything okay? Oh shit. There's no saving Nick. There's no saving this guy. Come on. Come on, Abby. We need a steady shot.
Hopefully that's done it. We had to shoot it, we had to. Oh shit, it's going down. Oh man. Oh, he's gone. Yes! Come on, guys. G freaking G for Abby. Let's go. <sighs> GG to Abby for that steady shot. Let's go, guys. That was tense. I was really scared. I, I do really like Abby, you know. Back to Emma. Told you guys. Told you I'd try my best to keep her alive. Thank you for the continued support. Killing it. The fuck is in here? But yeah, we're going to be uh, live for about another 20 minutes. Okay, guys, this is like a 20 minute last orders kind of warning. Get your last beverage in of the night. 20 minutes up until midnight. Then we've done a solid six hours. So, if I were a counselor at an off season camp, partying around a bonfire, and it started to rain. And there were monsters. I would go to the ranch. Yeah, I did try Driftmaster. I did try to kind of go for a headshot. I think it kind of got him probably through the heart. I think it got him around here. But um, yeah, I was trying to secure a, a shot on him. Um, but yeah... We have been streaming five hours forty minutes now, so I, like, like I say, I, I hate ending the lives. Honestly, it's because I, I like, I'm starving. Like after like a, a good few hours, so I do need to eat. So um, yeah, basically, I'm just literally gonna have a pot noodle. I, I love a cheeky pot noodle after stream. I sometimes have them. So I've got a king size chicken and mushroom pot noodle. Gonna have that, and then um, I'm gonna get a few hours sleep. So I'm up for the car boot at four a.m. Uh, but yeah, I will return tomorrow evening, guys. It most likely be six p.m. Um, I was going to watch the Xbox, um, you know, the Xbox showcase and the Starfield showcase, but I'll catch up on those. We'll, we'll stream the rest of this tomorrow night, most likely from 6 p.m. Um, but yeah, I am live across three platforms right now YouTube and TikTok. I'm Holster TV, uh, Twitch, I'm Holster TV, mate. Over in the description on my YouTube channel, there's links to all my socials, so totally feel free to follow me on any of my socials or the Discord uh, group. I've got my own Discord server. Um, that's where I update when I'm next coming online, so totally feel free. But yeah, we'll finish this game off tomorrow night, guys. I had no idea the kids were going to freak out about this stuff. We officially suck as counsellors. Uh oh. It's not like a worried letter from one of the kids. Of all the scary stories. Those counsellors. Kids let at home. We'll, we'll read that. Um, yes, Kay, definitely. I'm, I'm really excited for the Xbox showcase. In all honesty, I'm quite a. Um, what was I going to say? Um, Xbox is kind of my main console. I am actually playing this. Um, this is the Xbox version. Uh, I do have PlayStation, but I like it more for the exclusives. I do play, obviously, PC as well for the exclusives on that. Um, but yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, fingers crossed, Kay, that we do hear some more about the Fable series. That would be cool. Uh, and I'm really um, excited for Starfield as well. Um, yeah, definitely Frog. Uh, I, like I say, I don't know if you're, you're getting off now, but I'm going to be online for like another 15 minutes uh, till we get to like a checkpoint. We'll make it to the six hour mark. Um, I will, and then I will get a few hours sleep for the car boot. Um, thank you for being here, Mr. Frog. Really appreciate your support as always, man. One of the OGs. Thank you so much. So the kids let at home. Um, Oh, can we not read the full thing? All I can see is, hi, mom. The camper that wrote this must have had a change of heart and decided not to send his letter home. Ghost stories are only stories after all. Oh, wow. That poor kid. Oh, this letter matches the drawing in the pool house. That creepy drawing. But why was it torn up? Maybe there's something to this ghost story. Oh, damn. Thank you, Tietzel. And, and Birico, thank you for wishing me luck at the Kabu. I'll let you get, guys know how I do. Um, 
So yeah, probably, I think if we're finishing this up tomorrow, the next car boot episode, I'll try get it up on Monday evening, I think. If not, it will be during the week. I will try, guys. I, I do try, um, you know, to get the car boot episodes out as well um, in a in you know timely manner. Well, thank you all for still being here. We're approaching midnight here in the UK. Absolute night owls we are, aren't we? We were freaking party all night. But yeah, almost a six-hour stream tonight. Killing it. We'll try to finish strong with this segment and keep Emma alive if we can. We've, we've done really well with her tonight. We did really well in that um, that creepy boathouse. Thank you for sharing the live as well. Appreciate that, BBB. Thank you. And again, thank you um, guys for uh, dropping in with the follows. We've absolutely smashed it tonight. I think this is a dead end, uh, is it? Oh, maybe not. There, there was a path over there. I don't know if there's anything there, though. Uh-oh. It's up there. It's up there. Let's just check back here a second, see if there's anything um, down this other trail. Or at least I, I thought I saw a trail. Am I seeing things now? Oh, I'm totally seeing things, aren't I? Okay. Holster, you're going derpy. I think I've got like a quarry delirium right now. I'm doing good, thank you, Lucas. Hope you're well. Uh, Danny, sorry, I've only just seen your comment there. I said, how many hours did it take to complete the game? I think anywhere from maybe 8 to 10 hours or 8 to 12 hours or something, if you're like really exploring around. I think it took me about 10. I think I did a 6-hour, then a 4-hour stream or something. Something like that. But yeah, we're on like chapter six. I think there's like, I don't know if it's nine or ch nine or ten chapters. I'm not sure. It's one of those. I I don't know which way we're going, guys. I have no idea because I think there were some stairs there as well. I've just realised, Luke, because I don't know if you was asking how I'm doing personally or <laughs> how I'm doing on the game. Um. But yeah, to answer your question, so far so good. The only death we've had so far is Nick because he did he did get infected, but that that like happens anyway, right? Know which way to go? Yeah, I know loads of you guys have commented and said, um, so invested in this. I I'm so glad. I I'm massively invested as well. Honestly, if you love your horrors, so easy to get invested in this game. Oh. Has she not run out of battery yet? Keeping her phone light on. <laughs> yeah, I know in my previous playthrough, Nick got infected in the same manner as he did in this one. I, I'm not sure. You probably have to... Um... It's still something I've not properly looked at, you know. Um... I don't know if it's meant to get infected, I'm not sure. Let's take a look. I have no idea if this is the right way. Then we did well to clutch Dylan as well. As sassy as he is, I, I, I kind of warmed to him a little bit, to be honest. He's not too bad. He's alright, I didn't really like him at first. Oh, okay, we, we've gone back the way we came, but we'll see if there's anything up in these stairs a sec. Because I did want to see this path, see if there's anything here. But yeah, we, we clutched uh, Dylan because uh, he, he did get infected like on his arm, but we chopped it off with a chainsaw. Hey, 
Hey, in the roof retro. What's up, man? Thank you for stopping in. So I've done two walkthroughs. Need to complete the other endings. Fantastic game. It really is, man. So damn enjoyable, this game. I don't want to be over this way, right? I know we walked past this, but I don't know if that's when I went back on our side. I think we need to go this way. It's the only problem when we're in the forest parts. It's so easy to get lost. The characters are lost, but I'm I'm like equally as lost. But yeah, we're just going to finish off um, this segment as Emma. I think we need to get over here, I think. Um, and then, yeah, I'll end the stream there because we've been online almost six hours now. And I just need a quick bit of food and to rest up before the car boot. But yeah, most likely be from 6pm onwards tomorrow evening. Continuing and finishing the place. Oh, shit! Oh, my God! Oh, my chest. Ooh. My heart. <laughs> Chest. Oh my god. <laughs> I've never done this before, Pop. Let's do it fast. Did anyone else jump then? <laughs> oh man. <laughs> we'll just stay as we are, I think. supposed to know i don't know let me look at her nah. get the fuck away from me oh no don't turn hostile emma don't do it <laughs> i will I'll, i will try best hey what up cypher thanks for stopping in appreciate you over on twitch thank you i know emma shouldn't have Emma shouldn't have turned hostile. I didn't want her to do that. Didn't feel safe. Barricade the doors and have a nap. That's what I'd do. I'd just nap this off. What's up, Kai? Abby's still alive at the moment. We've kept Abby alive. Freaking G. Well, yeah, we'll just watch the, whatever this opening is, guys, and then we'll end the stream here, okay? But I will be back tomorrow evening. We will finish this game, okay? I killed him. I killed him. We had no choice, Abby. I mean, dead people don't usually jump out of windows and run into the forest. Yeah, you did what you had to. Abby, he was gonna hurt you. You were defending yourself. I think he would have sliced our head off, I think. If we hadn't done I don't that. know that for sure. I do. No. It was you or him. And, well, that definitely wasn't him. Man, this is so fucked. Oh, shit. Where the fuck is Chris Hackett? Suspicious. We'll say, who is it? We know who it is. Who's there? I need your help, please. 
Who are you? My name is Laura Tierney. So? Don't let me in. It's not safe out here. Uh, yeah, there's a crazy woman with a gun killing people. I'm not killing people. Holy shit, you... Laura Kearney? You're Laura Kearney? Yeah? You were supposed to be working, uh... Helping out in the nurse's office, right? And you never showed up? Uh, you and the guy, what's his name? Max? Uh, yes, Max. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where you uh, been all summer? Mr. Hackett said that you had changed your mind last minute. I, I think that we should... I think that we should listen to him. It's not... Yeah, we'll open the door for her. Okay. I'm gonna open the door. Slowly. Just keep your hands up, okay? Okay. What a gal. Let's freaking go. Okay, so yeah, we'll, we'll do our um, cheeky tarot card. And um, then we'll uh, we'll save, guys. Here Hell yeah. Again. Just you and me. Absolutely killed it tonight, man. Why don't we take another look at what you found? That was the one we found in the shower. The moon, proud full moon. Tonight of all nights, to harness your fear and anxiety and turn them into intuition. If you can do this and plan ahead, your coming might just save your life. Now tell me, would you like to delve deeper into one of many possible futures? Okay. Of course we'll see more. Let's go. Crystal ball for the last time tonight, guys. So that's Laura. She's having flashbacks. She's took a key and she's a lot to sell, I think. Off you go then. Chop chop. One down, remember. Isn't that terribly exciting? <laughs> Hell yeah. It definitely is we slay. I'd, this is my like worst habit. I always do that. I'll do this online in the stream. I'll do this online in the stream. I always do. I hate ending the stream. So, uh, <laughs> why didn't you come? After this cutscene. Where have you been for the past two months? We did come, one night early. That was our mistake. So we'll wrap up. Um, with like this last segment. So when we come back, we will um, obviously be playing back as uh, Laura and we'll find out what happened to Laura and Max. You know, obviously, the both the counsellors at the start of the game. We won't call out, we'll just leave him uh, doing what he's doing.
I'm literally just waiting for a time to cut in to save the game. <laughs> just bear with me. <laughs> Wait, you come to Max. Shut up. You can't just shut up. This is an interrogation. I ask, you answer. So, like, like I said, I really need to cut in somewhere. I need to draw the line somewhere. So, obviously, um, we will be back, um, like I say, tomorrow evening with the interrogation. Obviously, we know what's happened to an extent. Obviously, uh, we saw Laura's been captured, both, both Laura and Max. Uh, obviously, Max did take... Um, he was attacked down in that basement. And then, obviously, we've not actually set eyes on him, but you can see he's just blown up in that cell. So... Take, make of that what, what you will. Um, but yeah, um, bro, interrogation for going to do a summer job. I know that's it, right? They should have gone to the damn motel at the start, Danny. That is it. Um, so yeah, like I say, I'll most likely be back tomorrow evening. Um, I think it'll be from 6pm. That's when I plan on going live. We will finish um, finish off the game. I think we're on chapter 7 right now, I think. I think it's like 10 chapters or something. So we're like over halfway anyway, or maybe two thirds of the way through, something like that. Um, so yeah, we'll try and continue keeping everyone alive. Um, obviously, we'll be continuing with our interrogation. So I'll quit us back just to the main menu. Now we've got like a bit of a checkpoint. Uh, but man, what a stream it has been. Thank you, everyone. Like we've literally reached... Um, absolute like personal best on everything like i say we've not long surpassed 5k uh subscribers on um youtube uh we've not long surpassed 250 followers on twitch it's a bit of a slow burner is twitch it's really difficult um you know it's, it's a real difficult platform to grow on but thanks to you guys and your support across all the platforms it's been incredible and tiktok thank you so much we've uh, got over 220k likes almost 200 new followers tonight we've surpassed our follower goal um and got over 2000 um so uh, yeah we are well on the way to 2500 that's our next follower goal so honestly thank you all so much for your support i'm so glad um i can't believe how well this stream has done tonight like um you know i, I kind of thought that it'd be some people's cup of tea but the amount of people who have been in tonight who have shared the love the likes the follows the shares um, it's been unbelievable across all three platforms so thank you so much for um stopping in tonight um so yeah good night danny lucy teetzel birico nintendo gamer um gemma ashley um there's there's loads of you guys in the chat uh, saying good night so thank you so much um yeah i'm gonna be signing off tiktok right now um have we still got anyone in over on twitch I just want to see if we've got anyone because we'll set up a little uh, raid. Yeah, we've still got a few in on Twitch, so we'll set up a raid just a sec. Uh, but yeah, totally feel free to follow me on any of my socials that are over in the YouTube uh, description. Um, on YouTube and TikTok, I'm Holster TV. Um, on Twitch, I'm Holster TV. Mate, totally feel free to follow me on any platform um, to suit you guys. And uh, like I say, in the YouTube description, my Discord server, all my socials are in there. So that's where I update you guys when I'm next coming online. So most likely be 6 p.m. tomorrow, UK time. We'll continue our playthrough and finish the quarry. So good night, TikTok. Thank you so much for all of your love and support. Thank you, guys. I can't tell you how grateful I am for you all. Thank you so much. Take care. Good night, TikTok. Okay, we are off TikTok right now. Um, so thank you to you guys over on Twitch. We'll go and raid someone right now. Let's see. Um, oh, uh, we'll go raid Vita Moors. Uh, please show Vita some love. He's playing some uh, miscellaneous games tonight. He's on Monopoly Plus right now. So we'll go over and uh, raid our Vita. He's a real lovely guy. And I think he is currently doing a 24-hour um, marathon right now. So thank you so much to you guys who are um, in late tonight. Really appreciate you. YouTube, I'm still here. We'll be ending um, over on there in just a second. So uh, Twitch people will be raiding Vita right now. We'll make sure that uh, raid goes over all well. I think we should be dropping in uh, just right now. And then I'll chill with you guys on YouTube for just a minute before we go off. There we go. <laughs> Yeah, our raid's gone in good. We all got thank you. So um yeah, 
I'm gonna go on to uh, where are we? Where are we? We'll go to our chill and chatting screen. Thank you, uh, guys, for being in. I really appreciate you all in the roof retro. If you're still here, man, uh, said overtime required for all the upcoming PS5 releases. Yeah, it's crazy, man. Um, I I own all the consoles. I I play Xbox, PS5, PC. That like everything. Um, I, I hate missing out on games. I hate exclusivity. So I'll always like um, you know, jump on them. Um, whatever games, uh, whatever platform they're on. Uh, but yeah, after watching the Summer Games Fest, there's a few games that I'm um, excited for. I'm quite tempted for Mortal Kombat 1 as well. Really tempted for that. There was another one called Witchfire, and the absolute highlight for me was actually um, Toxic Commando, the John Carpenter one. That looks sick. That looks so good, man. Like, loads of zombie hordes on that game. So I'm really excited for that. Um, you know, there's loads coming up. There's Layers of Fear in, in uh, about four or five days' time. Uh, there's Texas Chainsaw Massacre again uh, as well in um, in August. So really excited. There's, there's a hell of a lot of um, games coming out, man. So, yeah, it's an expensive do, but, you know, uh, we'll be on it, guys. Uh, I will obviously be picking up as much as we can. We'll jump on some fresh new games uh, in the future. got so much to look forward to uh, gaming-wise for the rest of this year but yeah for now guys thank you so much for all of your support on the quarries one year anniversary thank you so much for all the likes the super chats um i honestly appreciate you guys turning up all the time um all the ogs and all the new um subscribers thank you so much i really appreciate you all so yeah i will be here tomorrow evening um like i said most likely 6 p.m you know where to find me down below in the description my discord server all my socials feel free to follow me on any of them if you don't already and i'll update when i'll next be online but it'll like I say most likely tomorrow from 6 p.m across all three platforms youtube tiktok twitch um, and we'll finish off the quarry so thank you guys take care much love to you all good luck at the car boot tomorrow if you are at the car boot in just a few hours time like myself um but yeah have a blessed rest of your evening blessed sunday and if you're coming by tomorrow, I'll see you tomorrow evening for the rest of the quarry. Take care, guys. Good night. I love y'all. I woke up to an early dawn Wrapped up in my lover's arms I feel it in my weary bones I'm home But nothing better Darkness in the best of dreams Scratch the surface and you'll find the scars Like tiny stars Do you wonder, do you wonder, you like me? How perfect love